hello, welcome to Sewing Street. Lovely to have your company this morning. My name's Vicky, with you until one o'clock. We've got lovely Alice and Marion joining us today as well. We've got a brilliant, brilliant show. And we've got Emma in the gallery, who's very exciting, very, very exciting. Emma's our new director, and um, yeah, she's such an amazing addition to the team. You're gonna love her. Um, we've got a brilliant, brilliant show, as I say. Um, Alison is gonna be joining us too amazing new projects we've got a debbie shaw bag um, coming up later on and we've got alison's quilt as you go so anyone who's new to patchwork new to quilting or new to quilt as you go um this is going to be brilliant absolutely brilliant now let's start today as we always do with today's early bird now you are going to get a saving on this today so five pounds 99 pence whenever we have um any of the Odif products in, whether it be Eau de Coat, whether it be the 505 spray, always very, 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 very popular. This is 404. Now the difference, it's still another repositional uh, re spray, a temporary hold adhesive, uh, but this time it's gonna be ideal for plastic, for paper, for tissue paper, for different stabilizers, for templates. It even says on the cap here that you can use it with plants, so any leaves or anything like that. It's only a temporary hold, but if I'm thinking, if you want to use a leaf as a template for your quilting or something like that, or you know, a design, this would be amazing, wouldn't it? Um, also, any of your, your, uh, your templates, if you just want to hold it in place temporarily, this is perfect. Um, if you don't have maybe non-slip grip technology with any of your rulers, we've got creative grids later that which do have the non-slip grips, but if you've potentially got a different ruler, then this is gonna be really, really useful. Uh, so generally, when you're looking at 505, that holds your fabric. So if you're doing basting or anything like that, 505 is brilliant. 404 is gonna be more for paper and tissue paper, plastics, photographs, even if you wanna hold anything in place temporarily. Um, I'm thinking if you're doing birthday banners or things like that, that's gonna be perfect, isn't it, for it? Hello, everyone. Morning, everyone on Facebook. Pauline says, morning, Vicky and team. Donna said, good morning, all. Um, who, sorry, who's that at the bottom? Hi, Alan. Good morning, Vicky. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I must say, how, how cold is it this morning? It was minus six, um, to the point that me and Alison were saying we've never seen this before. It looked like, I didn't know whether my eyes were going starry or whether it was like glitter in front. What is it called? Is that what frozen frost or something is? It was so strange. It looks like glitter in the air. It was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Our car's literally been here about half an hour and then uh, our cars have frozen over again already. Morning, Maggie. Morning, morning, morning. Uh, £5.99. Remember, it is £2 saving today as an early bed and that's a nice big can. It's going to last you. Um, remember, once you've already paid your postage and packaging, it's one P&P all day. So we always start the day with a bit of a saving. Uh, to, so that everybody can get involved. Uh, in fact, lots of people buying multiples. It's things like this. The 505 is finally back in stock to get today. But I was going to say it's 505, it's the Oda Coat, the 404, the Grippy. They're always coming in and disappearing out of stock. So to be able to do it as an early bird is brilliant. It's the first time that I've seen the 404 in, um, in an early bird special. These are the biggest size cans that we offer. They are the biggest size cans that we do, so it is going to last you as well. Less than six pound. Hello, Shirley. I'm on the Facebook Live, by the way. I haven't got, um, I saw John the other day. He did knock his iPad off though, didn't he? <gasps> and that doesn't look like a cheap little tablet. It's got like a full on, really fancy one. But um, I have got my phone here because our iPad's playing up. So come say hello. Hi, Tom. Morning, morning, morning. Um, morning, Andy. Morning, Vix. From a freezing Aberdeen. Oh my word. I must say, it is absolutely freezing. I bet it's even colder in Aberdeen. Every single time somebody comes in from Aberdeen, Kat just gets all nostalgic and she's like, oh, I love Aberdeen. She says, have you been to the where, the Noose and Monkey? Where's that? In Aberdeen. <laughs> it's a pub on the corner. You know, the, you, the corner. Um, up the road from the theatre. Kat works at the theatre. Well, used to work at the theatre there. Um, 
We'll be sewing and um, selling bolts of fabric. Oh, very exciting. Yes, it is nippy, Gina said. Gosh, stay in today, stay in the warm. Wrap up warm, stay in. Just £5.99. In fact, Elliot was saying earlier on, oh, Alison, have you got another quilt that I can cosy up in? Because the, uh, the quilt that we've got today is absolutely perfect. Days like today, where you just want to wrap up nice and warm. Alice and Marion's gorgeous quilt as you go. This is it. Oh, look at this. That's just one colourway. We have another colourway as well, which Alison will be demonstrating with. Now, she wanted me to show you, because I know a lot of people, by the way, will be getting these on pre-order already, and I'll show you how to do so in a second. But if you want to get the beauty of quilt as you go, is you don't have any unfinished projects. You do your quilt top and your backing and your wadding and your sandwich and your quilting all at the same time. So, Alison just wanted me to show you. I don't think you'll even be able to see on air, you know. There is a slight difference if you use a cotton uh, wadding or a polyester wadding. So you'll see a slight difference in colour. We'll talk through all of this. There's no right or wrong. There's no sort of, can you just about see it? That's more cream and this one's more white and more cream here. This one's po uh, cotton and then this one's the, the polyester. But I just thought I'd let you know in case you are stocking up ready on pre-order, if you do want to get ahead, this is coming up at nine o'clock with Alison. In fact, shall we show you how you can pre-order? So anybody who wants to jump to the website, it's sewingstreet.com. Uh, there it is. If you click on watch live, Emma, you're speedy speedy through this. And then scroll down, there's the early bird, remember? Uh, and then everything that you can see there is on pre-order. So, all of the fabrics, brand new fabrics, by the way. Normal Rose collection. Uh, <laughs> from our Natalie. I say our oh, Natalie like I know her, I don't know her. We've never had any of Natalie's uh, fabrics before, actually. <laughs> right, we've got loads to get through this out, haven't we, by the looks of things? Keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Right, here it is. So, this is your pink and green colourway, which is the one that you've just seen on your screen. And then that one, oh sorry, the purple and green is the one that you've seen hung up on the wall. And then the other one is called pink and green, which is the one that I've got in front of me. So, they're the two. You will need to get your washing, but you have everything in the kit, including your instructions, and you have all of your lovely fabrics. You get your templates, um, you get your fabrics for the front and back of your quilt. Um, and then all that you need to add, of course, is your wadding, your choice between polyester or, or cotton. Okay, so today's show, we've got the most amazing lineup. As I say, this first hour dedicated to brand new mm. fabrics. Have a look at this. So, fabulous fabric which is Norma Rose. You're going to love the bright colours, especially what we need this year, especially what we need. At nine o'clock, we've got French Roses Quilt As You Go, which is the quilt that we were just talking about on the back wall, beautiful rug quilting, um, which will just even look better after over time as well, the more you wash it. At 10 o'clock, we've got Creative Grids, some of our favourites, some of our favourite Creative Grids we've put into an hour. And we'll talk through that amazing non-slip grip. At 11 o'clock, Alison Marion is going to be here with a kit, um, which is with, which is uh, kitted by, well, it's, it's put together alongside Bozal and with Debbie Shaw. So, um, that's coming up. It's Alison's first ever handbag. She's done tote bags before, but it's her first ever handbag. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got kits revisited. If you haven't yet bought your kit for the um, Yvonne, Yvonne, um, I always forget her last name, Macatamney. Yvonne Macatamney. Uh, then we're going to be doing a sew along on Tuesday. If you haven't already bought your kit, there is still a chance to get it. So we're going to do it in the kit roundup. Right, sorry, Kat's saying I've got it wrong. The colourway behind me is purple and green. You'll find it on pre-order. Uh, pre Pink and green is this one. Pink and green is this one. So there's purple and green. Pink and green is that one. Pink and green is that one. So, if you want to get that on pre-order, 
you can grab that now. It's amazing, isn't it? Rag quilting as well. It's it it is this sort of like raw edge, lovely finish. And the more that it it's washed and the more that it's used, the better it gets. I love them. Absolutely love them. Right. So brand new fabric. Should we get going? We've got loads to do this out. Come say hello on Facebook, by the way. Um, hi everybody. Oh, love the little houses in the background. <laughs> I say it looks lovely, doesn't it? They're all of our doorstops, Shirley. Morning, Jean. Morning, Anne. She says, morning, Vicky. Emma Bradford's watching. Hi, Emma Bradford. She says, morning, Vixen team. Having a cheeky watch before work. Cold here too, but going to brave it later on the... Please be careful, Emma. She's going out on a motorbike. Please, please, please be careful. Um, H640. She says, I've still not used, uh, I've still not used my 11 meters of H640. Oh, get using that. In fact, Alan, that's going to be great with the, um, the quilt as you go, I think, as well. You could use any waddings you wanted. Norma Rose. Oh, jump on in and have a look at this amazing collection. So, we've got all of these individually by the half meter as well, but this is your whole mega bundle. It's £67.41. pence. Five meters absolutely gorgeous quality and it is the first time that we got um, this collection from lovely Natalie what's Natalie's Natalie Barnes isn't it uh, Natalie Barnes is, is is the designer of this this fabric and it's actually named after her mother uh, Norma Rose who who she's actually described saying she's uh, she had a zest for life with the beautiful uh, cabbage roses, these lovely zesty colours, recipe cards in here as well. I absolutely love it. And I think, you know, for 2021, this is what we all need, isn't it? A bit of bright colours, positivity. These would be lovely for soft furnishings. If you want to make yourself a beautiful quilt, really nice bright colours, perfect. Even Alison's quilt would look amazing, actually, with these. Perfect, absolutely. £67.41. pence. Now they're all half metres. Let me show you what half a metre looks like because it's quite deceiving when you see it all folded up. But you get half a metre for free in this bundle as well today. So if you do want that whole collection, then of course you can... Um, <laughs> then uh, you do get half a metre free, you make a saving. We love those cabbage roses. They are lovely, aren't they? They're called cabbage patch roses. Cat's calling them cabbage patch roses. I was like, oh, like cabbage patch kids. Do you remember cabbage patch kids? I used to look like a cabbage patch kid when I was a child. Yeah, but I actually did, yeah. <laughs> right, so that is the entire bundle. Um, we'll take you through individually as well by the half meter. Should we start with the cabbage roses? So we've got two of the large scale prints and then two of the, the sort of medium size. Um, we'll start with that green and, and, and blue one. I'm thinking now, right, even though this is quilting weight fabric, how amazing would that look in a big dress? Beautiful summery dress. Uh, bag makers as well, this is going to be lovely for bag making. It is quilting weight cotton and it's really beautifully soft. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Hi Elizabeth, how are you? Elizabeth said, good morning Vicky and all, hi. Laurie said, morning Vicky, and all lovely to hear your cheerfulness and you look blooming, <laughs> blooming and happy. Blooming what, Laurie? Go on, say it, I dare you. <laughs> oh, I just feel, I, I feel really good actually, I do feel fine, just feel a bit heavy now. Um, Wendy said, good morning Vicky and A team. Oh yes, thank you Wendy. Did you hear that, everyone in the gallery? Vicky and A team in there. Um, Vicky, you are glowing this morning. Oh no, it's, there's a difference between like glowing and just warm. Do you know when you just yeah? Perspire. I'm, it is cold this morning, but at least I know I'm not actually that cold this morning. Oh, I love this colour. This is one of my favourite colours. Imagine, right? You could use this as a bit of a guideline to do some free motion as well. This would be lovely to do some lovely free motion quilting. Uh, just seven pounds and 49 pence. I love the fact that our Emma, who's the new director here, she's learning all the lingo. She says, I thought they were having me on when they were talking about feeding the dogs. And I was like, what, what do you mean, Emma? And then realized she meant feed dogs. Then Elliot, who's also now an expert in sewing, obviously, that he's been there the last few months, he was showing Emma exactly what feed dogs are with this action. Um, 
Yeah, Emma was scared. <laughs> Just seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. It's your chance to be buying by the half metre. I like that you've still got the, the purple flecks in there as well still. Right, we've also got it in pink and yellow. Same print, different colour this time. Um, pink, yellow. You've also got oranges, you've got yellows and purples, you've got the bright pinks as well, loads of colours in this. It's very, um, I don't know whether I should say, it reminds me of Kaif Facet. If you love Kaif and you love big, bright, bold colours, you'll absolutely love it. The background isn't a solid colour, it's like a grey, beautiful stripe. Um, Kat's saying it looks like bamboo. You've also got little flower details as well. Can you see? Just seven pounds and 49 pence a half metre. It's 112 wide, quilting weight cotton, machine washable. It's your chance to buy it by the half metre. So if you're thinking, right, I've, I'm gonna make a dress with this. If you need three metres for a dress, then you can buy by the half metre. It will be cut off the bolt, especially for you. Just seven pounds and 49 pence. Let me open this all out, there you go. How lovely is that? 749, that colour, isn't that gorgeous? How about if you were to fussy cut these and applique them? They'd be lovely fussy cutting as well. The rosemary bag later. We've got it, actually, we've got the pattern and the bows or foam sold individually um, later on. So actually, this would be really nice for the Debbie Shaw bag. You can choose your own fabric there. And we do have fabric bundles as well, but um, you can choose your own fabrics. Right. We also have the smaller scale prints. So this time it's got the recipe cards as well in the background. The teals, that lovely citrusy yellowy green. Oh, I love that. In fact, do you know what? I'm thinking of different colours that you could team this with. What do you think? Oh, actually, I would... I'd go these two maybe. What do you think? That's sunshine and jade. We've got all of these colours individually by the half metre as well, so we'll go through those in a bit. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. I'm just wondering, do you have a bit of a direction to this and you don't? You don't need to worry about directional print. Why do you think it's like a chessboard? Oh, the way that they're all positioned. I see. Look, they're all in different lines, aren't they? They're all. I see it more as in um, stripes. Uh, Seven forty-nine a half meter. Uh, this is your kitchen bouquet on turquoise for seven pounds and forty-nine pence. Uh, again, buy the half meter. So if you do want to buy multiple units for quilting, for for home furnishing, for dressmaking, absolutely gorgeous. This would make a nice big bolster cushion, wouldn't it? Uh, the pink. Pink, 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 pink and purple. Oh, and that is my favourite bright pink that I was talking about. By the way, the Mega Bundle, if you do want to get all of these fabrics together, then you make a saving. Uh, you get half a metre for free. So if you do want uh, the Mega Bundle, it is now quite limited. I think we've got less than 30 of those. So just be aware if you do want the, the whole shebang. It's brand new in today, uh, but it's limited. Hi, Linda. How are you? Come say hello to us today. We want to make it as interactive as possible. I feel like I've not been here for ages. Was my last show with Alison Marion? Um, was my last show with Alison Marion last week? I think it might have been New Year's Eve, my last show. Um, I suppose that was only a week ago. It's a whole new year now. No, I, have to, I was here New Year's Day, wasn't I? We're here New Year's Day. Who were we on with New Year's Day? Catherine, 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 Catherine. And Mark, and Mark and Mark. Oh, yes. Seven pounds, 49 pence. I love this sort of doodled effect. As I say, I can imagine somebody doing lovely free motion or embroidery on top of it as well. I like that it's a solid black line. It's really detailed. Nice that it's got the recipe cards again in the background. What has she got on a recipe list then? Salt, parsley, olive oil, water, oregano. Looks like ground pepper. Ground, what else is on there? Can you see? Where am I pointing? Is it here? 
Is that what you were just showing? Oh no, hang on, where's my finger? <laughs> Where are we? It's the same shopping list that you were just reading out. It's the same shopping list that you were looking at just then. There you go. Olive oil, water, parsley, salt, oregano, pepper, ground pepper maybe. Mm, not quite sure what else is on the shopping list. How lovely is that? All the recipe cards, what are they making? I'm excited to see this um, in bundles as well. If we have any left, if we have any left. Um, okay, oh. Um, right, we've also got the swallows. Or songbirds. I mean, I suppose, yeah. Um, so I love the two different contrasting colours. They they look really different together, don't they? They, they even though they're the same print, look completely different in different colourways. <laughs> this is really zesty, isn't it? Just seven forty nine half meter. Oh my word! Cat's exhausted me. She's too high for this morning. <laughs> She has got a zest for life, hasn't she, today? <laughs> She's saying, honestly, I'm in a really good mood. She says I went to sleep in a really good mood and woken up in a really good mood. I text Kat saying I'm getting in, I've got into bed at like 7 o'clock last night and I didn't get to sleep until about 10 o'clock. Is everybody taking their Christmas decks down now? Wasn't it yesterday, the last sort of day? Yeah, it feels all bare. It's all bare, isn't it? I do like a nice, fresh, clean start, especially with this year. This is a lovely, fresh, clean slate, isn't it? I love that background colour. I would put this with maybe, maybe with your jade. I love jade. That's one of my favourite colours individually. It's beautiful. Then we've also got it in grey, which is really neutral. Let's face it, look, I intend on bringing some lovely bright colours into my home decor and then I always end up picking greys or, uh, you know, colours that are more neutral. This goes so well with so many of our decors. Again, lovely for, uh, for, for bag makers. Really nice for bag makers. Elia, I think you're thinking of a, a suit lining probably, aren't you? Always. What were you thinking for this one today then, Elliot? I think he's showing sure enough because Emma's here. Normally it's suit lining. He's like, oh no, actually, I'm not thinking of a suit lining. What are you thinking of? Oh, the one before he was thinking more of a, a quite a, a bright lining. This would be lovely as a shirt, yes. Your Norma Rose songbird on, oh, on rose, uh, on grey, and it would be actually really nice with any of the bright colours as well. Remember, Mega Bundle is available, half a metre for free, £67.41 and 41 pence if you do want to get that whole Mega Bundle. Ah, and breathe, that's the first time you've, you've taken a breath today, Kat. Just went, ah, oh. and we're in, and we're here. Yeah, Kat did get up very early this morning. She's got the makeup on and everything. Oh, I've dropped my um, I've dropped my sticker. Um, June, I must say, no, I haven't because we um, I haven't really thought too much about nursery. She just said, "Have you got a colour screen for your nursery yet, June?" It's a bit of a touchy subject at the moment because we bought a new house and it's fallen through. <laughs> So I have no idea at the moment. Positivity will find somewhere else, but um, no, I have no idea what colour. Neutrals though, because I don't know if I'm having a girl or a boy, so I don't know neutral colours, I think. It'd be nice to inject some colour in, but I don't think you need to do that straight away, do I? I can do that later on in the summer. 7.49, Oh, is this again recipe cards? Yes, it is, look. Gosh, what are we making today? White sauce, I can see white sauce. Five minutes, add, add something mix. I'm trying to, uh, trying to work out exactly what the, um, what we're making. Alison's made us some curried parsnip soup with apple. Oh, how, which is, are going to be amazing later on. It's perfect soup weather, isn't it? Oh, Alison's a dream, Emma. 
She will always make us batches of cakes and biscuits and cookies. Not that we ever expect it, but Kat said, I was going to make cornflake cakes, and then I thought, no, Alison's in tomorrow, and I expect it. I expect cakes and food. <laughs> she said, I didn't say that. She did, I heard her. Um, Terry, morning, Vicky, looking at fab. <laughs> Thank you. She says, love the, uh, the fabric. Terry said, love the fabric so far. Stay safe and stay warm. <gasps> June says it's a girl. How do you know, June? Well, we've got 50-50 chance. So many people. Honestly, yeah, I know. So many people have said a girl to me. I wonder why. I don't know why. Yeah, everybody. Other than Elliot. Um, this one's called Teal. Now, this would be... Lo Again, I'm going for Sunshine and Jade. Sunshine and Jade are my favourite colours with these. What do you think? They look nice together, don't they? Uh, Seven pounds and 49 pence. This color though, oh, love that. The leaves, the falling leaves of lovely jades and teals as well. Delphine's elephant, Delphine's tiger. Because you want something that's got a bit of, um, uh, you know, a different pattern and prints and colors. That's gonna be absolutely perfect. In fact, Coming up later on in our Kits Revisited show at 12 o'clock, we have got some of Delphine's patterns back in stock. Before you ask, we don't have the Highland Cow. <laughs> we don't have the Highland Cow, how hilarious. I don't know why this Highland Cow has caused us some problems, hasn't it? This, um, I think everyone still, everyone still wants it. I, I thought everybody would have the pattern by now. We sold thousands of them. Yet we still get requests every single day for it. I don't think we had any idea when we launched it how popular it would be. But it's so exciting. I mean, I love the Highland Cow design. I really do. Um, and these would look really gorgeous with any of Delphine's uh, applique project. We've got two. Um, we've got two other colourways from the brand new range. Oh yeah, I forgot Haley set as a challenge, didn't she? I think she must watch my shows and think that I'd spend too long talking because she says, I bet you can't get through all the fabrics. And Kat said, we can, we can. So I thought she's cracking the whip today. But um, it's because she's made a, a promise to Hayley that we will get through everything in this first hour. We will, we will. Oh, <laughs> this is why Kat's full of zest and full of life. She's just trying to speed me up. Oh, what are we making? Italian meatballs. We've got Italian meatball recipe on here. Italian meatballs. This looks like, does that say, I'm going to spin it round. One second. What else does this one say? Because it's all multi-directional. Cheese. Cheesecake. I think that's a cheesecake recipe. How cool is that? Honestly, it's just amazing that you've got all of the, I mean that, they're not completely, uh, there must be secret recipes that, that she doesn't want to give away all of her mum's recipes because you can just make out some of it and then there's some secret ingredients where you're like, oh, what's that? This is such a lovely collection, isn't it? Uh, just seven pounds at 49 and a half metre. Remember, you can still get that whole mega bundle. There's still availability at the moment. You do get half a metre for free. This is the last one that from that range, which is in this zesty green again. What about um, makes for the kitchen? If they're all recipes. This is my linguine recipe with clam sauce. Now that one's really clear. You can see the, uh, the linguine recipe here. Maybe just in different... Um, Colourways, you can see some of the, the recipes slightly clearer. There's your Italian meatballs again. This one's your lovely um, linguine. And they, always, they all look handwritten, don't they, as well? I love that you've got this, the, the leaf print as well in the background. It's not just a solid green. It's got the dots and the leaves. It really ties in with all of the other colours. But I do like the fact that you've got these sort of handwritten recipes. Morning, Sally Ann. How is everybody today? Oh, please stay in. It's so slippy and cold and icy and horrible today. Oh, did she? That's the entire collection. Um, brand new range today. Remember, if you do want to get all, oh, there it is. Nice. If you want to get all of the collection, the entire collection, 
is 67 and 41 pence, 67 and 41 pence, which is again, absolutely gorgeous. You are getting half a meter for free, half a meter for free, 67 pounds and 41 pence. Loads of you have been getting involved. In fact, I would, um, I'd definitely stay tuned for the bags now that we've got coming up later, um, all for the quilts, because this is perfect, but no, no, Emma, that's where you're wrong. Because here, you only pay one PMP across the board, no matter how many items you buy, no matter how many times you check out, even if you buy a sewing machine, you will only pay one postage and packaging, which is brilliant, isn't it? It is just silly, it is just silly. Right, so, talking of mega bundles, let's do this as a mega bundle. We always, always sell out of this. Um, Kat's put together another amazing, sorry, it's because I've been pulling on the uh, the jade and the, the sunshine for the, there you go. Sorry, my colour wheel doesn't look as fancy as it did when, um, when I first came to air, because Kat displayed it all nicely and I've made, messed it up a bit. But there you go. You get the gist. Oh, sorry. She's just saying, right, it's, it's, it's messing with me now. You need, to, you need to reposition it. Like that and like that. Right, there you go. Are you happy with that? <laughs> Sorry! Uh, £54.99. I love, Kat, what you've done with this one, that you've mixed in the mottle and the solids. So you've got all of your lovely purples. Kat said, I'm trying to find one of each. There are some that are exceptions, but we've tried generally to do a mottle and a solid. Um, they are gorgeous. The entire mega bundle for just 54.99 just so you know we're oversubscribed already if you've got this in your basket check out now because there are a lot of people who've got it in the basket there are some of these colors the purples in particular are incredibly limited in fact there's some of these that are completely sold out individually so if you do want them on their own well done on pre-order because you've bought ahead it does mean though that they're not all available individually they're lovely pinks aren't they that one's really nice i like that Seven and a half metres. This is a lot of fabric, a lot of fabric. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen half metre pre cuts there for fifty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's seven and a half metres of fabric. Remember, it's Rose and Hubble, which is beautiful quality cotton perfect for quilting, um, great for any of your soft furnishing, for toy making, for quilting, for applique, any sort of crafting that you want to do, this is going to be really, really beautiful. Just £54.99. Remember, if you're multi buying, they're already coming as pre-cut half meters. We're already in single figures. This one will sell out. We'll then go through them individually, but just want to make sure that everybody completes their order on this. Hi, Judith. How, are, how is everybody? How's 2021 been? What a start, what a start, eh? It can only get better, surely. It can only get better. Can't sing it in my ear, things can only get better. Hope you're all right anyway. Hope everybody at home is staying warm and staying safe. It's the most important thing. Right, should we do some of these fabrics by the half metre? Let's go the greens. Right, we're gonna do these really, really quickly. So. JTLJ, this is lime green. Um, amazing price point, £3.49 a half metre for your lime green. 100% cotton, really lovely bright colour. Look at that. £3.49, 100% cotton, machine washable. What we're going to do is we're going to fly through all of these colours. Right, we've also got emerald. It's early, isn't it, Emma? <laughs> Don't worry. It's not your eyes at home. It was ours too. We're like, oh. Here's the emerald green. It's early, early. Um, okay, three pounds, 49 pence for your emerald green. That is, again, really beautiful, isn't it? In fact, do you know what? Some of There's so many from this collection that I'd be going, yeah, I'd put that with maybe this one maybe your your cabbages <laughs> cabbage roses 
your greys, they look lovely. For bags lining, for, ba for backs of cushions, for quilts, ideal. Uh, right, we've also got orange. Don't forget, Alison is joining me at nine o'clock. We've got that lovely quilt that's behind me, by the way. Already loads of you checking out on pre-order. Here's the bright oranges, three pounds, 49 and a half metre. How many metres of Osnaburg? I don't know, Alan. I'm not sure how many, uh, how much we have in stock. No idea. Call the customer service team or have a look on the website. We might have sold out of it the other day. Um, we've also got tangerine. Hello. Oh, no. Okay. This is your mixer. So you can see the slight difference. This has almost got like a mottle effect. It will give you lovely texture. If you're mixing this with any of your solids, I don't mean like a texture to touch. It's still 100% cotton. It's still exactly the same. The only difference is sort of textures to the eyes. Um, just three pounds, 99 a half metre. That is an amazing price point, isn't it? All of our prices, I must say, on our, our Rosen Hubble cotton fabrics are brilliant. They're great to expand your stash and, and it will just mean that it will all go a lot further. So if you've got this one, for example, they go nicely together, don't they? You don't need to use it all in one, but this is going to make that go so much further. Oh yeah, the one with the, uh, the songbirds as well, the grey songbirds would look lovely with it. We've also got yellow. Kat's told us we've got to fly through these. We've been told. She's cracking the whip. No. We're on yellow. We're on sunshine. Oh, this is the one that went with absolutely everything. This one went really, really well with your cabbage roses in both colourways. It looks lovely with your greys. It looks amazing with your uh, jade and, again, cabbage roses any of your colours. That's lovely. Three pounds and 49 pence. We've also got the mixer version of it. So the one with that mottle effect. Whew, how are we doing, Kat? Hopefully we're keeping up. Um, oh, everyone's loving Norma Rose. Oh, I'm so pleased because it is a beautiful collection uh, to take us into new year. New, fresh start. Fingers crossed we can have a Brighter year, zesty year. This is by the half meter as well. If you do want three meters of this, now's the time to stock up. I'm thinking for, for springtime quilts, like lovely daffodils and things like that. This would be absolutely ideal. You could do some lovely applique with that. Next, she's saying next. Oh gosh, it's bringing back bad memories of when I was on the X Factor. Next. <laughs> right, let's do jade <gasps> my favorite it goes with all of them honestly this is the one if you're buying one um, solid to go with your norma rose oh i definitely get it there's the uh, the mega bundle that you can see uh there <laughs> 67 pounds and 41 pence <laughs> Do you remember that program, um, Zap? That's what it reminded me of. Uh, just three pounds, 41 pence. That color is my favorite. Once again, I mean, I could show you all of the fabrics. It will go with all of them. Three pounds and 49 pence. We're gonna go over the different um, colorways, by the way. Uh, for the quilts in Alison's Out because I think there was a bit of a mix up with some of the pictures on the website. So don't worry if you are messaging about it. We will clarify it. We will clarify exactly what you're getting with Alison. We'll go through it with Alison. Peacock. Peacock model effect. Um, Emma, what, what noise do peacocks make? That was very good. Very, very good. Now, I didn't know that. Emma just started making the noise that peacock makes. And my two-year-old nephew, he is obsessed with this video on YouTube of what sound things are. So it was like a sound and you have to guess what animal it is. And it was a guinea pig. And I was like, how do you know what that is? But he's listened to it so many times that he knows it's a guinea pig. And then the next one was that sound. 
And I had no idea what sound a peacock makes, but my two-year-old nephew did. And Emma does. There you go. I didn't know. Is it just me? It's just me. Just me. Right, that's your John Loudon peacock colour. Do you know what a peacock um, noise? Sorry, by the way, Emma, cat's normally really nice. I know I told you that she's nice. She sounds like she's really uh, cracking the whip today. Right, don't have Imperial on its own. It's not available on its own. This is magenta. £3.49 a half metre. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, Alan's got a good suggestion. You could use the plain colour fabrics with screen printing to create stunning designs. Oh, good idea. £3.49 a half metre. Um, so the magenta we've also got in a mottle effect. So if you want to get the two together, all Rose and Hubble, all 100% cotton. We only have the best. We only have the best. And I must say, when you are looking at um, doing your quilt backs or you're doing linings, it's still lovely to be able to use that quality cotton. Um, they are really beautiful fabrics to work with and yet really, really affordable, aren't they? Great price today. Um, the next colour is my favourite, along with the jade. It's called lavender. I don't think I've ever seen the lavender in the mottle effect. Lavender. Look at this. Three pounds ninety-nine. Your lavender cotton mixer. This is a John Lavender one. It's lovely, isn't it? Again, that colour, they just look like fluffy clouds, don't they? Purple ones, obviously. <laughs> you feel sorry for Nigella Lawson? Oh, I love her. I watched her on um, Gogglebox making a fried chicken sandwich. And she's just, she's just amazing, isn't she? She does call a microwave a microwave, though, which is <laughs> hilarious. I do love that. I'm going to start calling it the micro, aren't I? Um, right, this is blush. £3.99. Does anyone else at home call it the micro, are No. <laughs> no, but it's like you say potato and I say potato. Nobody says potato, do they? Uh, £3.99. pence. We're doing ever so well, Cat, on time, you know. We're doing very, very well. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm scared of my producer today. How long are we in this bubble for, do you think? <laughs> when can Hannah come back? <laughs> this one is really lovely. Oh, look at that. Bright pink cotton mixer. Yeah. Three pounds ninety nine for your bright pink cotton mixer. Half a meter, lovely colour. I love that mottle effect. In fact, let me show you them both, so you can see the difference. These two together would look amazing, and then having it with, I would put it with. Well, in fact, actually, you know, you could go completely contrasting, complementing though. Any of these. Yeah, Emma was saying, do you know what? I didn't think that that would work, but actually it really pulls on it. If you do want to see any of them together, message in. We're an interactive show. Let us know. If there's any of the new Norma Rose fabrics that you want to see with any of these solids, let me know and I'll physically put them together so you can see. Because it's difficult, isn't it, sometimes? Have a look. This is the uh, email address, studio at sewingstreet.com. Thank you, Emma. Uh, studio at sewingstreet.com is the email. If you do want to send in any messages then you can do it <laughs> by the email address. Okay, the final one in the mega bundle. Remember, you can still get, are there still rainbow bundles that left? Literally a couple of them left. If you do want any of the, uh, the rainbow bundles, grab those now. You get all of the colors that we've seen. Um, 
just three pounds and 49 pence. <laughs> Sorry, that's so funny. I didn't know that. Because um, Paul's been training you the last couple of days. Right. Now Elliot's taking over. They're being very professional in the gallery today. They're being very sort of strict. I say professional, they're being very strict, Emma, aren't they? <laughs> Three pounds, 49 and a half metre. Poor Emma. Right, the mega bundle of rainbow. We have literally a few of them left. Few of them left. If you do want one, um, then you get all of the colours. I will show you. One sec. Bear with, bear with, bear with. Right, so you get pink, pink, <laughs> lighter pink, lavender, lavender, magenta, magenta, imperial, peacock, jade, sunshine, Sunshine in solid, tangerine. Sorry, I'm not doing very well with my um, display. Emerald and lime. All of those for 54.99. What an amazing collection of fabric. Now we've got less than five of those, less than five. Cat always puts together as many as she possibly can because they always sell out. So just be aware, we've, we've had a big quantity of those. We've got less than five now. So please do be quick on checking out. Now, fabrics by the half metre. We've got, we're going to keep with the bright theme today. We've got some lovely Alison glass prints, which, do you know, I haven't seen for ages. The Sun Prints range was really, really popular. Are they all individual? I love the orange and um, pinks together. I think it's one of my favourite colour combinations. Normally, I always think it looks a bit um, clashy, but actually it really, really works. Um, so this one's called Embroidery in Strawberry Colourway. So, I mean, if you're using this for a plique, you can always fussy cut all of these different elements. You could fill in the gaps with thread. You can embroider into the centre of them. Um, you could use them for so many different, so many different projects. And it's a fabric that every time I look at it, I see something completely different. So you've got butterflies on here, you've got strawberries, you've got an eye, you've got paint brushes and palettes, you've got a boat there, you've got a sea for, uh, seahorse, you've got a uh, horseshoe, <laughs> you've got stars, you've got, look, the ace of spades, the hearts, the clubs, the diamonds. You got your scissors, you got your little house. Do you use this as your solid? Maybe in a Bargello quilt. Any kind of quilt. Rather than a bright, you know, rather than a raspberry or a bright pink, use this. Oh look, there's even a thimble on here. I've never spotted that before. You got a thimble, you got a key, you got a little cupcake, an apple. So random, isn't it? But it really, really works. Um, so that's the only oh no, we have got embroidery as well in orange. Do you want to do that one? We'll do the same print again, this time in pumpkin, it's called. This colour's lovely. <laughs> you got your rabbits, <laughs> you got your houses, or even a needle and thread. Oh, they stand out so beautifully in this colourway as well, don't they? Your big butterfly. Your seahorse, your ship, yeah. This might be the last time that we actually see this fabric. We had the whole collection and this is now the last of stock. This is all that we have got left. Look, you want a moon. Is this like a, um, is it a moth? It's really cool, isn't it? I really like it. Uh, clouds, so cool. Uh, right, this is, this is Emma's favourite. Next one is Emma's favourite. It's called Menagerie. It's like cross stitch, basically. It's like a cross stitch pattern. 
Um, this is in the Callaway called Salmon. It's quite a bright salmon. I always think of salmon more as um, a, a softer pink, whereas this is quite a bright, bright colour. But again, can you see all the different patterns? And they're built up of tiny little crosses. Six pounds and 99 pence. Your menagerie in salmon. Look at that. The lion. The lovely uh, doves. There's the lion. Your bee. But can you see, Emma, come in really close and you'll see that they're all built up of little crosses. Can you see? Where can you see a dinosaur, Elliot? Oh, these. The dragon's breathing fire is what Elliot can see. Do you see them standing on scales? Or a seesaw? I don't know. What do you see? Okay, we've also got another colourway. Uh, we've got it in tiger. Right. Menagerie. Oh, we've got another embroidery then. This would be really nice for... Um, for bag makers actually. Am I upside down? I think there is um, a directional print. I think there is a directional print to this one. Half a metre, six ninety nine. Oh, we have seen so many of you make the most of this collection um, over the last, well, ne nearly, can I say, nearly a year. We, um, we're nearly celebrating our first birthday. That's so exciting. So exciting, we've literally got our first birthday coming up on the 14th of February. Uh, one more print from Alison Glass and it is the embroidery again. What colour is this? Oh no, it isn't the embroidery, it's different. It's stitched. Um, it's called Penny, the colourway. It's actually very, very on trend. Norma Rose, grey with this, they're your Pantone colour of the years. Well, I say that it's grey and yellow, but I really like this almost golden um, or ochre tones that you've seen. That's really lovely. Like a mustard, isn't it? Six nine nine. Hi, Carol. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have a look at your combo for you as well in just a second. No worries. Who's that? Sorry, Carol. Just £6.99 for your Sun Prince range from Alice in Glass Designer Fabric. And I say that price is amazing, isn't it? Okay, so Carol's asked for the two Norma Rose fabrics, the ones with the big pink. That's the yellow and orange. This is the one that I think you've asked for. I'll show you. That's how much you get. So you can see the scale of print. I'll put my hand there. Carol. I hope you managed to, um, are you just coming in from work, Carol? Oh, my word. I hope, um, yeah, I hope it was fine. Have a nice cup of tea with us. Have a nice cup of tea. Um, yes, it's quite a large scale print, isn't it, really? It's lovely. This is the larger scale print. Do you want to do the other one as well? The other large scale print? We'll show you, Carol, just in case you missed it, because I know she's just, she's just um, got back from work. They're all lovely quality. They're really nice. The oh, so this is a smaller scale, but if you do like the pinks and purples, what I'll do is I'll literally put it next to it like that, so you can see. There's your big ro uh, roses. These are again still lovely scale print. It has also got a recipe print card um, text in the background as well. Okay. Right, let me know if you've got any other combos that you want me to put together. It's as simple as that. Carol's just messaged in, have we done it? Um, we've got Spectrum Fabrics next. Is it these two? These, um, these aren't Tula Pink, are they? They remind me of Tula Pink. Um, they're like the geode fabrics. Uh, they go really, really well with Norma Jean. They go really, really well. Should we do our zesty, uh, zesty greens? This one. Oh, our Emma has come from jewellery background. So these remind me of like gemstone geodes, like slices of gemstones. You'll know what I mean. Uh, £5.99. 
They are lovely, aren't they? And it is such a beautiful, bright, zesty green. Five pounds and 99 pence. It will go really, really nicely with any of these normal rose fabrics again. The zesty greens have been lovely. In fact, hang on, this one. Yeah? Cats found these and thought, oh yeah, actually, they'd work really, really well. And we've got the pink as well. Hot pink, hot pink. We can do it. We can do it. This is like a raspberry pink. It's quite um, it's quite a grown-up pink, actually, isn't it? It's not a bubblegum pink. I would say it's more of a raspberry. Five pounds and ninety-nine pence. Spectrum in pink. Oh eight hundred double oh one double four double three. Or of course, check out our multiple. Uh, on the website remember you can order by the half meter so if you are thinking for larger projects this is perfect just five pounds and 99 pence and it is so super super soft uh, we've also got some stripes oh yeah I'm ever so sorry I'm sorry in advance if they make your eyes go funny they don't in real life it's just on screen oh I love this pastel you know when you were saying earlier on about nursery colours this would be lovely wouldn't it just really soft pinks and uh, like peaches blues yellows and greens this is ideal absolutely ideal for, for baby projects four pounds and 99 pence I'm gonna have to you have to gonna you're gonna have to send me some inspiration of what I can make Keep it easy though. Definitely going to make a quilt. But that'd be nice for a little bag, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. £4.99 a half metre. Really good value, aren't they, Emma? Really good value. She can't believe the price of these fabrics. And especially half a metre, you won't believe, half a metre goes a really long way. It does go a really long way. Um, we've also got the stripe in brights which again are lovely the nice nice bright colors okay you've got your yellow and red blue and green this is quite groovy isn't it right now i'm sorry that it's strobing on your screen don't you worry it won't strobe at home it's just because it doesn't like the cameras no offense emma Four ninety nine. If I don't move it, it doesn't strobe, does it? Uh, the Rainbow Mega Bundle sold out. Well done if you managed to get it. Um, we've got, do you want to see the glitter um, fabrics before? Glitter, and then we'll recap the Mega Bundle of the normal rose because the, the Rainbow Bundle is now completely sold out. This is called Bobby's Picnic. It's lovely, isn't it? That's really cute. Uh, we've also got the glitter fabrics. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. I've got a um, face covering mask in that lovely glitter fabric. These are really jazzy, aren't they? What I love about this is, look, you, the reverse of it as well is just plain green. So it's up to you. It has got like a bit of a, a dressing on it, but you'll be absolutely fine sewing through. It won't come off on your hands. Do you know sometimes when you get those gift bags and those birthday cards that just shared glitter in fact what was i doing the other day oh i had some novelty like christmas glasses on that were all glittery and for days i kept being like what is that i have washed my face but glitter was like stuck all over my face um this one isn't going to to leave you with glitter everywhere but it looks so lovely that's your green with the gold glitter <laughs> thank you cat Cat as must have said about six times then. And then we've got cream. And then we've got the cream. We've got cream as well, Vic. I was just indulging, wasn't I? This one's lovely. £4.99. I know, I know, Elliot. <laughs> he went, I think she was telling you to move on. The cream and green would look lovely together as well. And it's exactly the same as well that it's uh, got the, the plain backing. Plain reverse. You might buy the half metre. Oh, how about for little dressing up um, costumes? Things like that. Oh, little makeup bags and toiletry bags that'd be nice with this. Cat wants a big star. One in your size, like a big star outfit. Like on a nativity film. 
so Kat can sing Sparkle and Shine. Right, the whole mega bundle of Norma Rose looks like this. You get all of your cabbage roses. You have your recipe cards. You've got your songbirds in there. They're all absolutely beautiful. £67 and 41 pence. It's only come in today. Brand new in today. And I think it's what we all need entering into a new year. Lovely bright colourways. Just £67 and 41 pence. I must say the quality of it is lovely. Nice, nice and soft. Even though it's quilting weight, it's really soft. Um, that one, remember you're getting them by the half metre. So if you are multi-buying, they are cut into half metre pre-cuts, but still going to be amazing for, for quilts, for bag making. They're all individually available um, on the website by the half metre as well. We did it! We made it through everything! Hayley, Hayley, did, Hayley doubted us, you see. She was saying, I don't think you're going to get through all that fabric, cat. And we've done it. Um, we've got coming up, we will explain all of the confusion with the colourways, don't you worry. We'll go through it all with Alison so you know exactly what you get in your kit. Anybody who's getting them on pre-order, don't worry, we'll sort through and, and make sure everybody knows exactly what they're getting. It's going to be an amazing hour. All the kits are going to be extremely popular. Coming up with Alison Marion in just a couple of minutes. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. New Year's are always about trying new things, so why not try out a new hobby? From the 4th to the 10th of January, Sewing Street will be bringing you a week packed with demonstrations on new techniques, beginner's tutorials and brand new projects. With everything from ribbon art, making your own sleepwear, new quilting techniques and beginner's homeware makes. We have something for everyone. Sign up to our email newsletter and follow us on social media to find out what's on when. And watch our New Year new hobby shows from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 4th to Sunday the 10th of January on Freeview 72, Sky 670, our YouTube channel or Facebook Live. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Welcome back, welcome back. I hope everybody is having a lovely morning. It is so cold. Please stay in the warm today. It's uh, stay safe. If you are out and about, it's so slippy and cold out there. So please, please, please be careful. Wrap it warm. Um, but yeah, stay in with us this morning. We've got a lovely, lovely show. In fact, you know what? Days like today, you just want to wrap up in a nice snug warm quilt. And if you're thinking, oh well, by the time I finish any of my quilts, it's going to be summer. 
honestly, this is a brilliant way of completing a quilt. Don't get me wrong, we all have the intentions of completing them. And by the time you've done all of your quilt top, you're thinking, oh, do you know what? I'm putting it in the cupboard and I'll quilt it another time. And you start another project. Uh, and we all build up all these UFOs. Not with this. You are going to finish it and complete it as it is a quilt as you go technique. Now, we've got two bundles, which we will go through as well to make it clear, because I think there was a bit of confusion with the pictures on the website. Um, but so exciting that we're starting with the instructions on their own. So those of you that have got loads in your stash at home, you can get the instructions on their own. So £9.99, uh, suitable for beginners. We're going to go through all the techniques with Alison. Uh, all of your instructions are, are, are of course, written by Alison Maris, Marion as well. So you know how clear they're going to be. Beautiful pattern, only £9.99. Uh, and I suppose you can go as big as you want with this. It's up to you. If you just want to do it as a four patch, you can. If you want to do it as six, if you want to do it as a cot quilt, if you want to do it as a king size quilt, it's up to you how much fabric you're, you're using. Um, as it is quilt as you, as you go, I don't know whether you intend on doing it as a king size and you just think, do you know what, I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop there. I think it is one of those things that actually when you see the technique and you've got the templates, you've got everything that you need in there to get going, jot down today's date, it's probably one of those that you will just keep going and keep going and adding squares and adding squares, but you can always add different designs in there as well and make it your own. Um, this is your French Rose Quilt As You Go Ragged Edge Quilt. And what I love about it, this is one that Alison made with her fabrics from home. Um, so it looks beautiful with different ditzy prints as well. So if you do want to use, ah, oh, that almost looks like, it looks like the Barley Pop Batiks. It's not, but it, it looks like, you know, if you were to do it in the Barley Pops, it'd look amazing. Um, the best thing about it is the more you wash it, the more frayed that your edges get, the better. It's going to be really lovely if you wash it and wash it and wash it. Um, it's going to just get better with age. £9.99, pence. that's for your pattern on its own. Now we've put together two bundles as well. Um, we'll start with the solid colours. What's interesting as well, and we'll go through it with Alison, because it's different to sort of your traditional ways of quilting, that you've got your seams on the front here. So all of your seams are, are, are going to be there visible. Uh, and as I say, once they're washed and it frays, it's going to look amazing. Uh, now, bundle. The bundle that Alison is working with is the solid bundles that you can see here. And Alison even said to me, if I'm being brutally honest, when I got these colours together, I thought, oh, I don't know whether this is going to work. I don't know. Whereas actually, she says, you'll be really surprised how beautifully this comes together. Uh, so you get three metres of your white. Now that is enough to be able to do the front and the back for 12 blocks. So you've got three um, three meters, or three and a half, did you say? Three meters, three meters of your white. You get half a meter, half a meter of, of pomegranate, half a meter of chartreuse, and half a meter of purple, which is a lovely blue purple. Then you've also got two fan quarters um, uh, in sunshine and in fur. So all of your fabric, plus you're going to get the pattern as well for $46.99. That's a brilliant price point, isn't it? $46.99 to say you're getting your pattern and all of the fabrics for the front and the reverse, and the reverse. Remember, your backing is included, um, and that's enough to be able to do the 12 uh, block quilt. We also have a second colourway, which is the one that you've seen up on the wall behind me in the last hour. So that's this one. And if you do love the one that Alison did at home and the one that's on the wall there, um, we've incorporated a few other different prints, which works really well because they're small scale prints. You don't lose any of the flowers. Three meters of white again. Uh, Alison says she always imagined this in the more pastel colors. It looks great in the brights. It's gonna look really cool, but actually I, I know what you mean, it looks, Beautiful. Again, because it's one of those that's going to look better with age, uh, it's going to look even better with age. It's nice to have these quite rustic colours. So you've got three metres of white, again for your front and your backing, half a metre. This is Hannah Basic Flowers on Rose, half a metre of lilac cotton mixer, 
half a meter of chartreuse again love that and then this time we've got two fat quarters one in the stripe and one in lemon now we've checked and double checked and triple checked and this is the correct way around so i'm really sorry on the website what are they called this one is called pink and green pink and green french roses and your pattern don't forget so this is called pink and green french roses the other one is called purple and green so I can see where the confusion was. Um, but this one is pink and green, the other one's purple and green. So yes, sorry about that confusion, but you do get everything that you need. The ones that we've shown on air are the correct ones. You get your patterns included as well. And of course, today's demonstration, to, so jot down today's date. Ooh, I'm thinking lots of people who are getting the pattern on its own. Very, very popular, by the way, on its own. If you do want the pattern separately, it's nine pounds and 99 pence. I'm thinking some of the modas, even some of the normal rose fabrics that we had in the last hour would look really, really nice. Any of your smaller scale prints or different texture fabrics gonna look really nice. In fact, you could use it with a completely different color background. It looks great with the white, but it's gonna change it completely if you do a different color background as well. Uh, just nine pounds and 99 pence for your pattern on its own. Okay, so brand new in today absolutely love it hello Alyssa Hi. <laughs> lovely to have you back thank you nice to be cold here cold wintry morning oh isn't it? that was the worst drive I've had yet <laughs> oh it's horrible it's the first time I've had to de-ice my car this winter yeah. it's been really cold well, Mike went out and did that for me so I got oh, in a nice him. warm car but when I got here I just couldn't I've never seen anything like it it's like it's like glitter is falling yeah it's so really it must strange. be ice frozen it's not snow or something yeah, yeah. It, crazy. Yeah, never seen it before. It's quite pretty in the headlights, but not very nice for driving. No. <laughs> well, I thought, oh my word, am I seeing stars? Do yeah. I need to stop yeah. driving? And then realise, yeah. no, it's yeah, just I've all the I've never seen anything like it before. Oh. This, um, this is great. And I've been asking you loads and loads and loads of questions about this because it's the first um, time that I've seen rag quilting. Um, and having this frayed edge is all part of it, isn't it? It is, yes. And like Beautiful. you say, as you wash it, the one on the the background here that's only been done once right. your, your initial wash is done with cold water no detergent no softener or anything like that so you do it with cold water mm -hmm. and then the next one will be a warm one and it will it will gradually get so a softer rag in in here the one that i've done there is a little sampler i you don't have to actually if you don't want to you don't have to put a binding around the outside no. edge because on that one there you, this end one here you can just stitch all the way That's around it, the yeah. outside yeah and just snip in and then as that washes that will also get um fluffy and raggy like the center of the quilt right so you don't even so you need don't to add have fabric to for bind it. it i love that it's such beautiful texture isn't yeah, it yeah it is lovely yeah it's very tactile and indeed. that one you mentioned earlier that one i did because i used the two different um, waddings. Could you see on telly out there? Could you see the different Slightly. colours? So it's, and it is yeah. only a subtle difference, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah. But it's good to mention, because we never actually talk about this, depending on what waddings you use, because I did ask Alison, what wadding did you use? And she it's said, well... It's only on white. Yeah. It's only on white, because if it's a colour back background, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, but on white, if you wanted to have a crisp white, you would use the poly. Polyester. But if you don't mind, like, the creamy white, this is all the, um, the cotton batting so cotton gives so you more creamy but polyester without the poly in the middle you wouldn't know no but i thought i'd point it out because if people want it, it yeah. you can see a slight it's very difference. subtle it is a very yeah. subtle these are slightly creamy and this one's more of a crisp white which is polyester now this is the crib size is that going to be enough the crib size yeah perfect yeah. Yeah, because I think that you've only got your blocks are 12 inches and you've got three. So that's 36 mm. by 48 is the mm. amount of wadding because you don't put your wadding over the whole thing. You only do 11 inch squares yeah. of the wadding. Great yeah, scrap cluster, go. by the way. If it you wanted to do a, a practice, because although it does do look lovely with all the same um, fabrics, it looks just as nice if you want to sort of practice the technique with yeah different fabrics and Glennis wanted to see the back of it because I suppose when you're quilting the back. on the <laughs> go it, it, it you do think oh well what's the back going to look like but yeah. actually it looks amazing yeah. I love the reverse of it yeah um I've, I've also brought another couple of little bits and pieces 
I don't. I think you're too young to remember Candlewick bed spreads. Mm, Candlewick. Yeah. They. Um, I feel like I do know Candlewick. My wick nan bed. used to have them on okay. her beds, and oh, they were lovely. They had like tram lines of all these fluffy shapes right. all the way around it. Now, if you want to get um, a technique more like that, I mean, this one here, because in the pattern, we do everything with our joins at half an inch when we're joining the blocks together. But you, if you wanted to trim them back to a quarter of an inch and then snip them closer, and also add some extra layers, I've put in some little, where are we, here we are. I've put in some little additional pieces of fabric and just sandwiched them before they're wadded so you've got you've Extra got four nice. layers there and then you've got four layers here because you would join those together you'd have your wadding in there so you've actually got eight layers so do I have enough in my three meters of fabric to be able to do that to be able well? to do this because you don't, yeah. it, you, you don't it doesn't that. have to be the full length you can yeah. just use up scraps yeah um, so you'll have eight layers in there and this hasn't been washed so once it's been washed, it will look more like the chenille bedspreads where you've got yeah. like, um, I had a look, um, chenille apparently is French for caterpillar. Oh, I didn't And they that. do, they look like the, the fluffy caterpillars. So that is another thing you can do with it if you want to add You could even do extra. another colour. Could you do a different colour sandwich yeah. in between? So yeah. then you've got the different yeah, colours I mean, running it's, through. It's, you know, yeah. possibilities are endless, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah, that's another thing you can do. You can cut out bits of scraps, but I do need to mention about cutting out. Right. It's quite so well, specific. this is a great beginner's project, isn't it? So let's start from the cutting out. The first yeah. thing that you do when you get it home, you get your pattern, which has got your instructions and it's got yeah. your template in there. And here's the template for you to follow for cutting out because it is quite specific. If I put put that there, I'm not actually going to cut it. <laughs> um, could you just pull it down to your side there we go you've Perfect. got your three you. meters of fabric and here are your selvages yeah. so you're not actually going to fold it selvage to selvage right. you're going to fold it cut edge to cut edge okay you need to start it's explained it's all explained here you're going to start let me say this oh there we are look I'll do it like this that's your piece of that's your piece of backing fabric and here's your your square I would suggest you cut out a piece of cardboard the right size right so this is my piece of cardboard and my first square is going to be up in this corner I've got two layers because I've actually folded it up mm -hmm. so you're going to put your first one there and draw around it yeah and then you're going to move this one and draw around it and then you're going to fit in the rest of the squares as you work down the piece of fabric okay so don't fold it in half like that and then go like that because there you're not going to be able to get enough out it is quite specific how you need to cut it but as I said there is a diagram right and it's explained here so you start up in the top right hand corner and mm -hmm. work your down, way down the piece of fabric Oh, that's good. So you need, this is double, so you do 12, so you've got your 24 squares. Lovely. No, and that's then you, good that you, yeah, you that. can, if you wanted to do it more like chenille and add the little strips in, in between, you can just cut those out. They don't have to be the right length. You can put shorter lengths and everything in. I love the bright colours together. I know that you I said do. at the start, you weren't yeah. sure, because you saw it more in the sort of... Well, pastels. my one at home is in the pinks and the blues, yeah. that one there like that, and, and I love that. But yeah. I think the first time you do one, you you pick out the things that you particularly like, don't you? And that kind of sort of gets it in your head how it should look. And I thought, oh, yeah, lovely, nice vintage colours, those yeah. ones. They're lovely. And then I looked at these and I thought, oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. But I love it. Yeah, it does work really and well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a shame that I wouldn't have bought those colours had I been buying the fabric. If yeah. I'd have gone and looked online and yeah. thought, oh, I, I need four fabrics there, I wouldn't have bought those because I would have thought they were too bright. But I love it. Yeah, that's a good thing about you know, having the kits put together because you wouldn't, you wouldn't have necessarily no. done that. No. So it's, it's really good no. to be able to see. So nice one, Hayley. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so does that mean that we're working with bias edges then if you're cutting these yes. squares out? Yes, and I, I thought I would do this because 
it's all about new possibilities this week, isn't it? And oh, for yeah. anybody that hasn't worked with any fabric on the bias, this is a really good one to start with because you don't have to worry about it. Let's move that out of the way a minute. Because you're layering and your wadding in the center actually stops your center from stretching too much. You just have to be careful on your edges okay. around here. So if you're handling it too much, do you find that it could warp? Yeah, I mean, you, you don't actually handle this that much mm. because when you're quilting, you've got your hands in the centre and you're turning. You may have the edges here. So you just have to be careful when you're actually putting the blocks together. Right. So it's mainly putting the blocks together. Okay. Um, but yes, because it's on the bias and um, you've got your wadding in the centre, there's not too much of an issue. Right, okay. The only thing I would say is I did my bias... Uh, my binding on the bias too, which I wouldn't recommend. So I, I cut my... In the instructions, you're told to put the, um, the strips of fabric together and then cut in three inches. I did mine on the bias, but if, if it's your first, first time, I would um, cut it normally. Well, do you, I don't know, do you need by no, you binding don't. if no, there's no No, because it's straight, but yeah. I, I wanted like the, um, the angled the edges, yeah. yeah, because when you turn them over, your two joins, I've got a join here and a join here, whereas if I'd have cut it on the straight, that would have, be, that would have been directly over the top. Yeah. I mean, it's not an issue. No. But, um, you know... So I, if it's your first time working with a bias block, don't try the bias on the binding. Just do a, a straight binding. But uh, all you do to put your blocks together is you've got your 12 inch at the bottom, then you've got your wadding, and you've got so this your is top the beauty here. of quilt as you go, isn't it? So You're quilting working on as one you go, block, that's all. One block. Yeah. So those are people who have got smaller machines. Do you think that this is um, a, a good project to do? Who oh yeah, because you know, you, you've quilting. never, you've never got more than one block under your machine. Yeah, Brilliant. because even when you're putting them together, your block is complete. Yeah. You don't have to revisit that at all. Yeah. So you've only ever you're holding that. Oh, it's so. I find this is so sort of less intimidating. Um, you know, when you you've done a, a quilt top, and then you think, right now the beast is trying yeah. to quilt yeah. it, and you're yeah. rolling up, and you're yeah. trying to lug it all around. It's it's really some difficult. people don't mind making lots of quilt tops, putting them away, and thinking, oh, I'll I'll quilt that an, another day. I'll go back to that. I'm not like that. I don't you like, like finish finished projects. projects. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like to start a project and finish it. So. Uh, Two afternoons, this what that one was. That's so good, isn't it? Yeah. That's so good. Be a brilliant first quilt. Absolutely. It would, yeah. And if you've got a, a teenager, a youngster that wants to start yeah. as well, because it's not precise, mm -hmm. you I mean, don't need to worry yeah, too much about it. No, yeah. no. I'm, I'll mention it when I'm actually doing the quilting. The only thing that you do have to be aware of um, is that you keep the shape as you're quilting. Don't be afraid of turning it because you don't want to um, be too subtle with your turns here. If you're too subtle, you'll ah. end up just with a circle around the outside edge. We're going to show how so you do I'll some of that. Echo yeah, I'm hoping. As well, aren't we? I'm hoping to get a whole block done and get it added to that. Ah, oh, Glennie said thanks for showing the back. She says I wondered whether it was sewn with coloured thread or white on the back. So I suppose it's up to you. You, you can, can do put a different whatever colour you like. If you've got, I was going to say, if you've got um, a different coloured backing, you can put a different coloured bobbin. As long as you've got an appropriate thread, yeah. you know, have the same type of thread on the top and the bottom. Okay. Um, it's like I've done all these with white. I mean, I could have been. Yeah, I could have changed all the colours and oh, done like them in that colour. Possibilities are yeah. endless, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Hello, Wendy Orlando. Hi, Wendy. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. She said, good morning, lovely ladies. Wow, this quilt is gorgeous. And she says it's perfect to snuggle under right yeah. now. It yeah. is. <laughs> uh, she says, no time for that as I'm working in my sewing room uh, and you're keeping me company. I can't call it sewing wet, though, as I love it so much. Yeah, it's not yeah. work, is it? We're so lucky, aren't we, Wendy? <laughs> 
please, can you have a word with the management and get us back together again? I miss your craziness. Oh, Alison, I miss you too. Will you please stop? Uh, sorry, Wendy, please will you make sure that you, uh, yeah, stop requesting to work with other people. <laughs> Thursdays and Fridays, please. <laughs> Thursdays and Fridays, come and see me. Right, so where do we start then? So we've sandwiched our yeah. blah. For a beginner, I mean, I have done it on this one. Oh, oh, that's another thing I must mention. I didn't use a walking foot. Ah. So on this one, I didn't use a walking foot and I didn't 505 it. I only pinned it. But if it's your first, first one, I would recommend 505 in the layers together, which is what I've done here. Look, it's all for anybody that doesn't know 505 is, oh, you had Behind some this you. morning. <laughs> it's back in stock. Yeah. Um, it just makes things easier if you haven't got a walking foot. Mm -hmm. I like my walking foot and I have it, even though I'm a dressmaker as well, I have my walking foot on the machine all the time. The only time you take it off is if you're using a different foot, perhaps a zipper foot or something like yeah. that. Um, but it, it, it's good that if you are starting out a new hobby and a new craft, when you when you are starting out, they are, lots of people always say, oh, you need this and you need yeah. this and you need this. You and don't actually, have this to is have a any of it. project. Yeah, you don't have, you don't to have, have any, any of it. No. Um, you can start off with a pair of scissors and a sewing machine. Brilliant. Grab but yourself you some 505. You won't stay like that very long <laughs> <laughs> because there's so much. <laughs> right, so um, we've sandwiched our layers together. And let me put, I've got three layers there. And then I would suggest that you make templates. I'll just put these and I'll come back to them in a minute. If you make templates of your flowers, so you get the, the uh, you do get the the, the template you do. pattern. You can so you open can that one. That's can not I? one of the buying ones. Thank you. I'll open it up then. <laughs> oh, I was. Bit, we have got hundreds of these. By the, well, I say that we had hundreds of these. I bought that one for the studio, so that one's okay. Oh, as always, I mean, they're always really well presented. And there you go. You've got Alison's templates as well. So have you just transferred these onto a card? Yes, just a piece of black card I've yep. got there. That's Lovely. what I had at home. So I've got my three colours together. And all I'm doing is I'm putting my template down. And I've, I've put my green um, chalk in my chalk pen. Not that it really matters because it's going to be washed anyway. Yeah. But uh, you can also use a friction pen. And then just go round the outside. I mean, you can be as economical as you like with your fabric. I probably wouldn't have put it right in the middle of this piece had I been at home, but you get plenty so that of you fabric can see, in the kits, you do, don't you? yeah. And can you choose which way round? I suppose because you get half a meter of well, you, the pink, you the green, swap and the it all around. You swap it all around. Yeah. Actually, the instru I will say the instructions were written for, for a three by three, and when I went back in to change everything, there's one bit that I didn't change, and it does say that with this with the combination number of fabrics you've got, you won't get any repeated colours, but with this size you do. Okay. Yeah, so you do get repeated colours. So now I'm going to cut this out of the centre as well. Do you always keep your centres the same? Your centre colour? Are they always...? No, no, they're all, all different. Right. So I'll go there now, I'll just pin them together a minute while I cut it out. The one that Alison's working with, by the way, just to remind you, is purple and green. It's your main graphic. It's, um, like I said, it, there's nothing precise about it at all. It's not like when you're doing piecing and things like that, where you've got to really be very particular because things won't fit together. Even if your backing squares are a little different, when you put them together, it really doesn't matter. And just go in with your scissors. Yeah, Go I'm just it. following all the way around the outside. And then I'm going to go through the centre. I'll just start, start a little snip. And then do the same. Now we're going to use these. These are going to be our small centre flowers. But if you were doing it with, say, scraps and you didn't want to use the colour again, you still need to take your centre out because um, basically you're taking out a lot of bulk right. from the centre. Good pair of sharp scissors if you are starting a new hobby, yeah. um, if you're starting quilting or any sort of crafting, 
Good pair of scissors. Do you um would you mind admitting how many pairs of scissors you have, Alison? Ooh, Are you a what, bit of ones a that I use or ones that I just look at? <laughs> <laughs> when um when uh, I used to watch Sewing Quarter. Yeah. They had all the Tula Pink scissors oh, yeah. on. Yeah, did you have some of them? <gasps> oh that was my Christmas present one year for my parents. I had the whole set. Oh my word, that's but amazing. But they're so pretty. You don't use them. I don't <laughs> <laughs> what are you like? Uh, I've got the applique ones, the little snips, everything, but oh, they are gorgeous. Viscars are your everyday ones then? Yes, yeah. And they it's sharpen. I've got one of the Fiskars sharpeners, you know, so if I, if I feel, or, you know, it's getting a little bit so that it won't go through right on the end. Well, you're going through quite a I few just, layers, aren't you? I just shove them through my Fiskars, uh, Fiskars sharpener and they're as good as new. Oh, that's good. And I cut a lot of fabric. Oh, well, there's <laughs> nothing worse than cutting into your new fa favourite designer fabrics and, yeah. and having a blunt pair of scissors. Mm -hmm. So they're lovely. They're for just fourteen ninety nine. Um, also, what was that? Sorry, cat. The pattern. Pattern on its own. Loads of you have already uh, checked out. Remember, you get all of your templates plus you get all of your instructions uh, for just forty. No, for nine ninety nine. In fact, I should say not. There you go. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Ooh, what there is also use? there is also a choice when you finish. You don't actually have to snip into the um, into the edges. I've left this one, these ones here. Yeah, they're not snipped, so they won't. They will just sort of curl, right? Rather than rag like the snipped ones uh -huh. were. That's why it, if you've got a stash that you can do a few practice ones with. You know, it'd be nice to do that before you cut into your um, new fabric. Nice. So we're not going to use these centres because we've got the yellow for the flower centres, but you're still going to take it out to reduce the bulk. That's why we don't use bondle web, mm -hmm. because we want the edges to fray and also it would make them a little bit on the thick side. Don't even need bondle web for this then? No. No, a 505 is better. I mean, you could if you wanted to. You don't have to have yellow centres. You could use the coloured centres. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be an issue. So that's all of the flowers cut out. And then we've just got the flower centres and the leaves. <laughs> this is where I say at home I would be a little more economical with my fabric. Yeah, so you can just put your templates right to the end, can't yeah, you? And yeah. Put those. These bright colours are going to look lovely together. But e equally, if you're getting the pattern on its own, um, would you? Is there any advice of what you would you would recommend for um, using fabrics from your stash? Could you it's just go completely cotton. random? Oh yes, they look lovely. I mean, if you have a look on Pinterest, yeah. some of them they have different backgrounds and oh, um, nice. yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. But it does need to be cotton, really. Um, a poly cotton wouldn't, wouldn't, yeah, just wouldn't cut it because it, it won't fray. Because of the poly uh, element, you know, it doesn't curl when right. it's... Right, okay. No, that's yeah. good to know. That's good to know. Did you say Anne had a question for Alison? We had a question from Anne. Um... What's the reason for cutting the background on the bias? Because if you do it on the normal cross grain of the fabric, it's going to um, fringe. You know, right. um, I'll, I'll cut a bit and I'll show you. You'll end up with uh, like eyelashes. Oh, okay. Let me show you on here because this is cut. When you Let's make sure you can see it on the. Thank you. On the camera. Slightly more to this your is right. straight. That's it. Thank you. There we go. So when you cut it, can you see that's all going to come off, and it's just going to go in one long. Yeah. And you'll end up with like fringing rather than the ragging. Ah, okay. There we go. I don't know. That, so yeah, is that you obvious? Can see, yeah. Um, whereas when you're on the bias, which is here, you get more you of a get, fray. Uh, yeah, 
it rags rather than because you're not actually pulling out I mean you do have to shake it because where you're cutting and things like that you will get a lot of shreds and if you put it in the tumble dryer you really make to, need to make sure that you clean your filter because you do get some come off but you can see that's not actually pulling away so that now it once it's um, trimmed it's all going to be curled up rather than ah. rather than the bits come off I'll, I'll get a few more bits off and I'll show you especially because we're, we're actually doing this aren't we yeah Okay, just go to your right side, Alison. Thank you. I mean, that's just a totally different look. If you wanted to do that, there's no reason why you couldn't. Absolutely. Just put it on the white. It might show up better then. If we... Yeah, it looks nice and fluffy now. There, look. So if you want it like that, but you would have to make sure that you did a really small stitch so that uh, that didn't fray back any further because you need to stop the fraying at your stitching. Right, okay. I hope that answers your question, Anne. Thank you. Right those out of the way so now that was those so we've got our three pieces this would be can we get get the these row. in let's see that's the finished one so can we get those in kind of <laughs> that's it yeah thank you so you've already um 505 these together mm -hmm. And we're going to place our flowers on. Now you you could 505 these, but it's it's difficult getting 505 in a little little area. I love these colours. <laughs> They're so lovely and bright. So, just a few dabs with a sew line or a basting marker. Okay. And you want to get it ish in the centre. The glue pen at the moment is out of stock, but we have got the refills for anybody who might need some refills on the website. So then we'll have these like this. That one there, and that one there. Did I cut my centres? I thought I did. What have I done with um, them? There they are. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that one there. Like that. So then you do another just a few little dabs. All you're doing is just holding them in place. You're going to pin them as well. Oh, okay. So, there we go, put that one there. Oh, Faye says, I've four pairs of scissors and snips. She said, I only started sewing in April, <laughs> um, but I've got one pair of card scissors, one <laughs> pair of fabric pa scissors, and you do need to make sure you have the right tools for the job, don't you? We all have our obsessions. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I first started in the sewing world, how, how every everybody was quite possessive over their scissors as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not quite as obsessive as some with their scissors. <laughs> I cut, I cut paper with mine. Oh, <laughs> Alison, but you sharpen yours very regularly. I don't do. You? Yes, I've got a sharpener and I do sharpen them. So, so all we're doing now is deciding where the leaves are going to go. Um, on did on that one? Did I do them separately? Oh, no, I didn't. I put them together like, like this. But on yeah. the photograph, on the instructions, I haven't put the leaves together. Oh, I've right, done yeah. them in a separate one on one side and one on the other. You yeah. know? So it's uh, up to you how you want to um, do it. OK. And I think I put them on afterwards as well. I did all the quilting around the flower. Yeah. And then I just put the leaf on and then sew around the leaf. So you can do them however you want. So We've got a yeah, leaf here and there a leaf are here. <laughs> or you could do them like that and put them all together. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's one lot all done. So that's one row. And they're all different colours. Already um, got the wadding in. So then... Because you know when you're normally quilting, you have your wadding on the outside you have a few inches around the edge do you need yeah, to do no. that with no you, you go the opposite have it slightly yeah. smaller because okay. you don't want it showing really when you've actually um sewn your seams together right with you so you want that especially if it's a cream one mm -hmm. you don't want that showing in your seam because yeah. it's on the top yeah whereas normally 
you know. Having said that, if you didn't want that, if you just wanted to do the flowers, mm -hmm. oh, that looked better, yeah. Nice. You could, if you just wanted to do the flowers, there's no reason why you couldn't do it like a normal quilt mm -hmm. and put a sashing in it. Ah, yeah. You know, you could sash it on the top and then um, on the bottom as well. Yeah, it's up to you. So, yeah, you can it's do it your that work, way. isn't it? So, but so pinned uh, it all in place. Yeah. So that's the assembly done. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, how quick it's going to come together. Like you yeah. said, that quilt took you a couple of days. Couple, yeah, well, a couple afternoons. of afternoons. Yeah. How good that? Afternoons. Yeah. And um, I suppose you could do it even bigger if you wanted. If you've got more fabric at home, keep going. The kit, you could make more centres. Yeah. I mean, you the three metres is enough to do the do front and blocks. the back of that, the 12 yeah. blocks. So if you wanted to buy extra backing or put a different colour backing um, and alternate it. Oh, but you have enough in your, your uh, colour fabrics and the, the pattern to, to be able to do more. Do more. Amazing. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Right. Okay, so I've got my machine and I'm going to put it on a three for the quilting. Could you do free Just motion straight on this? As free motion? Well, you could. You don't need to. But it's not really necessary. Okay. Because, um, you know, it, it's such an easy thing to do. I'm take all this machine has got cutters and that doesn't leave you any thread and we need to have our tails of thread let's just get that right so don't use the cutting facility no. on your machine this time because you'll see i mean i will after i've done a couple because i'll show you it'll take too take too long for me to uh, carry on and do it they wouldn't so we're just a straight stitch on a three for the quilting and we're going to go around the outside edge. Even this doesn't have to be too precise. About a quarter of an inch, maybe a little less. But as you can see, I've not got, uh, I've not got a walking foot on. And it seems to be handling absolutely fine, yeah. doesn't it? Are you using the cotton or the polyester wadding in, in yours? This is the cotton. The cotton, and it's absolutely fine. But the fine, polyester sews just as well. Yeah. But because we've because we've put it down with the um, the five oh five spray, everything's staying in, in yeah. place. Yeah, it does help. Right. If you then if you get a a needle with a big eye. So you've got your long thread still on there. Yeah, because now we're going to tie them. Yeah. On the top. We can do this on the top. I mean, if you if you wanted to, you could take them back and do them all down the bottom. But because we're going to rag the edge of the fabric, that it's all going to be um, there. We go. It's all going to be uh, covered anyway. So I've got a large eye needle, and I've just knotted that twice, and I'm going to lose the loose ends of the thread inside the quilt now. So I'll come up. Sorry, I've got to put my hand there to pull out the needle. So there we are. We'll lose that in there. Right, and then that's all secure. Yep. And then we'll do that. So you can see what's going to be the most time-consuming time bit of the whole quilt. <laughs> it's tying your ends. Ty tying off your threads. So do you do it as you go? So stitch by yeah, do yeah. it as you go. Yeah, I, I wouldn't it would leave it to the end. Much, yeah. yeah, unless you want to sit in front of the TV of an evening yeah. and just do a, tie off all your ends. But you're likely to sew some in as you're sewing your other rounds, because we're going to do all the rounds. So there, I've knotted that off, and then just gonna put that through and come up. June said that she likes hand stitching. She's wondering if this could be hand quilted. Um, you'd have to be, you'd have to be really careful because when I get to the, oh, I can show you on this one. When you get to the outside around here, you're going to take your stitching out into your seam allowance. Right. So you would have to, probably the, but yes you could, because you, what you could do is you could actually draw your outline and make sure that your hand stitching doesn't go out above the outline, because you're gonna be snipping into the outside. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And although it doesn't matter snipping into machine stitching, 
your hand stitching is likely to start coming undone. Okay. So what I think what I would do is I would mark half an inch all the way around the outside, um, do your hand stitching to that where you're actually going to join the, them together so that you know you're not going to snip into any of your stitching. There you go, June. I hope that helps again. Oh, yeah, have a go, have a go. Yeah, Make it it's all own. trial and error, really, isn't it? I haven't done it like yeah. that, but I wouldn't like to say it's not possible because... Oh, yeah, I know a lot of people who, who do do a lot of hand quilting as yeah. well. Well, with my normal quilts, I do a lot of hand quilting. Yeah. I like, you know, pieced quilts and things like that. So then going around curves like this... Yeah, you you're, just... Just, you're just moving the fabric underneath... I haven't got a special foot or anything. I haven't no. got a free motion foot. And it's moving quite nicely. Don't go over your pins. <laughs> yeah, careful of those pins. You are basically like doing free motion without a free motion foot yeah. on, aren't you? With the, with the straight, um, straight stitch. Yeah, with the foot down. Yeah. So there we go. We'll go again. And I know I say it nearly every time I come on, but a lot of my projects, these snips are absolutely oh, yeah. fabulous. <laughs> there because, you go. Oh, because on about they're, a yeah, scissor addiction. Me and my... <laughs> oh, it is, yeah. It's scissors again, isn't it? <laughs> but because of the spring, it's, it's so easy on your hands. You're not ha having to actually physically, like with a pair of scissors, you've actually got to physically open them. Yeah. But with these, because they're sprung... Did we introduce you to those? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I've spent a fortune since I've <laughs> been doing shows on here. I think we've got them on the website. They're these ones, by the way. These are your Fisco's Easy Action Soft Brick Yeah, scissors. absolutely brilliant. 99 yeah. Alison recommends. And because I do a lot of rag quilting where you do do a lot of snipping in, it's, you know, brilliant. Oh, and they have got a nice sharp point, haven't they? They have, yeah. So then they'll go through again. Oh, I need to tell you, by the way, that the 680 machine, um, we didn't realise it still had the five-year warranty with it. It does, but only until Saturday. And then after Saturday, the uh, the 680 machine warranty runs out. Sorry, it goes back to two years, doesn't it? Um, yeah, there's the 680. We'll, we will show it um, in more detail over the, the next couple of days anyway for anybody who's missed it but it's the one that Alice is working with it's a lovely machine it's my favorite it's my favorite machine right I'm going to leave because of the time I'm going to leave all that pinned down and I'm just going to go around the outside edge because I'd like to show you how easy it's put it all together as well make so um so again I've got the tails on the thread that's there and I'm I'm starting at a point where it's obvious to finish yeah. rather than starting around the edge of the flower. I'm starting at a point. Okay. And the only, I would say the only stipulation when you're doing this and you go up to, you can go into your seam allowance. So I'm going to go around the outside, but you do need to keep the de definition of the flower. As I said earlier, you, it's very easy to lose some of the definition and end up with just a circle at the outside edge. So as you're going round, I don't know whether you can see, would it be easier if I did that? Is Thank that you. Any better? Yeah. I'll try and keep my hands out of the way. When you're going round, almost over accentuate the, the patterns you're going round. Right, so are you following the edge of your foot with the end of your fabric? Yes, kind of, but I'm I'm actually making the the curve exaggerated. More, yeah, yeah, especially when I'm coming down here, so that uh, so that you do keep the because otherwise you just do go round. around it. Yeah. and then I meet up again. Do you ever use quilting gloves, Alison? Yes, and I forgot to bring them. Would I, you on this project I then? didn't on this because no. it's not difficult because you've only got the one, one block. But I do use them a lot, yeah. Because uh, if you've got any issues with your thumbs or anything like that, I mean, I, 
if I'm quilting a lot, I really know it in my yeah. thumbs. So yeah, the quilting gloves help an awful lot because you don't actually have to, you're not gripping. What would you say you're doing? You're, 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 you're sort of pushing down. Yeah. And for some reason, although you're not putting any weight on these thumbs, I think it's, it's a tension, similar thing to it? your shoulder. Yeah. I think it's, the, yeah, tension you know, your neck, your if you're doing a lot of quilting, they say if you start and feel your shoulders come up, you, you should, yeah. So uh, I think that's the same with your thumbs in there. Even though you're not actually using them for pressure, you're holding them at an, a natural angle, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Oh gosh, I sew at all kind of weird angles. Well, I, d I don't ever realise until Kim will come in and say, right, think of your posture, and I realise how yeah. tense I am. Yeah, it, it can be like that. Right, so this bit around here, I'm now going to go and just finish off around another row, and then you go in and revisit all the corners, so yeah. you're actually... I can show you on this one. So you're oh, actually nice. just yeah, going in there, look, a little bit in the corner. So that once you've finished be, around... It doesn't need to be a consistent sort of... No, I think, that's, I think that's half the joy of the... Of it, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's lovely. You don't have to be too precise. So I don't need to get one of my guides out, no. the gauge out like we had last time. Unless that's what you want. Yeah, you might like to get your uh, marker and, and do the exact lines. I mean, it's all personal choice, isn't it? So this one, I would just go in, in there. No, well, actually, I can get another round out of that one, but uh, you see what I mean by that one there. So we'll go down into there. Thanks, Marion. Thank you. I must say, uh, my, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not very, I'm not very keen on my hair today, but thank you. She's just said, Morning, oh, ladies, just tuned gorgeous. in. Your hair looks lovely. Especially pretty. Loving the demo, Alison. Thank you. <laughs> There's a lot of people very jealous of your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, no, I put this blow dried cream in my hair yesterday, and it's I don't yeah. And since I've been pregnant, it's I wonder whether this is a thing. I've started getting like tufts of it, it new hair, baby yeah. hair, which is right in cat's words really ginger oh like, really it's bright red it's so strange i wonder yeah, if that's what's happening to the baby's levels. hair yeah <laughs> it's getting sprouts of ginger hair <laughs> so Patricia. there we are if we imagine that's all done and i've also done this with a cream thread so that it shows up better oh brilliant. so i mean with that one i did everything white it looks lovely white but you could yeah. i mean use contrasting and then colors it, it if you shows prefer. up yeah Shows I up mean, on the back yeah, as well. if you wanted to do echo the back, I tell you what, this one would look lovely with a rainbow thread. Oh, yeah, it? a variegated one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So that would look lovely. So then, constructing them together, we've got about, well, as long as you sort of want, we'll, we'll make sure that we finish this because it's, it's, it's nice. This to isn't going to gonna see take long together. at all. So I can just sew these together. What we're going to do is we're going to join wrong sides to wrong sides. Okay because the raw edge is going to be up on the top. So this is against everything that we yep. sort of know as well, which is, isn't it? It's a good chance to just be rebellious this year. <laughs> but this is where you need to remember that everything's on the bias because you are actually going to be sewing the bias now. Yeah. So that it's all ish measurement, so it's half an inch ish. <laughs> and we're going to just do a straight line down here some some of the uh, wadding might show through. You can snip that away if you want. But as you wash it, the more times you wash it, it's going to be covered over anyway with, okay. the, with the ragging. So on this one, we start at the outside edge. I'm going to do a lock stitch because you don't want uh, you don't want these coming undone. And I'm also going down. To, oh, I'm not. I'm going up. I'm going down to a smaller stitch. I'm going to well, go down, down to, a, to two. a two. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go because you've got to um, with this. You haven't got a backing. If it's going to have a lot of use, you haven't got the backing to support the stitching. Right. So you've got to make sure that this your nice joins are good and strong. Yeah.
And that's still going through fine without yeah. your walking foot. Nice. You're going through lots of layers there, aren't you? You are, Jake. Yeah. I mean, Alison's using a big machine here, but I still think, actually, with the smaller machines, it'd be for all right. That one was done on my little 1959 Singer Featherweight. Really? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Amazing. Yeah. That's good to know. Don't get me wrong. The walking feet are brilliant. Put it on if you've got one, oh, like you say, you don't take end. it off. But um, okay. handy to know that if you don't have a walking foot, don't think, yeah. oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. You can use the scissors now because we're not going to embed those because they're going to be lost in the in the um, seam. Okay. So we've got that there. And then I'm just going to take, can we zoom in there? And that's a good explanation of um, what happens with the stitching if you were to do it by hand. We're just coming in nice and close. There we go. Thank you. The stitching comes out to the edge through here. Mm -hmm. So as so long as you've drawn that line. As long as, yeah, because I'm now going to snip her through there. So as long as you're not going to snip into any of your stitching. And also, I would do that again. I always do a double. When putting the quilt together, I always do a double. Okay. Um, oh, actually, I haven't got another one to show you when you join here. When you've put another... Oh, let's just sew another one on. Just so that I can show you at the corner. Take you... Oh yeah, to see what we do in these yeah. corners. Because uh, do you get quite bulky there? Yeah, what you do is you open your open seam seams. when you're sewing it on. Okay. So your seam will be there. I'll just sew over that one a minute so that you can see. Because you snip in. Right, so you've got this here, you're going to snip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we are. You're going to snip in. Oh, are you taking joins. that out? Are you taking there we that are. So that will out. stand up there, and then ah. this one will stand up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're not so taking that off, you're not completely no, getting rid no, of it. No, it's not coming off. It's going to stay there because that will fray up like really the rest. Nice. Yeah. Let's tuck that under there. And then all you do is you hold these two together and just snip them about a centimetre, making sure you don't snip into your stitches. You can hear how good these snips are. Oh, I, Emma, our new director, she's literally like, I love that sound. <laughs> it's so satisfying, isn't it? So this is where, if you wanted, where I said about the chenille effect, um, rather than a rag effect, you could cut that down to a quarter of an inch and then it would end up being a bit fluffier rather right. than raggier. Okay. I did have one, didn't I? There, look. That's with all the different layers. Oh, nice, there. yes. And then, because this hasn't been washed yet, and you can see that loads of little bits will come off and it will... Oh, it's going to look so good. It's nice and fluffy. Once you've washed it a few yeah. times. Uh, you've been, uh, um, so you don't need to pre-wash your fabrics. In fact, you say no, don't you mustn't. wash it. Yes, that was something it. that I should have pointed out. It's on the, on the pattern that yeah. you mustn't pre-wash your fabric. Amazing. Is there anything else that you wanted to no, mention? that's it, really, because I mentioned Brilliant. about the binding. All yeah. you do with the binding, if you, if you want to, you can just stitch around the outside edge and snip in. Yeah. Or with your binding, you fold it in half. And then sew along the outside edge, about a quarter of an inch. And this is where I get my little bit of hand stitching in because I do like hand finishing. Just turn it over to the back. And you would hand finish your binding. And then ladder stitch there so that you've got a nice I mean you could if you wanted to make sure that it was over and then you could stitch in the ditch but I don't mind sitting doing a little bit of hand stitching I think you love it your gives binding, a nice finish don't you? I do yes how much binding have you been making this week Alison? oh my goodness <laughs> um yeah 
<laughs> it's best not to count. If I was in competition with you, they're like, oh, I've made lots of binding on, but bet you haven't made as Did much as Did you see the myself. photo I put on? Yeah. <laughs> 120 plus. I gave yeah, we up, said on air. Yeah, I gave up uh, counting after 120. Oh, my word. <laughs> Crazy lady. Um, right, we're back making with you in the next hour, aren't yes, we? Yes. Your first ever I've never made handbag. a handbag. Never. Which is amazing, really. I've made... Everything Most else. of everything else, I think. Yeah. And a Debbie Shaw one. Never used Bozal. Perfect. Yeah. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Um, here's the handbag, yeah. Here's the handbag. Oh, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? I really love that bow detail as well. And it's really nice and structured because of the Bozal. So they are Liberty handbags coming up in the next hour. So stay tuned. Thank How you much, much would Liberty cost you? Oh, Liberty bagging. handbags are a fortune. Yeah. <laughs> They are a fortune. Yeah. Um, so we'll see you in an hour. Yes. Thank you very, Thank very, you very much. much. Right, so let's start with the solid colours that Alison was working with because loads of you throughout the hour were then, you know, edging towards checking out on this one. Maybe at the start of you were thinking, oh, it's too bright for me. But then seeing it all come together looks amazing, doesn't it? So you have your pattern from Alison, plus you get three metres of your white, which is enough for your, um, your backing as well, for 12 blocks, enough for the front and and the backing, half a metre of pomegranate, half a metre of chartreuse, half a metre of purple, two fat quarters in uh, sunshine and fur, uh, and your pattern for 46 99 Amazing price point for a quilt pattern and bundle. Um, those of you that uh, are doing this for the first time, it's definitely worth writing down today's date and watching it back on YouTube as you're sewing along, because we had lots of great tips there from Alison. Uh, the other bundle that we have is this one. Now, if you do like the one that Alison made at home, it's the one that actually we've got up on the wall behind, uh, behind Alison, you get your pattern, and this time you're getting three meters of your white, um, you've also got half a metre of your Hannah Basic, which is that lovely rose print. You're then also getting lilac, half a metre, which is mixer. Shot through, half a metre and two fat quarters, a green stripe and in lemon. And that's what you're making with this colourway. Enough to be able to do 12 blocks, gorgeous colours together. Um, and it's going to look amazing for years and years and years and years and years. In fact, it's going to look better over the years every single time you wash it at 47.99 for the bundle now oh my word just so you know we're in single figures for that bundle be quick to check out the pattern though has flown out we had hundreds and hundreds of these well done everybody who's managed to get it so far so if you've got fabrics in mind if you've got uh, a stash where you want it's a good stash buster actually if you have got um you know fabrics that you just want to use because you can make these completely random They'd look great and all completely random, wouldn't they? Quilt as you go. Or you could do this as like a community thing that all, all of your friends, everybody puts together a block at home and then you put together a great quilt together. That would be lovely. Do it over Zoom or something. That'd be really nice. Or my, um, yeah, my, at the moment, I mean, a lot of people who are, who are doing um, memory quilts and things like that as well, these would be lovely. Remember, just use a cotton, cotton fabric and you'd, you could make beautiful quilts as you're going. Some of your favourite collections where you've got smaller pieces and you don't know what to do and you're thinking, oh, I don't want to throw them away. Keep them and you could do some of your favourite fabrics in each block. 9 99 for your pattern. Uh, it's got the templates in there as well. Just so you know, we are now quite limited. Less than 100. Bearing in mind we started with hundreds of these. So do be quick. Just £9.99. Now, after the break, um, I know that John was talking about Creative Grid yesterday. We, back by popular demand, we've got loads of amazing, some of our favourite Creative Grids coming up in a couple of minutes. Uh, before, of course, Alison's going to be joining me again with the Liberty handbags coming up very soon. Grab those on pre-order if you want to reserve your place. We'll see you in just a few minutes. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups 
and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also applique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. New Year's are always about trying new things, so why not try out a new hobby? From the 4th to the 10th of January, Sewing Street will be bringing you a week packed with demonstrations on new techniques, beginner's tutorials and brand new projects. With everything from ribbon art, making your own sleepwear, new quilting techniques and beginner's homeware makes. We have something for everyone. Sign up to our email newsletter and follow us on social media to find out what's on when. And watch our New Year new hobby shows from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 4th to Sunday the 10th of January on Freeview 72, Sky 670, our YouTube channel or Facebook Live. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual. Always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. We'll see you soon. Hello, welcome back. Right, I know I keep banging on about the weather, but I've just looked out and I cannot believe what I've seen. Alison just said to me, when you go out, have a look outside. It is really, really snowy. I can't believe it. Yeah, <laughs> really. I don't know how we're going to get home. We're going to be stuck. It's literally, well, maybe it's not, maybe it's not snow. It's like thick frost, thick frost. It's crazy. Um, right. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We've got the Stripology Squared Mini. Now, all of the Stripologies at the moment are out of stock. Um, this one's the, the Mini, which is, the, I believe, the only one that we have available at the moment. I love it. Now, don't be put off by the size, because actually, 
it's really, really useful. Really useful. In fact, even if you've got the big one, I would still recommend getting the mini as well. Um, for anybody who works mainly with pre-cuts, so if you work with fat quarters, if you're working with um, charm packs, this is ideal. So this is a smaller version, basically, of the very, very popular Stripology Square Drawler. Uh, it's designed to work with units up to six and a half inches. So like with the Stripologies that we had, uh, that we've had in the past, or you might have seen before, it's got slits in between at every half inch increment. So you can see here, there's a little teardrop at the bottom. Your rotary cutter fits nicely into the, uh, the teardrop and it gives you incredible accuracy and amazing precision when you are cutting. So you've got the, uh, the little teardrop shape there and uh, that's at every half inch increment. You've also got plenty of measurements as you go along. So I wonder whether Kat, could you bring me out some plain fabric so I can put it behind it so you can see? Because it's quite difficult when I've got the, uh, the, the big mat underneath for you to see all of the markings that I'm talking about. It's got your non-slip grip. Earlier on we were talking about lots of quilting rulers that don't generally have um, grippy, grippy bits that you would normally have to put stickers on the bottom. Um, this isn't a sticker, this is a built-in frosted part that is a non-slip grip. So you'll still be able to glide your, your ruler over the top of the fabric, but once you apply pressure, it will hold that in place. Right, so this is better. You can see a bit clearer now. So you've got your zero, you've got your half inch, one inch, half, um, two inch, half, three inch, and so on and so forth. You've still got your little key here, which will give you indications of where every one and a half inch cut is. But my favorite thing about this mini ruler is that you can cut more intricate sizes and more intricate cuts. So when I first saw these, I thought, oh, this looks like I'm gonna be doing lots of maths. I hate maths, I'm awful at maths. Whereas actually, it's the complete opposite. Creative grids uh, are designed by quilters, especially for quilters. So they actually eliminate lots of the working out and lots of the maths. Emma, can you see these lines here? So this one and this one, uh, you've got two dashed lines to the side of your zero mark. So you always square up your fabric by cutting through your, your zero line, but then the one to the side of it, that one's an eight, eighth of an inch. And then this one is three eighths of an inch. So if you imagine you've got a nice clean cut, and then if I show me that here, if you imagine that's your clean cut, you've cut that on your zero line, if you then butt up your fabric to the eighth of an inch, you can then cut two and an eighth, or two and three eighths, like that really, really easy and really, really accurately. Now these always sell out. We are now down to less than 10 of these very popular this morning. Um, I don't know how long these have been back in stock. It hasn't been long, you know, and we're already down to the last, well, less than 10. Um, not only do you need to, oh, they only came in New Year's Eve, a week, and they're already nearly sold out. Um, it's also brilliant for squaring up any of your blocks. So you can do half square triangles, quarter square triangles. Um, you can flip it, use the, uh, the reverse, when Orlando absolutely loves hers, absolutely loves it. And then now, it's obviously still cutting every half inch increment because the, the grooves haven't changed, but they've changed the measurements basically. So now your zero line is a quarter of an inch to the side of the first cut. So you're now cutting quarter of an inch, three quarters, one and a quarter, one and three quarter, two and a quarter, and so on and so, so forth. So actually, it is eliminating lots of the maths for you. If I then spin it round, another great feature, as I said, is you can square up your blocks. The black thick lines that you can see here, they are every full inch, and then your white lines here are every half inch increment. So you've got your two and a half inch, three and a half inch, four and a half, five and a half, and six and a half inch square. They, they are absolutely brilliant. Use in conjunction with your rotary cutter for accuracy, for precision, uh, to eliminate all of the maths. You're gonna very, very quickly be able to do lots of cutting. You know when you open a pattern up and it says you need 200 half square triangles at this size, you need 300 of them and you already think, oh my word, I've gotta stand there with my ruler. And I used to hate 
the cutting process. That was the part that, if I'm honest, I would always ship off to Kieran, my husband. He's really accurate and precise with everything that he does. And so he does it. I know. And, um, and he, uh, he always really enjoys that. I can't stand it. it was, I always wanted to get on with the sewing and the fun bit. Also, I must say, please, please, please do watch the YouTube demonstrations. Creative Grid have a fantastic online presence. They've got loads of brilliant videos. I'm not gonna be spending too much time on any of these today. You've gotta make sure that you, you uh, we wanna show you as much as we can. So you've gotta make sure you definitely watch them back. This, it looks like one of those little pamphlets that you would then chuck away with the cellophane. Don't throw it away. In fact, Kat recommends you laminate yours. Um, this is all of your instructions. This little pamphlet is actually your instructions. But there's so many, um, <laughs> there are so many great videos online of telling you how to use it. I love having the girls here. No offense, Elliot, but he's out now. He's out, girls are in. Uh, okay, so that's your mini stripology ruler. That's your mini. The only stripology that we've got in and we've now got, how many left? Six left, six left, if you want one. It, it, uh, the only reason that I'm telling you how many we've got is because there's a lot of people who've got it in their basket, more than six of you. So just be aware, it's the only stripology that we have. I don't know when we're going to get them back in. Oh, right, so I can't actually believe this is back in stock. Finally, we've been waiting for this for ages. We've got a lot on the desk at the moment, but you can see it's a massive cutting mat. So when you're starting a new hobby or you're starting a new craft, it's quite daunting, isn't it? And um, I know a lot of people are sort of saying, right, what do I need as an essential? And what do I need to, uh, uh, is it a bit more of a novelty or a bit more of a gadget or can I make do without it? One mistake I made was that I didn't get a big enough cutting mat. Um, and if I'm honest, it was because I thought, right, one is a bit cheaper, two, to get a smaller one, two, it was a lack of space. I'm sewing on my dining room table. I don't really have size for, uh, don't have space for a bigger one. But if you're cutting, fabric that is half meter uh, and you're using your stripology, your big stripology, if you're using any of your big rulers, you don't want to have to, if you're using a rotary cutter, you need to use a cutting mat. You have to use a cutting mat. Don't use it on any of your surfaces or anything like that. Don't try and use it with anything else. You definitely need it with, uh, you definitely need it with a cutting mat. This is a, a great one as well because it's self-healing. I'll talk through that in a second. But if you imagine you're doing all of your cutting and then you get to the end of your mat because you're only using a smaller one, you then have to try and shimmy your mat from under your fabric and then the reposition and you lose your accuracy. So that was the first thing that I had to upgrade and I ended up spending more because I was trying to be savvy and get the cheap one. Uh, I ended up spending more because I had to buy two. Whereas this is the one that we have on the desk all of the time. The great thing about our postage and packaging as well is that it comes still under one PMP and it's sent to you safely. It's just 3.95 one PMP. Self-healing properties means basically, if you're using your rotary cutter with it, you're not going to get loads of ridges. Um, if you give it a wipe with a baby wipe or a, a, a you know a, a lint-free sort of cloth, then it will just re-engage those self-healing properties, and will, the, the, it will mean that you uh, you're not getting lots of ridges. So it will last. So yes, it is a bit of an investment, thirty-seven ninety-nine, but it will last you the test of time. Now, whether you work in metric or imperial you're covered, it's double-sided. I'm not gonna try and flip this because I've got a lot, a lot, a lot on the desk. But you have also got your centimeters and you've got your inches on the reverse as well. Plus, loads of great measurements and angles which are useful for us as quilters as well. So you've got like your 60 degree angle, your 45 degree angle, you've got a 30 degree angle there, um, plus lots of, of um, lots of measurements as well. Now, don't get me wrong, I am a sort of person that trusts my rulers more than my cutting mats, but I must say, Millwood, you can't really go wrong. You are getting brilliant quality and they are known to be extremely accurate as well. Um, but if you are using a rotary cutter, it is essential that you have uh, a cutting mat. It was my first three purchases, was a rotary cutter, a ruler, and a cutting mat. And as I said, it was the first thing I had to upgrade, was my cutting mat. This is brilliant. 
this is what I love about our show is that um, we, I'm, I'm not sort of endorsed by Millward. I'm not here to tell you, by Millward. Uh, it, we bring you loads of different brands and we bring you lots of different prices. And of course, I know this hour we're talking about uh, this, this sort of this week, we're talking about new hobbies and new crafts and starting something new. And uh, I think it's a bit of a minefield when you start a new hobby, isn't it? Of Right. What do I need or what am I being sold? Whereas actually, uh, it's good that we can just sort of talk through and tell you the benefits of each of each ones. And I must say, from personal experience, the larger ones definitely go for a bigger cutting mat. And you can still store it away. So I store mine under the sofa or under the bed. Um, it, just store it flat. As long as it's stored flat, it's fine. We keep ours all on the uh, uh, on the floor in front of the desk here. Um, <laughs> yeah, you may see every now and then Hannah or Kat crawling uh, around the floor um, looking for a cutting mat. But they, this is this is a brilliant one that you'll always see on the show. It's good to be able to set your say station up, isn't it? That you've got your sewing machine, you've got your cutting mat, you've got your ironing board. If you've got your your space to be able to set all of your stations up, you don't need to have to move unless you put the kettle on. Speaking of which, is he doing it? He's on it. Um, right. Rotary cutters. So I've just spoken about rotary cutters. Now, as I said again. We've got three different sizes and you think, right, what's, why do I need different sizes? What am I going to need different sizes for? What shall I go with? So your generic size, let me show you them all three so you can see them next to each other. So you've got your 45 millimeter blade, you've got a 28 and an 18 millimeter blade. This is the one that I would go for um, for beginners or for anybody who's starting out. Someone who's doing a lot of cutting, uh, you will see most of our guest designers generally using a rotary cutter of, uh, of this size. Now, you can spend up to 20, 30 pounds if you're getting any of the designer ones, the Tula Pinks, even more so. Clover is a really, really well-known haberdashery brand. Um, it's, it's, it's a brilliant sewing brand. There's lots of different great products from Clover. So you know that you've got a brand that you can trust. But the price on this is fantastic. For anyone who is starting out in, in a new craft, then this is perfect. You've got the lovely soft grip. Uh, you've got the lever handle, which is your safety uh, safety handle. So if you do slide that up, that's when you're... you're your uh, blade is in is exposed and then after every cut i would just get into the habit of sliding that up because trust me these are extremely extremely sharp always cut away from yourself um we're just in a bit of a price comparison um in fact if you have a look elsewhere this exact same one is 16.99 live on the web right now 16.99 ours is 12.99 12 pound 99 Great price, absolutely brilliant price. Um, so it's definitely worth making the most of it. Have a bit of a shop around. We always do it, don't we? We live in a world where it's so easy to just do a quick search. So it's great that we can do it. Um, now, can you see it's got an R underneath there? That's because it's set up as a right-hander, but you can flip the, uh, the blade over and have it as a left-hander as well. So it is suitable for left or right-handers. I started, did you watch the um, the sewing bee? Did you watch the Christmas special sewing bee? You need to watch it. Um, you definitely need to watch it. And um, lots of dressmakers using rotary cutters as well. It's so accurate, I must say. A lot of people tend to be a bit scared of rotary cutters, but you do get fantastic accuracy and you can get through lots of fabric, cut it really quickly. Um, the 28 millimeter, now I've got a 28 millimeter, which I use for curves. This is just eight pounds 99 pence. It's your 28 millimeter blade. It's exactly the same as before. It's got a lovely soft grip. Um, it's fantastic to be able to use it when Delphine uses it for a freehand cutting. So if she's just cutting curves, she will go around with a rotary blade like this. It's not as sort of cumbersome, is it? Um, I also know people that use these for, uh, I know a lot of people who use these for foundation paper piecing as well. Uh, of course, you could have this one and just keep it with the blade on or either size, just solely for your, your, um, your paper or 
FPP, it is useful to be able to have for smaller cuts. Just £8.99. And then, are you ready? A little diddy one. And this is the one that, that Delphine used, actually, wasn't it? This was the one that she used for the Sasha. Oh, he's just adorable. What is absolutely adorable. But also, this is great to cut out curved pieces and you can use it literally like a pen, like you're drawing. So don't get me wrong, doing smaller intricate cuts is going to be a lot more difficult with your 45 millimeters. So if you are doing the Sasha quilt, which we've got in the, I keep calling the Sasha, Tasha quilt, which is coming up in the 12 o'clock show, the roundup show. This is going to be ideal for cutting out uh, any of your smaller applique pieces. And it does fit in your hand like a pen. It's really nice and functional. Yeah, you know, when we can start going back on the move as well, it's really handy to be able to, uh, when we are able to go to workshops and things like that, it's really handy to be able to have all of your own, um, all of your own different tools. Have the right tools for the job. Have a look elsewhere. Price comparison, under £10. I tell you what, it's a very good price. We're having a look elsewhere and you can pay a lot, lot more. Have a look for yourself. Have a look for yourself. So they're the three rotary cutters that we've chosen. Have a look on the website though, because we have Alpha rotary cutters. We have, if there's a different brand that you want, definitely worth making the most of it. Okay, now, um, the 24 by 8 uh, is along with the 24 by, I think we do a six and a half or six, 24 by six. Um, these are the most popular because you can cut the full width of your fabric. Uh, you can cut the salvage off your full half meter um, cuts. It's ideal. I love this ruler. Again, I can't recommend it enough for beginners. Creative grids are ones which I am a huge champion of. I, I'm contradicting a bit what I said. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not paid by creative grids to tell you that they're great. But there are other rulers that we have. Janome. I think we've got Janome in this hour as well. Personally, I would recommend creative grids. And the amount of guest designers who have come in who have been uh, using different rulers, and we've said, "Oh, have you tried creative grids? Have you tried creative grids?" And they've never looked back. The game changer is the non-slip grip. It's absolutely brilliant. But also the markings are incredibly accurate. The non-slip grip around the edge here, you can see it's frosted and that is a perfect quarter of an inch frosting. So you can just use that as a bit of a, a key reference when you're doing any of your seam allowances in quilting. All of the circles here, they are all non-slip grips. So you're not gonna be slipping and sliding all over the place with your fabric. Um, it's got a turnaround feature. So at the bottom here, you can see they're all in full inch increments and they go up the, the side of the ruler in full inch. If I then spin it round here, you can see they're now in half inch increments. So you can now cut any of your sizes. You've got every eighth of an inch mark. So you've got every quarter of an inch marked. You've got all of your different angles really, really clearly and really precisely. And it's just 31.99. This is the largest size creative ruler, creative grid ruler that we, that we stock. We have got reviews. It's for the same length of it, but it's for the six and a half inch. So this is a couple of inches wider than the reviews that we've got for this. Have a look on the website because you'll see lots of great reviews. Lots of people saying easy to use, good value. Not the cheapest. I would agree with you. I know it's not the, the most affordable ruler in the world, but Julie has said that she can now understand the price and it's such a time saver. So, so worth it. Oh, thank you so much for spending the time reviewing these for us. Um, it's definitely worth having a look on the website. And, and if you've got them home as well, we'd really, really appreciate writing a, a review. We're all in, in this world together, aren't we? Where we're st especially for people who are starting out, it, it's good to be able to share with the community and, and the family, knowing exactly, right, what should I buy? What do you recommend? So, ask on the fan page as well. Ask on the fan page. So we have got the smaller one. Whoops. It's all white. It's all white. It's all white. Um, we have got the... the the, the slightly shorter one. So if you are again working with fat quarters, then this is ideal, absolutely ideal, and less cumbersome again. We will go out again one day. We will be able to go to craft fairs. We will be able to go to workshops. Um, and when you can, this is the perfect size to be able to take 
on the move. Slip it into your bag and take it on the move. Oh, Valerie, have you got any left-handed scissors? Oh, or have I got? Have we got any scissors left? Not left-handed scissors. Have we got any scissors left? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. There's the Fiskars ones that we had with Alison. There was the little snips that we had with Alison as well. They're both on the website. Type in Fiskars on the website and you'll see the whole selection of scissors that are there. Um, £14.99. There's more scissors though. There's Millwood rose gold ones. There's loads. Type in scissors and have a look. Um, <laughs> there's lots of different brands available. Thank you, Elliot. Uh, Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. And what I love as well is that you've got not only the markings, you know, at the, the bottom and the perimeter, but they're also all the way through. So you've got that reminder, so you can line up your fabric to make sure that you're straight the whole way along. Um, it, they are extremely useful. They've got a little uh, hole at the top here, so you can hang them. So they always say to to, to just store them flat, whether you're hanging them or whether you're storing them flat under a bed or under a sofa or in a drawer. You can see them hanging up behind us here. Uh, we don't have the shelves, by the way. We got them from um, Ikea, if you want to get them, because so people always ask. They're actually in the kitchen section of Ikea. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can we do the I love my quilting friends one? This one. Someone's taken the open one. This is so adorable. I always think that this is such a lovely gift for friends, especially, look, at the moment... We're not able to go to workshops and classes. Do you have friends that you used to go to a quilting class or quilt quilting group with? This would be such a lovely little I'm thinking of you gift, wouldn't it? Uh, a lovely gift. It says, I love my quilting friends on it. And it is a Creative Grids official ruler. So it isn't novelty. It's a great size. If you're doing half square triangles, you can still use this. Oh, I found it. You can still use this in conjunction with your rotary cutter because it's still a really lovely thick acrylic. Um, but the great thing is, is this isn't just novelty. You've got these lovely little adorable hearts, which are also non-slip grips. How good is that? Plus, you've got every inch. You've got your quarter of an inch marking. You've got every eighth of an inch. Uh, you've got every quarter of an inch marked. So that's so handy to be able to have these really, really useful measurements there in a handy ruler that you can keep in your pencil case, keep on the go. For, for $15.99. Oh, I know a lot of people love these little markings as well. It's not a cracker gift, is it? I mean, this is still quality creative grids ruler and they don't generally do this sort of size. So if you're doing loads of half square triangles, you might not want to get your 24 inch ruler out. Keep it even on a lanyard round your neck as a little reference point. Oh, have you ever, I used to work in um, the theatre in Stratford and I used to have one of those lanyards that you go shh and you pull it out, a retractable one. That would be good to have it on. No, it was great. It was brilliant. Oh, yeah, but yeah, if you snap it back, it hurts. Yeah. $15.99. Um, use it in conjunction with your, your rotary cutter <laughs> for $15.99. What song was that you were singing? Oh, I remember that. I can't remember who sang it. Okay. So uh, through lockdown, at the start, the, the, the first one, back last March, um, I had this one, uh, I took it home to have a bit of a play around with because I thought, if I'm honest, if I'm being honest, and I'm going to be honest with you, I thought, it's a triangle, like, what, is, what more can I do than cut triangles? Oh, 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 do not get me started. There is so much that you can do. Right, Emma is new to patchwork and quilting. This ruler, can you believe, Emma, this ruler can make all of these. Using this ruler, you can make all of these different designs. How amazing is that? Oh, I absolutely love it. But there's so much more. The reason they're called Creative Grids is because you can be creative. I made the Magic Lantern quilt. It's on YouTube. There are so many, so many different blocks on there. Yes, you can do great. Um, you can do really, really lovely triangles. You could turn them into sort of honeycombs, into hexes. For £20.99, this isn't a ruler that you're going to use once. This is going to be something you use time and time again. Think about how much you pay for a quilt pattern. All you need is your ruler. It comes with your instructions. But also, 
Um, you can cut from one to, to one and a half inch, one and a quarter, three quarter inch triangle, whatever size you want to. But it's got the QR reader. There's so many demonstrations on YouTube for this ruler. There are so many inspirational quilts on Pinterest for, with this ruler. Um, and it is absolutely brilliant. Even like the detail down to, can you see, it hasn't just, we haven't just chipped off the end. It's not broken. Um, it, it's meant to be like that. That's designed by quilters, especially for quilters, that you are going to lose all of your dog ears. There's another term for you, Emma. You lose the dog ears. So you don't need to... <laughs> Feeding the dog, the do feed dogs, Emma learned yesterday. No promise of not having you on. Dog ears <laughs> are a thing as well. You're not slip grip dots as well. <laughs> she thinks that, um, she thinks that we're, uh, yeah, that we're having her on, having her on. 20.99, honestly, it's so funny because we just talk about it, don't we, like, like it's normal. Whereas when you've got someone new in the gallery and they're like, you what? What did you say? You what, mate? Okay, seam guides. So we've got the larger one and we've got the smaller one. Let's start with the 15 inch, which is the largest. So these are your seam guides. Oh, do you know, I've got to show this to Alison Marion because Alison, was it this one or the next one? I think it's the next one that she wanted the add a quarter ruler. Um, the great thing about this, the outer quarter ruler is out of stock at the moment. What I love about this is that, one, you've got your non-slip grip, yes. Um, you can butt it up against your fabric. So say you've got a big square, there's your corner. You can mark the corners uh, from corner to corner. There's a gap in the centre here, which you can put your pencil through and mark through. And then there, you've got a perfect quarter of an inch either side. Um, so, I mean, it is absolutely brilliant. If you're doing half square triangles, does anybody else get a bit confused with them sometimes? There's lots of different methods. What you could do is you've got a big square. If you've got a 15 inch square, if you're making your half square triangles or just wanting to cut them in half, what you would do is you would draw here, you would draw here and then I would draw either side just to be safe, draw either side and then you would sew on your quarter of an inch lines and then cut through the centre on the centre line and you've got your half square triangles. Um, so it's just $15.99. It is from Creative Grid. I wouldn't use this with my rotary cutter. The reason being, don't get me wrong, it is a thick acrylic. The only reason is because my hand, I would think, would be too close to the blade. Yeah. I, I personally wouldn't. Um, when we first had these on with Sally Ann Harrison, she absolutely loved them. Um, we all looked at it and thought, is this a bit of a, a novelty? Is it a bit of a, a gizmo gadget? Whereas actually, it's become really useful. I know English paper pieces that are using this to get their seam allowance. Um, there's so many different ways that you can use them. Great to be able to have as a bit of a, a gauge. As quilters, how many patterns call for half square triangles? This is gonna really be a quick and time saving. We have also got the smaller size. This is nine inch. Absolutely same applies. Um, you can use it as a, a bit of a gauge to be able to, to, to mark your seam allowance. Uh, you can of course do your half square triangles with it, quarter square triangles with it. I know Sally Ann Harrison absolutely loved it and it is official creative grid product. 14 pounds and 99 pence for your nine inch creative grid. Just so you know, the Stripology Mini is about to sell out. In fact, it's gone. It's gone. It has gone. Oh, if you've got the Stripology, loads of people loving the Stripologies today, can I recommend a couple of books? Um, those of you that have already got Stripologies at home and you want to get even more from your Stripology, then I would thoroughly recommend these books. Now, the squared is this one. So the squared, your Stripology squared is um, extremely popular indeed. It's £32, which... It sounds an investment, but there are so many quilt projects in here. Think about how much you pay for a pattern. This is to use in conjunction with your stripology. So it talks through choosing your fabrics and talking about pressing and borders. So it isn't just solely about the, 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 uh, the creative grid rulers. It does talk to you about quilting. But then 
it goes through how to position your stripology squared ruler onto your fabric to create different um, cuts. So you can make all of these different quilts. This is your lotus quilt. It will tell you where to cut, how to position your fabric, exactly with the images and with text, how to cut, how to lay it all out, how to assemble your quilt into different sizes. Another, another part of me, this one, um, it will tell you how to make the block how to repeat it into the quilt, how to do it into a quilt, uh, a crib quilt, a lap quilt, or a full-size quilt. There is so much information in here for £32. Uh, I love that. Your quadrants, finishing off your quilt, glossity. That one's amazing, isn't it? Really amazing. In fact, that would look nice with the fabrics from this morning, the normal rose fabrics. So you've got loads of projects and it also talks about different rulers so this one there you go there's the triangle one we were just talking about um, it's, it's saying look it is handy to have the 60 degree ruler but it's not essential it will also give you the templates in case you haven't got the other ruler so if you as long as you've got the stripology squared um, there's so many different quilt designs in here just 32 pounds from creative grids all of your assembly oh Oh, a little lab. I say little lab, big lab. What's your Labrador's name? Autumn. Oh. £32. All of your different layouts. In fact, if you lay it out differently, uh, of course, it will show you how to do the lap quilt, the crib quilt, and your twin quilt as well. So, I mean, it is amazing, isn't it? It is absolutely amazing. There's so many designs. And these are actually all designed. There's all the quilts. Um, these are all designed by the lady, Gudrun, who um, actually designed the stripology ruler. She was the one who designed the ruler. So she knows what works best with them because she designed the ruler. £32, love it. Now, another book, if you want to dip your toe in, this is Stripology 2. Same author, so same designer who, who's, uh, who designed the rulers who designed the mini ruler. But this one is to work with which stripology rulers? Let's have a look. Again, your big stripology ruler. If you've got the stripology squared, you've still got lovely uh, patterns in here. You've still got lots of great designs. Using it in conjunction with your 60 degree triangle. Strip, tri strip twist. Strip joints? What is this kind of book? Strip to be square? <laughs> strip plus? <laughs> oh dear. Um, but there you go. There's a strip plus runner. There's a strip twist. Your strip lash runner. <laughs> and your strip joints runner. <laughs> Oh dear, £15 and 99 pence. They are from uh, the, the maker, as I say, of the, the Creative Grid Mini, so it will work in conjunction with your stripologies. £15 and 99 pence. Shall we do some squares? Right, we've got two different size squares. I've got the larger size and the smaller size. Right, so the larger size is this one. This is your 12 and a half inch square. Great for squaring up your blocks. Finished all your patchwork, you wanna make sure that it's nice and square. This is perfect for that. It's exactly the same principle as before, uh, it, that it's got the non-slip grips, it's got the turnaround feature, it's got markings throughout the whole of the ruler. I like that they've got the markings in white and in black. Depending on what fabric you're working with, you're always going to be able to see those markings. Which you can see actually, because we've got the darker mat underneath, you're struggling a bit to see the, the darker markings, whereas you can really see the white ones really prominently. We've had some um, great reviews on this one, actually, as well. Here they are. Creative Grids are the best quilting rulers. Is that, does that say, in my opinion, IMO? IMO. IMO means in my opinion. Uh, I've bought less expensive but still not cheap ones, and and they all slip. I've applied the little grippy pads that they sell for rulers, but then the ruler's too thick, and the gap between the ruler and the fabric moves when you're cutting. I always end up replacing them with Creative Grids. 
I know it's expensive, but you get what you pay for. Great review. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, love the size and it's non-slip. That's a game changer, isn't it? It is a game changer. And you don't realise how much, like you think, oh, well, how much is that going to do? It really makes a difference. And yes, it's an investment, but take care of the rulers and they will last the test of time. They will last the test of time. We've literally got 15 minutes left. Oh, Emma, it's going quick today, isn't it? It is going quick. Oh, good, good, good. Um, we've also got the uh, the six and a half squares, the six and a half smaller square. Again, if you're working with smaller pre-cuts, if you're working with smaller sizes, if you've got a little, um, I don't know, four inch square, you're not gonna wanna get your massive square to be able to, to, to cut it in half or whatever you're, you're doing in half square triangles. This is ideal. Once again, there's so much that you can make with these. They're really handy little rulers. Still amazing quality for $14.99. Dip your toe in. The water's warm. Have a go. If you've never used Creative Grids before, um, I'm on a mission to convert everybody. I don't know many people that go, do you know what? In fact, I've never known anybody that says, I've tried it and I've not got on with them. I've never known anybody. Um, just $14.99 for your Creative Grid non-slip grip squares. Well done everybody who has got any of the Creative Grid rulers. It's busy, busy, busy today. Very busy. Let us know if you've got any questions. And of course, we'd love your reviews. We'd love your reviews. I know lots of people. Uh, our Geraldine, she's got over 30 different Creative Grid rulers. And they're all really useful. All really, really useful. So it's definitely worth speaking to people on the fan page or write your reviews, definitely, because it helps a lot of people. Now, one of my favourites. Have we got one of these open? We have got it open because I need to show you how it spins. It's the whole, it's it's the whole um, the whole part of it. Um, now, if you've got the Stripology Mini, let's see if it fits on there. Yeah, Stripology Mini fits on there. If you've got your scrap crazies, if you've got your 60 degree triangle, any of your rulers, any of your smaller rulers, any of the squares that we've just seen. Um, we did speak earlier about how sharp rotary cutters are. Now, um, I also spoke earlier to Alison about how I end up being in really strange, tense positions when I'm crafting, when I'm sewing. Uh, and it is just getting used to different muscles and everything, um, using different muscles, and how you hold your shoulders and where you hold your tension. But I see so many people and I was exactly the same, who try and do everything they can to avoid cutting towards themselves. So they'll end up doing all sorts of these weird yoga positions, trying to not cut away, uh, cut away from you. So we spoke about being able to have a large enough cutting mat. It's a great size. Um, it's gonna be big enough to be able to use, say we're using this ruler. You're making your cut. I don't want to then cut towards myself. All I need to do, I don't need to move my fabric and I don't need to move my ruler. I can simply spin it round, keeping my fabric and my wool in the same place and cutting again. So it has got that full 360 spin, which is really useful, really useful. In fact, most of our guest designers that come in, they will always ask, can I have the rotating cutting mat, please? Can I have the rotating cutting mat? Um, it's also got uh, like a, a, a padded back. So that will sort of adhere itself to your surface. It comes in two parts. So that will sit on the floor there and that's not gonna be slipping and sliding. This one slots into place, not gonna be slipping and sliding. It's again, got all of your angles, your different inch measurements, um, but it's another brilliant, useful mat. Great for doing individual unique cuts. It does simplify multi-cutting when you are doing lots of different cuts. Um, and it, it doesn't eliminate time in your project because the amount of times that you have to reposition, check that you've got all of your, your measurements correct and then cut again. Whereas this, you can really quickly and really accurately cut. Love them. Okay, so that's your rotating cutting mat. I have not seen this yet. This is new to me, right. So, we're talking about using different colour threads with Alison actually, and Aurifil, oh my word, they are absolutely amazing. They are, they, they are leaders in their field, they really, really are. So, Aurifil are a, a cotton 
uh, thread company. They are all made in Italy. They're beautiful quality. And this is the Great British Quilters Collection. So this is a bit of a, a curated collection from some of the, the, the biggest quilt designers. I recognise some names on here. Lynn Goldsworthy, Joe Avery, Lucy Brennan, Carolyn Forster. There's so many different. Jenny Smith, Karen Lewis. They've all picked out a different colour. And look at how bright these are. Oh, hang on. You've got a variegated in there. In fact, you've got the variegated in pink and you've got the variegated in yellow. Um, now there's loads of thread on each spool. You get 1,300 metres on each spool. Not only have you got these lovely bright colours, which are going to be great for, for you know, making things really stand out, but even if you want to really sort of blend them in for your piecing, um, or if you're doing uh, English paper piecing, greys are always great. So it's nice that you've got your neutrals as well. Uh, these are all 50 weight, which is gr fantastic if you're using them in your sewing machine. You can use them in your bobbin. You could use these uh, for hand sewing. You can use these for applique or for quilting. It is your 50 weight, so it is your generic sort of sew all thread. The thing that a lot of people steer away from with cotton is the fact that they presume that they aren't as strong as a polyester thread or you might not have the colour varieties that you do with polyester whereas Aurifil, as I say, they are absolute champions in their field so this is super, super strong you aren't going to get as much lint build up as you would normally sort of expect with cotton so you're not going to have to clean your machine out every minute uh, there's so many amazing benefits I know a lot of people who started off, like with Creative Grids dipping their toe in and, and, and trying out Aurifil for, for really special quilts but then now they use it every single day and if you actually break it down the value for money you've got 12 spools bearing in mind normal ordinary spools have 100 meters so this is 1300 meters on each spool it feels like an investment initially when you're paying 88 pound 99 but actually this is going to go such a long way we're only at 7 pound 40 on a spool if you divide that by 13 because there's 1300 uh, meters on each spool that's 57 pence. See what I mean? Actually, if you're comparing apples with apples, you'll know that that is a brilliant, brilliant price. And when you're looking at this quality, you'll hear Debbie Shaw talking about it in the breaks, um, talking about, you know, if you want stronger seams, if you want them to last longer, if you're using your favourite Liberty fabric, which we are in the next hour, you want to make sure that you're using a good quality thread. They are phenomenal. They'll give you a remarkably accurate, crisp flat seams so if you are working with cotton I know a lot of people who, who, who work with cotton fabric who will always want to use the same uh, thread to go with it so they wouldn't use a polyester thread with a cotton fabric these are ideal absolutely brilliant do a little bit of research into Aurifil I love the fact that you've got these variegated as well because they're going to look amazing absolutely amazing with um, with all of the quilts that we've had today and with the bag that we've got coming up in the next hour. 88 pounds and 99 pence for your Aurifil Great British Collection, uh, Quilter Collection. Nice that it comes in a nice little case as well. Comes in a nice little gift box in your case as well. Fantastic. 12 beautiful colours, beautiful colours. Quite a few of those in baskets. Um, have a serious think about that, but don't wait too long. They will last a long time. They're amazing. Yeah, you get in the box as well, Jean. You do get the box as well. Okay, we also oh, we also have oh dear, we had four. We've got three now. Uh, if you do want your necessities, Aurifil thread. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. So you've got your grey. You've got your white. You've got your cream and <laughs> your black. Thank you, Kat. All of your amazing quality Aurifil threads again. 1,300 metres on each. It, it does sort of, I always thought that it sort of depended on how far along on your sewing journey you were that you started to think about the threads you're using. But I think it should be one of the first things that you think about, actually, when I think in reflection. Um, because you want your makes to last the test of time. You're spending your hard-earned money on things like your machine. Um, you're spending your hard-earned money on your projects and your fabrics. You do want it to last the test of time, don't you? And it is, of course, if you're doing patchwork, 
you cut your fabric up and you stitch it back together, you gotta think about what, what thread you're using. This is gonna be a great chance to try out Aurifil, uh, if you haven't already. You've got you, you know, you, you great colors that are gonna go with absolutely everything. You can still use these in your bobbin, you can use these in your machine, you can use them for piecing or for quilting, for free motion, you can use them for applique, for hand sewing, for your EPP, I recommend the gray. 35 pounds and 99 pence, 1,300 meters on each. If you've got yourself a new ruler today, you might want to get some fabric. Right, is this a bundle? Oh my word, right. You've laid them out beautifully. Do you know what? It's really good to show it like this because I think when you see fat quarter packs that are all folded up, you don't actually ever get the chance to, to see how much fabric you get. So these are all fat quarters, which is half over half metre, but look at that. This would look lovely in the quilt. If you manage to get the pattern on its own, this would look really nice in the, um, in the uh, this would look lovely in this colourway. Oh, I think this is lovely for, you know, our, our, our picnics and parties that we are gonna have in the summer. We are gonna have barbecues and tea parties. Oh my word, it's gonna be lovely, isn't it? I get emotional thinking about it. I actually really, oh, can't wait. Um, do you know, I'm thinking for, 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 for a, a lovely picnic blanket or for storage bags, for bunting. It's just amazing. Right, so you're getting all of these amazing Moda prints, different scales of print. Oh, do you know who would love this? Kerry. Kerry would love this. Do you know what I just spotted? You'll know why. Because it's got ladybirds. Do you know, uh, Kerry from Living in Loveliness um, told me that a group of ladybirds is called a loveliness. There's a loveliness of ladybirds. Oh, they're gorgeous. So you've got them in white. You've also got them in a blue. You've got them in a lighter blue. Oh, they're so gorgeous. You get the whole shebang. You don't need to choose, Emma. You get everything uh, for less than £100. I mean, that is gorgeous. No, don't worry. If you've paid your posting packaging, you've already paid it. It's done for the day. You can combine all of your orders and you'll still only pay one P and p of £3.95. Oh, I love all the spots as well. Right, all of these Moda. Moda quilting fabrics, quilting weight, half of a half metre. 99 99 check out as soon as you can it is the last of stock on these have a look through the website because i, I knew this would happen we haven't had anywhere near enough time to show you half the rulers that we wanted um it's definitely worth having a look through the website and seeing what's available are you ready on pre-order we've already got loads of people checking out on the liberty handbag it's a debbie shaw design Bozal as well, beautiful kits, um, both with Liberty fabric. How much would it cost you for a Liberty handbag? This is so exciting. Coming up, coming up, coming up. So do not go anywhere. Alison's going to be joining me after the break with a demo. Uh, we've got all of your kits coming up, so stay where you are. We'll see you in just a few minutes. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers.
Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Welcome back, welcome back. I must say, I absolutely love this bag. I love the length of the strap because it's one that's long enough that you can sort of have it on your shoulder, but it's still short enough that you can wear it and hold on to it. Do you know what I mean? Grab your things out because sometimes if you have one that's too long, um, I'm always rambling around trying to find my purse or my phone. Whereas with this, it's ideal to be able to just still keep it nice and secure and safe but still be able to balance it on your shoulder so absolutely love the shape of it it's beautiful and I must say in your Liberty fabric it goes with my dress doesn't it it does go with my dress oh I love it absolutely love it okay this is already sold very very well I am not surprised if you spotted the price this is so good can I remind you this is a Liberty bag this is a Liberty bag. Now, you get so much in your bundle as well. It's designed by our oh, Debbie Shaw, I'm not being biased, but she's amazing. She is the best. Um, when you're coming, when you are talking about bag making, it doesn't really get any better. If you want to make yourself a handbag, this is the Rosemary bag. It comes with all of your instructions, which are from Debbie Shaw. Debbie also gives you um, a, a, vi a video tutorial as well as Alison's tutorial. You're going to have that to watch at home as well. Plus you're getting, so what's great about, um, what's great about having Debbie Shaw's pattern is that she's worked in conjunction with Bozal, who are a huge brand. They're really, really famous indeed for the quality stabilizers. Um, and she has pre-cut your fusible foam stabilizer. So can you see how this is standing upright? It's, it's a bit of my sort of pet tape. In fact, I'll take the pellets out because the pellets are sort of giving it um, able to sort of wait. Once you've got your things in, it's not flattening down. So do you know what I mean? If you have got, um, it will spring back into shape. So if you've got anything that, see I love that. It just gives it that structure. So it's gonna hold its shape, which is lovely, especially when you want to display your lovely Liberty fabrics. So that's the Bozal foam, which is uh, fusible as well. So it's got an adhesive, which you just then iron on. Then, that's not it. You also have half a metre of each of your beautiful Liberty fabrics. How good is this? This is from the Emporium collection, and that's enough for the front and the lining of your bag. How good is that? Um, I think actually, Alison has been, uh, oh really, and loads left over she's saying. <laughs> loads left over as well. Yeah. Uh, so half a metre of each. Yeah. I think Alison's put a sneaky pocket in there as well. There you go. Yeah. So it's up to you how you want to embellish it. You could put a button, you could, I would just, oh, well I never throw any little bits of liberty away anyway, but um, there's loads left over if you want to do things like 
Well, scrunchies, little pin cushions, matching face covering maybe. You could do little buttons. There's so much that you can do with Liberty. I know that our, our Rebecca Reed, she always loves to upcycle things. So she has, you know, she won't mind me saying, quite plain cardies that she's got and she's put a ruffle at the bottom or she's put a placket in with the but she just covered buttons and it instantly looks amazing. There's so many times that I've gone, oh, Rebecca, I really love that. Where have you got that from? She says, I've just, in I've just like upcycled it. I've just upcycled it with Liberty. I mean, how amazing is that? So you have everything that you need in the kit. Now, be warned, loads of you have checked out on this already. If you want this colorway, this will sell out before the end of the hour. It will sell out before the end of the demo. Don't wait for the end of the demo. Um, you also have, <laughs> we also have it in a different colorway. So once again, you not only have your pattern from Debbie Shaw and your bosal from Debbie Shaw again, um, all pre-cut in the right sizes, which is just so useful. Don't get me wrong, you can use the pattern again for other bags um, and, and you could always draw around the template of your bosal before you, um, you adhere it in. Uh, and then these two together, oh, I love. This is really sort of springy, isn't it? In fact, these are the ones that we're gonna see with Alison, so you'll see this coming together. Uh, in this colourway as well. You've got your teal. Oh, what's your mum's name? Dawn! Can I say, Emma is amazing. I've known Emma anyway for years and I'm really, really happy that she's over on, uh, on, on the family. And she, she just had a text from, from Dawn. Emma's just had a message from her mum. Read it out to us again. It says, I'm loving this channel. It's really given me a boost into getting back into sewing. Oh yes, just having to uh, just having a coffee and watching the Liberty bag. Oh, I'm so pleased, John. That's what I love. You know, we've had so many people since we started in February who have either dusted off their sewing machines that have been in the loft or borrowed a sewing machine and really gotten into it. Because that's how I started. I borrowed my mum's old sewing machine and, and started. So yeah, oh, I'm really pleased, Dawn. $28.99 and you get Liberty Fabric. Does it get any better than this? Even if you're not uh, a quilt fabric follower, uh, everybody knows Liberty. And if you ever get the chance to go to the iconic Liberty store, even have a look on the website, how much does it cost you for a Liberty handbag? This is just amazing. In fact, do a quick search, Kat. How much does it cost for a Liberty handbag? I don't know. If I'm honest, I, I don't look, but just even tote bags. And Debbie Shaw handbag, designer both ways, aren't they? Debbie Shaw handbag or Liberty. Um, right, now, if you love Liberty, maybe you've already got lots of Liberty in your stash, like our Alison. She bought a big mega bundle of, uh, of the collection. Maybe you've got the Emporium range like Alison. Uh, or you've got the normal rose from earlier. We were saying how beautiful this would look in the normal rose fabric. Very excited to be able to do this because we normally can't. It's normally bundled. So you get your pattern and you get your bosal. £19.99 and, and that is for both your pattern and your sew-in or your adhesive, um, your, your foam product, which is adhesive. So you can just iron it on, which is fantastic all pre-cut, ready into the shapes that you need. If you are starting out bag making, I think that can be quite daunting. The thought of interfacings and, and foams and do I need to sew them in? Do I need to cut them all out? It is, it is quite daunting. So brilliant to be able to, to have them all pre-cut. Okay. And it can be washed, the, the sewing, uh, the, the, sorry, I keep calling it sewing and it's not, it's adhesive, which is even better. So the foam can be washed and tumble dried uh, with no heat or air, or, or, with no heat, or it can be air dried. So you can wash it, which is great to know as well. Now, we don't sell bosal individually. We don't have it on a roll. So this is the perfect time to be able to get it if you've got fabric in your stash. It's pre-cut, ready in the shapes, ready to go. Uh, for especially in conjunction with the rosemary, ba rosemary bag. Now you have not only the pattern and instructions, you also have a video tutorial plus jot down today's date and you can make along with Alison when you get it home. Here you go, 
found a Liberty bag. It's not the same as ours. I mean, obviously, it's, it's, it's very different. But a Liberty bag, £140. This is what I'm talking about. Honestly, have a look. Have a look how much you'll pay for Liberty bags. Really excited that we've got this today. Just so you know, we've got less than 10 of this colourway. Less than 10 of this colourway. If you want it, if you've got it in your basket, you need to check out now because that will sell out. That will sell out in the next minute or two. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Um, hi, Julie. Good morning, everyone at Sewing Street. I'm awaiting my Elna 570A. Amazing. It's arriving this afternoon. She says, I'm very excited. Oh, Julie. Stay safe to you too. Lots of love, Julie. Honestly, I'm so excited. What's your first make going to be? I wonder, um, I wonder if you've got a project that's ready to go. Or, do you know what? I love just having a bit of a play around and doing yourself a little bit of a sampler of all the different, because you've got lots of stitches on there and you've got your alphabet. Right, lesson five of the Liberty in the black colourway. Um, right, so, Alison, how did you find your first handbag? I loved it. And I've never used Bosal before and it's lovely stuff. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. And it, it's not too thick, but it still gives you Well, good no, structure. because I thought I would have, when I took it out of the packet, I thought I would have to put on my zipper foot. Yeah. But you don't. It's so soft, you can put half of your um, machine foot on it and still sew nice and close up without having to change the feet on your sewing machine. That's so good, isn't so it? So it's That's brilliant, handy. absolutely brilliant. So I loved it. We're going to try and go through majority of the construction, aren't we now? Yeah, I mean, I have done some bits. I've done half of the bag with the quilting and things right. like that. But, um, yeah, I I just want to point out something with this. This is such sweet fabric. Well, you've got... Is this the collection that you've got at home? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but all I can see when I look at it is a little furry monster, a little pink furry monster. <laughs> no, I was waiting. I was waiting. I was thinking, it's I know what you're going to say. I can see like a mountain. That's with, it. With... Yeah, in the background. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I was waiting for you to say, I can see like this mountain with lovely flowers. And then, I, yeah, I can see the furry <laughs> monster too with yeah. little hearts on his tummy. Yeah, and I love it. But I will point out that you might want to think about how you're placing your fabric on your um, flap because depending on what way you have it there, you might want the same way when you put your flap up. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> okay. If you want your monster so that he's not on his head. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just love it. It's so cute. Oh, I see. So once you've got the flap up like this. Yeah, you want him at the bottom of the mountain. <laughs> yeah. You still want to think about your directional yeah. print. Yeah. The others so you want are, the monster the aren't directional. The mountain. Yeah. yeah. You the don't want the monster upside down when you open the flap. It's just so cute. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Brilliant. So, yeah, I thought I'd just mention about directional fabric. <laughs> no, thank but you But that's that. the only place, really, you have to worry about it when you turn up your flap if you've got a directional fabric on the inside. Okay. Um, but, yeah, the bosal is absolutely lovely. I've already um, done that one with the... Pressed that one on with the so, iron. Yeah, it was. It, did you find it handy that it was already sort of pre-cut then? Oh, brilliant! I mean, you do still. I've got this out because you do still get the pattern ah, pieces in the pattern. So you don't need to worry about tracing them out if you want to make it no, again. No, no. But right. while you've got the bosal, all you have to do is just um, draw around those for your other pieces. So if I'm making it again, I could always use H640 or any yeah. any sort of fusible yeah. foam. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so. You iron it from the fabric side. You don't press the bosal itself. And the bit that feels um, kind of bubbly and rough is the side that goes down to your fabric. And the soft side, the fluffy side, is the one that uh, actually goes uh, on the inside. So if we turn that over, and I've, I've lined up my pattern so that I've got the bosal going along the same point and I did put the Because Debbie's on. not here, you can be honest. How were Debbie's instructions to follow? Very good. Very but good. But I did look at the tutorial. Yeah. Um, and actually on the tutorial, Debbie says to use steam. And it doesn't say that on the Bosal instructions. So yeah. obviously you can do either way. Right, okay. Yeah. I mean, she mentions about having steam. But because you've already got the shape cut out, I mean... All the business of taking out your pattern pieces and things like that 
I mean, you don't even need to have to pin it down because yeah. that's it. It's all, all done. The only thing you need to do now, do I need that again? I don't do it. So we don't need to worry about any hairy monsters with this colourway, no. do we? <laughs> No, no, there's no directional hairy one. monsters to worry about with this one. Hmm. The black colourway is completely sold out. Well done if you got it. We've got the green and the yellow, which is the one Alison working with in your main graphics. And uh, on the tutorial, Debbie had her ruler and she went a quarter inch all the way round. And I thought, I've got an add a quarter ruler. Oh, so that's a good idea. Yeah, so because you've got, this is quite thick and your add a quarter is designed to go against something, that was really easy to just add to give me my quarter inch seam allowance and it even worked round the round the shape because you can just take it along are we in there we go take it along and as you go round and take that round well, that's so good look at that that's a skill at moving you add a quarter ruler kind of so speedily um they're because, out of stock at the moment but i know loads of you have got yeah them. i mean your seam allowance isn't crucial anyway because you're going to sew around your piece of foam yeah true but uh you know this way they say about having the quarter of an inch and then you haven't got a lot of bulk to worry about so if we converted you, you're going to make more handbags i love it yeah it was really really lovely so yes i will do um oh there it is so then you just cut around the outside and you've already got your dart cut as well. Um, for your lining, because you don't have the bosal on the lining, you can use your bosal to actually cut your dart in, in your lining piece or you can use the pattern piece. I did cut out the pattern piece but I didn't use it because I used my, my bosal the same. Sorry, I'm listening to Elliot in the gallery's ever so bossy. <laughs> it's very jolly in there, I can hear. <laughs> oh, that's that's definitely not us. That's that's through in the Where's that? Where can we hear that? Oh, is that in the office? Oh yeah, yeah, it's Hayley. <laughs> there we go. So that's your pieces already cut out. So what you're gonna do is you're going to quilt it. Here's the one I did earlier. <laughs> you're going to quilt it, and with this one. I found my centre point right. and then used my ruler. So if I do it on this one. So I'll use a pin just to mark my centre point. And then at home I used a friction pen, but I haven't got one here, so I'll use my chalk. But I've also, um, the last time I was on, I did some quilting as well, and I, I used the... Oh, the quilting the attachment, yeah. yeah. So if I mark up my centre, you only need to mark up the one you're going to start with. Oh, that's not very good. That's a bit wonky. I'll have to sort that as I sew. <laughs> <laughs> my chalk needs to be sharpened, really. So I'll have uh, three to do my quilting. I tend to do... My quilting on a three. Is when that a stitch length through. you're saying about? Yeah. Right, okay. I suppose if you're working with the foam, lengthening it slightly means that you're not... I don't it, know, what it happens sh if you It go? shouldn't bunch up. Bunch up, yeah. right, okay. Yeah. So we'll sort that. But again, you don't need to walk... Have you got your walking foot on? No. No? No. Well, it's, it's stuck down, isn't it? So there's not really an issue. And... The, the scissors on a sewing machine are brilliant. This is your 680 yeah. plus, by the way, and it does have the, the scissor button. Yeah. Brilliant. Extended five-year warranty until Saturday, then it will go back down to two. So if you do want to make the most of it. This one does come with the quilting bar, it doesn't does, it? It does, yes. I mean, not every machine has them because it comes with a walking foot. So if you haven't got a walking foot on your machine, if you buy a walking uh, foot, you'll It'll get one of it. these guides with it. And it's a quilting guide, and it means that you don't actually have to draw in your pattern. Right, that's brilliant. So all you do, which is the best way for me to have my sewing machine that way, like that, all you do is you put down your guide at wherever you're going to be. I've got it in an inch spacing. Yeah. On your, on your plate here, you've got all your spacing. So I've got it at an inch spacing. 
So once I've done my first line, just put the guide down to where you've sewn and then your guide follows this row of stitching and you don't have to worry what's going on over here because that should automatically foot down. Foot, yeah. foot down. <laughs> that <laughs> That's helps. perfect. Look, we can see exactly what you're doing here. So Let's you just have a little bit of using speed. that guide bar. Yeah, to run along, along that stitching. stitching that I've already done. Oh, Emma's a good egg, aren't you, Emma? Amazing, yeah. So that way you've got uh, your row of stitching and you're just following each one of those. Mm. I will turn it round to do that because it will take me ages if I do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just good to see actually because I haven't seen the, um, the quilt bar in, in action. Yeah, but I mean, there's... Buzz on off. Pardon? <laughs> oh, it's because you've got no sound on. It's the, that says buzz, like as in your bleeper for you. Oh, have I pressed something? You then? must have pressed something. Should you I switch it off and switch it back on again? Well, it, it, yeah, switch it, <laughs> switch it back off. That so always helps. The, quick, but I think that's the quickest what it is, way no around sing, it all. There was no sound on it when you were doing the um, stitch, when you were taking oh. your stitch length down. I thought, there's no sound on that machine. It was really strange. I had right, a message okay. come in from Bev. Hi, Bev. Hello. Bev has said, this is my rosemary bag I made um, oh, when I purchased lovely. the pattern and bows previously. Oh my word, that is beautiful. And it's a lovely make. So is that PU? Oh, that's brilliant. I think it looks like PU because it's got a bit of a shine to it. PU. And it, I wonder whether you could do it with like an upholstery fabric. I don't know if that's what you've used. Let us know, Bev. It's gorgeous. And the two fabrics on the strap as well. That looks really nice. Thank you, Bev. Thank you. You do have a good amount of um, fabric left over from the from That's the good, fabric you get in the Liberty. bundle. Liberty, it's nice to yeah. be able to, to have plenty. The green that Alison's working with is the one on your screen. The black sold out completely, remember, so this is the only way of being able to get it with this Liberty fabric. This is the Emporium range as well. My little furry monsters. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble is, once you've seen that, you, you can't, can't not see it. it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Have you decided what you're making with your Emporium collection? Yeah, yet? I've got quite a big project that I've been keeping for the right fabric. Do you, have you heard of Milfiori quilts? No. No, oh, lovely. Oh, I'll have a look. It, it'll take a long time to do because it's uh, EPP. Oh, wow. Oh, I and think I remember you said that when you, you knew, you sort of had that, you've had that pattern before. Yeah, I've had you? the books for a the while. Books. And there's a particular one called La Passe. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm really looking forward to starting that. But I've got to sort out my papers. But I've got, I um, can't remember what it's called now, a contraption that cuts the papers. Um, um, do you mean like a, the, a the laser scan and ones? Cut. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, I've that's got that. good. That's exciting. So, yeah, I've you got to, to sit down updated. and thousands of papers. <laughs> because I think making that one, I mean, with hexes, you can take hexes out as you go along. Yeah. But I think with this one, I'm going to need to sort of keep them in because it's going to be a long project. So it means you need all of the different... Yeah. You need to keep all the papers in, I think, really. Now, I suppose you could do different quilting on this if you prefer. It'd be a nice chance to try yeah, out you could, in. Yeah, you could cross-hatch it, couldn't yeah. you? Or... Yeah, lots of different ways. Try out some of your decorative stitches, even. Yeah. There we go, last one. So, there we go. I, so I didn't have to... Uh, draw out those and then I can just put that up out of the way while I finish. Nice. Yeah, so that's both she of them. did use PU for the main part of the bag. Yeah, it's lovely. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm going to put the dart in and because it's already done for you. Oh, that's so It's good. so simple. It really is. You just line up your line up your dart. No, like you said, this month we're talking about, you know, well, this week. New things. It's about new things, yeah. new hobbies, Having new skills, new, new crafts. Yeah. Having a go. Debbie Shaw says she wants to do more dressmaking. Yeah. This is a Debbie pattern. 
Oh, is it? Oh, we've yeah. had loads of comments about your jacket. Did you make oh, it yourself? Yeah, it's a Debbie Shaw pattern. Oh, yeah. nice. That's Unfortunately, nice. it's not in print anymore because when <laughs> I did ask her, because several people asked me about it. It is um, lovely. I'm going to do a, a lock stitch on here because I don't want the dart to start coming undone. So if you haven't got a lock stitch, if you do a little return. But I will just go straight off the end there. And the other side. But yeah, there's no lining up for darts or anything like that. It's just... Oh, that's so handy, isn't it? See and sew, they used to do patterns called see and sew, and that's basically what this is. Emma, are you following then? Do you think you can do it? She's like, oh, yeah. Absolutely. This is great. Yeah. Anyone Fabulous for a beginner's project. So if you're... I wonder, Bev, I'm going to ask you, in fact, how do you get on with the PU and the Bozal? I wonder how you got on with using the Bosley in conjunction I with the. I would have thought that would have been an been issue. Been fine really. as well. Yeah. Nice. There is the pattern on its own, by the way, still available with the Bosley. So if you have got different fabric in mind, then Oops. of course you can do it. Sue's just asked, is there a clasp that you put on it? I mean, there's I've, lots of different options, aren't there? Yeah, I've got a metal um, magnetic one that I'm now going to do, actually. Oh, amazing. We've got um, the, um, the snap fasteners today. These are so on snap fasteners on the show. Yeah. Uh, this isn't the same as what Alison's got. Alison's got the magnetic snaps, which... This uh, is the Kat one that they recognise. Everyone's got them in their stash anyway. I've yeah. got them in my stash. So if you have got a bit of a haberdashery stash going on, um, then potentially you've already got yours. These ones are your snap fasteners, which you sew in. Uh, but they're still a good size, which are nice for... Um, for your bags aren't they durable plastic and bra brass um, combination great with heavy duty fabrics such as upholstery fabrics or canvas ideal for homewares camping outdoor gear bags or coats um and it's got all of your instructions of how you put them in um there just two pound 49 if you want to add those in thank you for your question yeah. so you're using the magnetic snaps. yeah i had a job getting them apart <laughs> oh yeah they're very strong very secure nail fog to the rescue <laughs> Right, so you've got um, the thicker one that goes on your main bag and then you've got the thinner one that actually goes on the li uh, lid, flap. <laughs> yeah. On the flap. But it goes on the piece without the bosal. Ah, okay. So what I, I've done, um, Debbie does say do something now. What does she say? It might be interfacing. <laughs> See the instructions. Yeah, just to reinforce yeah, it. Yeah, just to reinforce it. But I didn't have any interfacing, so I've got a piece of um, bond web. So I'll uh, just mark where it's going to go. And because it's going to be covered, it doesn't really matter that um, I haven't got a friction pen or something that can come out. So this one goes down, let me just check, one and a half inches on the lining so let's find the center point so your lining is the one that's not got the bosal on yeah with you yeah so we're going one and a half so mark that that will show through from the from the front there so now to put the can you just bring it over slightly Alison thank you now let's move that one out so this is the narrower one of the two that's going on here, but to line it up, I'm going to put the, the back piece where I've got that dot, and I'm just going to do a couple of little pieces there so that I can see where I've got to put it. Mm -hmm. What have I done with my little bit of bonder web? Oh, you just peeled it off, didn't I you? I did, yes. I don't know where it's gone now. <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. There it is. So I, I drew that in so that I know that I'm going to actually catch that. Catch that there. That's where the, the clasp is going to go. So I'll just put that on the back. Oh, I love that everyone's sending their pictures. Send in your pictures of your rosemary bags if you've made them before. Oh, yeah, um, it's lovely to see. We've got a picture coming from Margaret. Hi, all. Uh, it's a great oh, bag to that's make. that's William Morris, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> see, I love, you know, the contrast of just having... See, what I would potentially do 
Yeah, it is, it is. Um, the Bozal makes a sturdy but flexible bag. Keep providing great shows. Thank you, thank you, oh, thank you. That's so lovely, you know what Margaret. I would be tempted to do? I would use this as the flap and then I'd keep the other half metre for myself yeah. <laughs> and use something from my stash because there's so many different colours that you're going to be able to pick out of the Liberty Fabrics to complement. There's loads. Um, but I mean, that it is very indulgent. And Susie Duncan, she's taught me that you must be indulgent with, it's not being indulgent, it's just, you know, we can afford to do it. Why well, save the nice things? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, so what I've done is I've just taken a little snip in the fabric where I marked and now pushed the two prongs through and I'm going to put that down. You should start using your tulip pink scissors then. Your oh, tulip pink. No, I should, shouldn't I? <laughs> Why not use the to... nice thing? <laughs> I should really be doing this on a mat, cutting mat, because I don't want to damage the surface. And then so you, you just fold those back. No, that's to do that. it. They're just oh. folded back. So that's nice. that's on there. And then we're going to sew those two together. But now we're going to take the centre here. And we're going to do exactly the same. We had Jeannie messaging. With the in. thicker one. <laughs> Thanks, Jeannie. Uh, said, hi, girls and Elliot. <laughs> Loving the shows today. Alison, I'm really enjoying your demos. Oh, thank you. So just so calm and relaxed. <laughs> um, Emma has been working a few days now, so I think it's time we all get to meet her. Oh, yes, Emma. Yay! <laughs> right, snap down five okay, inches on the front. So we've got five inches here. So I'll just mark that, that's the centre. So I'll take my little back plate, put that over the dot, and then mark my little places where I'm going to snip. This is a bit thicker here, obviously, because you've got the bows all, but I think Debbie says use a stitch picker and ripper. You know. You're better to snip too small than too big, yes. aren't you? Yeah. Especially when you're using Liberty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to go wrong. No, absolutely. So there we go, that goes through. And that goes over the back. And then again, we're going to just push those down. So there we are, we've got our clasp. There. Ah, perfect. So that's what's going to happen when you've got your bag assembled. Okay. So if I do this one first, you have to put this on before you actually put the layers together because obviously you're going to turn it through and you don't want any of your clasp showing on the front of the bag that's going no. to be no, that makes in sense. the flap, yeah. But again, you you haven't got to worry about any seam allowances or anything like that because you're going to run around the bosal. So you don't, yeah, you're not actually sewing. Are you sewing on the bosal or not? No, no. you just no. Um, so just it. at the edge. But it's so it's so soft and you squashy. Could. Like I said, you you can put your foot on top. You don't because I thought I'd have to have um, a zip a foot to go and keep it close. Get close, but you don't need but you to. You don't need to. No, I will go. go back down. Now I'm not quilting. Now I'm going up again. I'll go back down to a 2.4. And because I'm going to be um, turning this through, I'll do a lock stitch. So if you, a back stitch if you haven't got a lock stitch. Ooh, turn, slow down a little bit. And then you just follow round. For a, for a new bag, for a first bag project, this is actually a really lovely one to do. It was really lovely. Yeah. Yeah. I think bags can be quite daunting, can't they, when you're first starting out? There's lots of different parts to it, the three-dimensional sort of shapes. And they, if you're using some really thick fabrics, they can be quite hard on the hands turning through. Right. I mean, I, um, I make Moore's bags. I don't know whether you know what mm -hmm. they are. It's like... Um, it's an initiative where 
you make bags out of um, old material, old or donated yeah, yeah. material, and you give them away. It's an initiative to do away with um, plastic carriers, really. And uh, I had a lot of curtain fabric given to me from a local curtain shop, and some of them were quite hard on the hands. Mm. You know, it's, they're only very simple yeah. um, shopping bags, tote bags, but uh, you know, you still have to turn them through. And also, if you're doing over three layers and a handle, it can get uh, get quite. I don't know uh, what Cat meant by that comment. She just said, "Oh, I bet all of the fabric shops know Alison. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they all know Alison." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, I'm now snipping into the corners and I'm just going to snip around. Why is that? The outside, so that when you turn it through, your pieces of fabric are actually going to, rather than ruckle up like that, yeah. they're going to fold over each other and lay flat. Oh, no. So because it's on a curve. I mean, you can, if you want to, actually take out a little V that... Uh, that helps as well, but I'll just do a little snip for now. These are the snips we were talking about, by the way. Someone messaged it in the last hour and said, oh, they're only left, they're only left. Oh, they are, they're, but they're, they're on the website. You really won't be disappointed. I think it's one of the best things I've bought. Oh, wow. There you go. That is a statement. Yeah. Because you've bought a lot, haven't I you? I have, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alison's brilliant. She, you are like a guinea pig. Try, you try all of the, oh, well, uh, you, you the know, gadgets. I... They're there for a reason. You don't have to have them. Mm. It's like we said earlier, to start sewing, all you have to do really is have a sewing machine and a pair of scissors. Yeah. But if it can make your life easier, and you gather them up over time, you don't yeah. buy them all at once. So, so there we go. There's the, the flap. Nice. I'll turn through. Easy to turn through, it's everything. Yeah, it's lovely. Okay. I've had a picture from Ellen come through. Hi, Ellen. Oh, have a look at this. Oh, wow, oh, it looks so gorgeous. different. Is that embroidery you've put on there? Isn't that lovely? Hello, team. This is my that's rosemary so bags. Yeah. Um, it's a lovely pattern to make, so enjoying the demonstration. I love that. That's really different, isn't it? Ellen, have you got bosal in there? That's really nice. Right, I'm just going to do the darts on the Just depends, doesn't it, what lining. fabric you're using. Like, you could use well, this look so, so different, many times. They? Yes. And it's a really lovely shaped bag, actually. You can get loads in there, but what I like is the length of the strap. I suppose you could put a slider thing on if you want to make it longer. If you, you wanted absolutely to, yeah. can. But it's nice that you can sort of wear it under your arm, but still yeah. keep it safe. Love it, love it, love it. There we go. So I've drawn in the darts on the lining piece, so we're going to... In there. Right, so now we're going to join them together. Oh, something I did do because there was quite a bit of fabric. Oh, did you put a sneaky I, pocket? I added a little pocket because I always like a pen in my handbag, so I tend to put in pockets and then just divide one up for the pen. Oh, that's so, a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I suppose whatever you're using it for, you yeah. can. So now I'm just going to join the linings together. No, that's really handy actually. I suppose you get enough fabric in here to be able to embellish, like you've done your little bow on the front. Yeah, and yeah. You could do it as you wish. I think, has Debbie Shaw covered a button on the front of hers? She has, yeah, and tied yeah. it on with a little bit of ribbon. What I've done, when I've got to the darts, I've nested the darts. I've put one, one of them one way and one the other way so that you don't get any bulk. Nice. So that you've got them. Well, there aren't that many points to match up, are they? So it's that's worth it. just having that yeah. one <laughs> looking nice. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Here we go. Margaret said, yes, the shops know Alison. <laughs> Is that Just, Margaret Bentley? Yes. <laughs> Morning, Margaret. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> we did a day making. <laughs> um, what did you make? Morse's bag at... Uh, Morse bags, yeah, Moore's at Tesco's. Bag. Yeah. At Tesco? Well, we meet at... Our Staffordshire Stitchers meet at Tesco's. They have a community room. If anyone wants to start up a sewing group, 
Well, when I, we can. assuming that um, supermarkets will be again using their community rooms. Um, yeah, we meet in the community room at, at Tesco's. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's yeah. good. But we had a Saturday where we set up the room and people could come in and make their own bag, take it away. We made bags and let people take them. So it was a lovely day. Oh, that's great. That's great. Oh, thank you, Margaret, for your message. Yeah, thank you, Margaret. <laughs> we might get together again soon. Oh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it'll look, won't be too long now yeah. until we'll... I feel like we're at the end of this. We are the beginning yeah. of the end again, aren't we? It's yeah. Strange times. Um, who is that, sorry? Ellen. Ellen's messaged in, who sent in the pe picture, said, yeah, I did use Bosal foam. It's great, isn't it? It's, it is great. It is lovely. And what, sorry? Oh, she appliqued the flap. It looks gorgeous. Oh, it's appliqué. It looks like embroidery. It does look like it's yeah. all hand-embroidered, doesn't it? And I love how you've done the the strap. It's really lovely. Right, so that's the lining. Then we're going to have the main part of the bag. And do the same. But this one, we've got the bosal in it. So we're going to go around the edge of the bosal. You only need to hold it together in a few places because it, there we go. Nest in again where the darts are. You would think, looking at it, when you um, get it out, that it's really, like you said, really hard to sew through. But I, I don't. It's a, a foam of some sort. It's really lovely. So do you do a lock and stitch at the start just to Yeah, make sure because it's, nice it's going to be secure. turned through. Yeah. Right, I think in the instructions they say to put the um, the strap in first, but I always try and leave the strap to the very last minute if I can because of the risk of sewing it into seams and things. Just so you know, you can still get it the pattern and the foam on its own. There you go, they come as a pair, the, the bosal foam and the pattern. It looks like a bosal foam on a roll on that photo, doesn't it? It's not. They're pre-cut to the correct sizes for the pattern, which is really useful. That's 19.99. But I tell you what, actually, the value for money at 28.99, and you're getting two half meters of Liberty. I don't think that's worked out quite right because these are eight pound each. Uh, okay, I think it's 749 a half metre, but still, my maths isn't great, and even I know that that doesn't add up to 28.99, does it? So, even if you're thinking, oh, I've got a different fabric that I want, I've, I've got in mind for this bag, get the bundle. You've got a metre of Liberty fabric as well. Discounted price. Amazing. Let's see, let me check I did catch that in. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely seeing everybody else's rosemary bags oh, as well. Oh, you know what I've done, silly woman. Oh, what have you done? I haven't left my turning oh! thing on the bottom. I saw Cara do that the other day and I oh. said, yeah, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> We've all done it. We've all done yeah. it. It's different sewing on the telly as well, isn't it? <laughs> Get carried away. Have you got any New Year's resolutions this year, Alison? Oh, same as any sewer, use up some of your stash. Yeah. <laughs> but then you see new stuff. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> well, maybe you're going to be starting your Liberty Quilt this year. Oh, I'll start it. I probably won't finish it this year, but I think it's going to be quite a long-term nice long project, yeah. If you do leave right. it, if you forget you turn the app, you've just taken a few stitches I've out. I've just taken a few, and I'm now going to put a lock stitch in there. Oh, at the moment, we've had some amazing fabric launches, haven't we? 
beautiful fabric launches. Gorgeous, yeah. I love that floral one this morning. Oh, really nice that and bright. That's lovely, yeah. In fact, tomorrow morning, I'm so excited. I've got another fabric, brand new collection tomorrow as well. It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'll chop stitch around here. I'll just turn that through so that we haven't got anything coming through. What I'm doing here is I'm just turning so that the lining doesn't come forward on the front of the bag once I top stitch. Make sure that that pulls back. And the, um, the clasp is back just far enough so that you don't need to worry about your foot. Right, okay. She says. It is very indulgent to be able yeah. to have all of your liberty on the insides and yeah. the lining, the inside of the flap, everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, because if you wanted to, you could put a plane, couldn't you? And yeah, oh and yeah, eke out your fabric a little bit. Well, that's it. If your New Year's resolution is to use up some of your stash, yeah. then technically you're using up some of your stash for the lining, <laughs> but then you still get to buy your nice new Liberty fabrics as well. I'll make that up into a three because it's. Thick so you then like again. sort of top stitching round yeah, here? Yeah, all I'm doing is I'm going through the width of the the foot all the way around the outside edge. Just so that I keep it at a a regular I'll do one more. A regular distance. Hi Georgina, our lovely Juki Georgina. Uh, we've we've named her Juki Georgina now. So good morning all. Um, I use Bozal in most of my Debbie Shaw bags. She says uh, I love the firm but soft structure. She says it gives it it, uh, it gives it gives to a project. Absolutely, that's what I think. I absolutely love. It's really soft, but. Your bag isn't going to flatten. It's it's lovely. Sending you lots of love too, Georgina. Oh, I heard about the message you sent, Jan Scar. I love it. That's so funny. She was like, I weren't sure about you at the start, Jan Scott, but now you've really grown on me, and I like you now. <laughs> oh, we all we all think the same about John. We know what we don't like him at the start. <laughs> now he's a good egg, isn't he? We love him. Right. Okay. So this is going to go in. <laughs> I haven't forgotten the handle, everybody. So let's have a same. There, we are very lucky with our lovely team. Right, I've got my handle made, which is your strip, and you press it in half and then press the sides in again. Oh, nice. So that, um, and then just sew down the outside edge. Do you need to interface that at all? No. 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 So I'm going to put that. Right. So what we're going to have is that is going to come over. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah. Yeah, make sure your strap's nice and straight yeah. so you don't have a twist in it. I suppose clips would be good for this as well. Yeah, I'm I'm you're a bit of a, a clipper, no, are you? I'm you're... I'm a pin generation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like the um clips with bag making, yeah. especially when you are looking at lots of layers. I'm sure that that's going to go. It's all coming together. Like that. Nice. That's right. And you have enough fabric, I suppose it's the same amount of fabric, isn't it? So if you want to do it the other way around, that you have the green flap with your main yellow yeah. bag, you can do it whichever yeah. way you want. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to think about this a minute. Yeah, this Whether is the I bit Whether I should do always... it the other way around and so that the, the lining goes in. Here's another one Inside. for you, Emma. This Let's is, have a look. We're going to do the birthing of the bag today. Yes. <laughs> yes, they put that one inside that one. Right, so that's right sides together. 
This is what always discombobulates me. I think it's the sort of like two-dimensional thing. inside the lining bag, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Well, you got to think it's right sides together, isn't it? So yeah. add the main bag into the lining, right sides together. We're with you. There we go. Oh, thank you to all of the new customers as well joining us this hour. We're really, really busy with new customers as well. Oh, that's lovely. Keep everyone sane with what's going on at the minute. That's it. And then I'm joining up, matching up my side seams. Making sure I've got my... I'm going to pull that handle out a little bit so that I don't lose that. There we go. And line it up. At home, I would put in a lot more. Yeah, spend that time pins. pinning. Yeah. I suppose it, it fits though, doesn't it? You don't need to do too much easing. No, it's all the right size because, yeah, yeah you've all already got uh, everything cut out. I mean, you, you're putting a large piece inside your lining there, so that's, you know, it's quite bulky there, but it, it's still not difficult to sew. I'll put that up a little that's bit. That's the first there. time I've ever heard your Cornish accent come out. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to turn it through because I put the, zip, the, the pins on the inside and I really need to... Take it that way. We're not birthing yet, Emma, no. No, not worry. yet. Right, so you turn so now. It. Would you take oh, the... Oh, actually, this can yeah, come Yeah, it off, does have it? a free arm. Yeah. If you have got a free arm on your machine, that's handy, Now isn't we're going to turn it back again. <laughs> and we're going to sew round. Start on the corner. Right, I'm, I'm pretty sure it says a quarter inch, but I'm just going to use the width of the foot here, which is a little bit wider, I think, than a quarter inch. And I'm still on three, so I'll go down to a four. A four, so even longer stitch two, than No, 2.4. Oh, sorry, 2.4. And again, you're not going through, are you going through the, you're not sewing through the foam at this point, are yeah. you? Oh, you are. And yeah. it's still and absolutely now. Going yeah. sewing a dream without you yeah. walking foot on. Yeah, at the top you are. No problem whatsoever. And I've just gone over the handles there. You could hear it. Just, just changes a sound. Chunter a little bit, didn't it? Yeah. But it not doesn't struggle. It's actually a really quick project. We've done this in an hour. I know you did a couple of bits yeah. before, but it, it's not something that you know you can do it on an, a nice afternoon project, yeah. can you? And like we said with the quilt, I like projects where you can finish it and sometimes bags there's so many different compartments and sides and different inside things and there I better take that all one careful out. this is perfect got one there just so you know we've only got five of the kits left um this is the one with the green colorway now it's it everybody um seeing it come together loads of you have checked out if you do yeah. want the, uh, the, the bozal and the pattern on its own that's also still available at 19.99 but the value for money is fantastic Whoops. with the Liberty. I'll take that in a little bit. I've taken that. What have you done, sorry, Alison? I've just had to fold it in a little bit. It hasn't quite met. It's... Hi, Marion. Let's go back a bit. 
Marion's ordered the 680 plus yesterday. She said she's so excited. Oh, lovely. Honestly, it's my favourite machine. I love it. Right. It is my favourite. Oh, go. I'm so excited for you. Right, this is the birthday of the bag, Emma. <laughs> You want to make sure that you leave yourself a big enough gap. Yeah, and I would also um, clip the seams a little bit okay. on, the, on the curves. Not too much. I wouldn't do it on the outside, actually, because that's where you need the strength, don't you? And this is why it's good as well to do your little reverse stitches, yeah. isn't it? Because you are putting a bit of tension on the, on the stitches. There we go. Newborn Let's baby just bag. <laughs> Let's just do that up. It's the time, yeah. Oh, was she? Debbie Shaw apparently was asking for name suggestions for me the other day. <laughs> What's Debbie Shaw's new little uh, grandson called? Can't remember. I would hand sew this at home, just a little little ladder It's going to be at the bottom of the lining, isn't it? So Yeah, you're not going to see it. But and it's only liberty. You, might only well. you know. Yeah. Ooh. And then that goes in inside. And that one comes over the front. Nice. And there's your handle. How good is that? It's all in. Done, done, yeah. done, done, done. I mean, it, you would... Give it a nice press. Or you could top yeah, stitch press it and then top stitch around here. So yeah. that's where you're going to be sewing over the bosal. Okay. You're going to be sewing over the bosal there. But it's not an issue. Right. So all that's tacked in. But it, it does need a good press now. And so then how much fabric did you have left over? Um, I can show you. Oh, nice. So, yeah, just keep that all nice and yeah. so it doesn't flap over. Lovely. Oh, wow. That's the other one. And But this one I took out the pocket of the, the lem. Oh, I've got it here. I took out the pocket. So if, you, if you're into, like, little bits of EPP and things like that. Oh, I tell you what. There's still a good amount left. Do you know what I was thinking? You know when I said, oh, you could cover nice some buttons purse. or, or do a, a little scrunchie? There's loads that you could do with that. Yeah, make a and, little purse out of it. And you made um, a bow as well, didn't you? Yeah, that was just... I just... Uh, it was a strip that I just did, and I've left a little hole in the centre. And then that's just turned through. And you don't have to sew up this bit here because you leave that in the center and just scrunch up the center. And then I put, um, I just put a button over the top of it. Oh, and it looks so lovely, doesn't it? Um, can I just say, we've already established at $28.99, you're not paying even for the, the normal price point that we do on this Emporium there collection. Oh, there you go. How quick's that? Yeah, just on, on the top. That's so good. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and I'm pleased that we've uh, we've made you make your first yes. handbag. Yes, it was lovely. More to really come. Really nice. Sure, yeah, Debbie Shaw will be, be very proud more. of you. <laughs> Debbie Shaw will be proud. Thank you ever so much, Alison. Thank when you. When are you back with us? When am I back? 25th. 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 Yeah, it's 25th. not that long. No, it's not that long away, actually. It's no. not that long away. Don't ask me what I'm doing, it? though, because I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh, it's a Monday, isn't it? So you're on with oh, is uh, it Rebecca, Becca. I think. Oh, I haven't have I been on with Rebecca yet. Oh, have you not? No. Oh, I think it's oh, a Monday, nice. so you'll be with Rebecca. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, please, 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 you get home safely because yes. it's so icy out there. Yeah. It's so icy. Um, thank you very, very much. There you go. Da -da 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 -da. Da. Liberty bag. Finito. How beautiful How is, that? is that? Oh, love that it. That will be better when it's it. pressed. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. Okay. We love thank you. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, so we'll see you soon, Alison. Yeah. The, uh, we'll just do a quick roundup. There's not much to round up, to be honest. There's literally a couple of these still left if you do want to make the most of the brilliant price points. 
What does that make the price for your Liberty? Hang on. Nine pounds. Nine pounds for the meter of Liberty. Goodness. I told you, it's crazy, isn't it? You don't, we don't ever do £4.50 half a metre on Liberty. We just don't. We wouldn't, even in a big discounted show. So there's definitely something that's priced wrong on there. I would absolutely make the most of it. Not only are you getting your pattern and your bows, or you also get a metre of Liberty fabric. Now, if you miss it, because there's a lot of people who have got it in their basket, check out, check out, check out. Um, this is what I'm talking about. Look, don't get me wrong. Brilliant price point for your pattern and your bozo, which is already pre-cut, $19.99, but it just shows you how wrong the price was for the, the Liberty fabric. So you're getting your Debbie Shaw pattern, and Debbie Shaw has worked in conjunction with bozo to be able to do your uh, perfect foam pieces, which are single-sided uh, single sided fusible, so you're just going to be able to iron them straight on. Uh, it's so beautifully soft, it's easy to stitch through, it's needle friendly and you've got two pre-cut front and back pieces and one pre-cut flat piece, everything that you need to be able to make your rosary bag. Please send in your photos as well when you've made it, put them on the fan page as well because Alison I know loves to see all your, your pictures. It's, we've had loads of new customers this hour as well, so definitely if you're on Facebook, go on to Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and it's a brilliant community to be able to share and send all of your uh, inspirational pictures. Okay, in fact, there's a bit more about that in our break. So, coming up, Kit Roundup, we've got Delphine Brooks patterns in. We've got the Sew Along um, kit, which you've still got time to get. We've got some more Alison Marion instructions. We've got some Village Fabrics instructions. Oh, the kimono placemats. And we never ever do this outside of her shows. We've got Jane Greenoff kits as well. So if you want to do a nice bit of slow stitching, cross stitching, then join us after the break. Do not go anywhere. We're back in just a couple of minutes. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. While we're having to spend more time at home again, we're here to keep you busy and entertained. Sewing Street will be live every day from 8am, bringing you plenty of demonstrations with our experts in dressmaking, quilting, bag making, toy making, needle felting, embroidery and so much more. Our community of fellow sewists on the Sewing Street Fans Facebook group are there to chat to you about whatever you're making, sharing photos and advice. Check out the Sewing Street Facebook and Instagram pages for fun competitions and offers. New Year's are always about trying new things, so why not try out a new hobby? From the 4th to the 10th of January, Sewing Street will be bringing you a week packed with demonstrations on new techniques, beginner's tutorials and brand new projects. With everything from ribbon art, making your own sleepwear, new quilting techniques and beginner's homeware makes. We have something for everyone. Sign up to our email newsletter and follow us on social media to find out what's on when. 
And watch our New Year new hobby shows from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 4th to Sunday the 10th of January on Freeview 72, Sky 670, our YouTube channel or Facebook Live. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I feel really tall now. I thought, right, I'll just stand up for an hour. Um, we have got a bit of a roundup. So those of you that have been watching over the last few weeks or few months, in fact, um, we've got some of our favourite kits um, back in stock. We've managed to put together some bundles, but we've also been able to do some instructions on their own. Right, can we start with Delphine's? Let's just start with the unicorn because I know how many people have already checked out on this. Right, I love this, absolutely love it. You have got your applique unicorn. Now I think that she used the handmade Tula Pink um, collection. We don't have any of the fabric, but you can now choose your own fabric from home. How amazing is this? I've made it and I absolutely love it. It's really, really simple project for anybody who's new to applique. Delphine has done all of the hard work for you. So you've got all of your instructions, all of your pattern pieces, all of your templates. They're your templates and these. this is your layout diagram. Um, in fact, the Norma Rose fabrics that we started with, the launch of the first show, you would have more than enough there. And those bright colours are gorgeous and the same sort of zesty greens and magentas you can see on your screen would go perfectly with this. So your instruction patterns on their own are just £9.99 and I've seen so many adaptations of this as well on the fan page. So people have done horses, um, the horses are really, really popular. Um, you could also do this as a, um, what other animals have I seen? Unicorn into a horse. There's more though, just take the, obviously take the, the horn off. And you could do it, change it however you want, change the fringe. You've got all of these different pieces uh, to make it your own, but it does look absolutely beautiful as a unicorn, doesn't it? It's so cool. Just £9.99. Oh, Emma said, I really like the cow. Don't mention the cow. <laughs> oh, oh my word, Emma, I can't even, I can't even stress to you. Every single time we do it, we bring in like a thousand of them and they sell out. Every single time. And we still have people saying that they miss out. Honestly, it's thousands. I can't believe that there's still people who haven't got the Highland cow. I don't know. Anyway, the um, unicorn is available at £9.99. Amazing value. Okay. Hi, Heather. The Tasha is brilliant. This is the Tasha. Let me show you. Oh, one second. It's all right. Um, the Tasha. Don't you just love it? It's amazing. Right, the quilt, the pattern on its own. You can make two quilts because this is the kind of, this is your applique. Then you've also got the reverse applique option as well. So two in one. Once you've cut those pieces out, you've got the reverse option as well. Do you love it, Emma? It's amazing, isn't it? It's absolutely, it's so cool. Um, this is the K Facet. We haven't got the fabrics available today, but there are loads of fabrics on the website. Use your stash. It's brilliant to be able to use up smaller pieces from your stash, actually. We've got so many beautiful, bright, vibrant collections coming in at the moment. This would be perfect for it. Right, do you know what date this was? It was that day, which we... 3rd of November, there you go, Cat remembers it. I always say I should remember it because it was just the best day ever. There were hundreds of you that were involved in that show. So, it is again for a confident beginner. Don't you worry, it looks so complex, doesn't it? 
but it is a matter of doing lots of cutting and applique, uh, you know, cutting and, and, and sticking, basically. Delphine, I'm not just saying this because she's one of my, fr my friends, but she is so clear and so thorough. I even love that she's put, you know, she talks to you like a friend. She is our friend and she's put, not forgetting, patience and a cup of tea and coffee. Uh, now have a nice sit down, read the instructions fully before you begin with a kiss. Oh, she's just so lovely, we love her. But all her instructions are really, really clear. Um, Delphine and Nick, her husband, they, they're they a great team together because Delphine does all of the drawings and then he puts together these templates for us. So that's your layout diagram. It's really clear to show you there's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. So what you do, she's even left you a guide round so you can cut, um, cut round, stick them all together. No, that's, you, that's your cutting line just so you're not missing any of the templates at the end. So all of your pages are numbered. Um, all nine pages you can see there are numbered as well. So if you have um, cut these out and you've got it in a bit of a mess and you're thinking, right, where on earth does that one go? She's got the layout diagram and they're all numbered. So it's really, really handy. Um, but she's done all of that hard work for you. Then you cut round with a little rotary cutter. Get yourself one of those 18 mil or the 25 mils that we had from earlier on. Um, cut round. They all sold out when we first uh, launched the Tasha. Um, quilt looks amazing 18 mil rotary cutter is the smallest one that we do and it's perfect for this project now as I say this is to make two quilts because once you've cut out your fabric you've then also got the reverse of it this is why it's really good using if you're very very careful you keep all those pieces you then place the sort of outline so you've cut all of the middle bits out, the outline, the negative, onto a background. And she shows you how to do the background as well in here, which is exactly what Delphine did. I wonder if there's a picture in here of it. So there's the, this is the background. She put together like a background like that. So you have one that's plain and one that's blocks. There it is. So there's one and there's number two. How amazing. So you can then do two quilt fronts. Um, in one go, in one go. Uh, it's just £9.99. pence. Hi Jane, thank you for your message. She's put morning Vicky, loving the show and congratulations on the baby. Oh, thank you. I'm all crafting. Um, I tell all my crafting friends, Vicky went to, to school with my daughter, Rebecca Gates. Oh my word. Oh, and that, oh that's such, that is so strange, is it? What a small world. What a small world. How exciting. Um, that's so cool. Uh, I don't know what to say. Right, so that's the um, Tasha quilt. We also have the cushion. Uh, right, so it's the same with the negative, that reverse, that silhouette, that you can do two cushions. Now, it's exactly like the Tasha, but simplified. So if that is a bit daunting for you there are a lot of pieces there so if you do want to do a smaller version this one obviously will come together very quickly have we got any of if you've looked at all of Delphine's projects before and love them but want to sort of dip your toe into a plique I definitely go with this one um, she, again she's done all the hard work for you all of your templates are there all of the drawings your layout diagram all of your instructions how to piece it together. Also, she's shown us here how to use it with the rainbow panel. I wonder whether on the website there's any of those rainbow panels available, Kat? Do you know which one I mean? Yeah, it's got the, the lines through it. It's really beautiful, but this is how you get this sort of rainbow graduation, which works so, so beautifully well. But then again, you could do it monochrome. You could do it with a black background and all white, couldn't you? You could do it with Tim Holtz. Um, so this is the one. The reverse of it, so the silhouette of the quilt looks like this. So again, it's very, very similar if you imagine it with your cushion. So it means that you get the most out of your fabric. If you just do that, either side of your quilt, I mean, it's just amazing, isn't it? Two quilts, it's just incredible. Um, 
that's what I was trying to explain with the negative and the using the, the background of it. Cushion, very, very popular today. If you haven't tried the, the Tasha and you're thinking, right, this might be um, a bit daunting, well, this might be a, a good one to start with. The jelly rolls that we've got on our website, our exclusive ones, are so, so affordable. It's definitely worth having a look and seeing on there because you'll be able to do it with one of the smaller jelly rolls. I don't know if we've got the rainbow. You could do it with barley pops, couldn't you? Look lovely in barley pops as well. A great stash buster though, because look, they're only small pieces that are used. And if you do want to create, you know, if you don't have pieces that are that long, you could always stitch them together. We've seen Delphine do it before where you piece them together. We've got a rainbow design roll on the website. Uh, if you go to sewingstreet.com, this is a rainbow design roll, which would again work really, really well with all these projects. £29.99. That's your uh, that's your forty piece two and a half inch strip design roll. So you've got way more, way more than you need in there. Plenty. I think that's my Delphine section done. Just wanted to do that because I know a lot of people were waiting for it. So in the last hour, um, we had the Debbie Shaw rosemary bag, which was really, really popular indeed. We've now got the Debbie Shaw Japanese knot bag. I've never actually seen her demonstrate this. Has she done it on the show before? She's done it on the show before. I'm not sure whether she's, um, I'm not sure whether she's done a full demonstration of it, but it's definitely been on the show. In fact, it was back on the 6th of December. You can watch it back. Great thing about Debbie Shaw instructions though, as we all know, uh, she is an award-winning bag designer. So in personality of the year this year as well. Um, so of course, there's no better person to learn from if you are starting out a new craft or a new hobby or if you're getting into bag making, no better person to learn from. This is such a lovely bag as well. All of your fabrics, loads of people have been sending in their photographs um, of the rosemary bags. We'd love to see your Japanese knot bags as well. Look at all of these. So you get all your templates. Look at all these templates. Sorry, I don't know what I was saying then. I just went off in a world of my own. Look at all of these templates. <laughs> exclusive to us here at Sewing Street though. How amazing is that that we've got a Debbie Shaw exclusive at nine pounds and 99 pence. Lovely with your Japanese inspired fabrics. Um, have a look on the website. Have a look, have a look, have a look. Um, Okay, so that's Debbie Shaw's. We've also got Alice and Marion, who we've had in today. So the cat and dog bag has been, oh, so, so popular. My mom absolutely adores this. She wants me to make one for her. What I, I love is the detail. You can see, obviously, your little dog, little paw print, little bone poked in there. I think he's a dashend, isn't he? Because look, you turn it over, so then, there's your dash end, and then the tail makes your strap, makes your handle. So clever, isn't it? I absolutely love it. And like we were saying, thinking more about sustainability, you know, getting rid of plastic bags. Be great to have as a shopper bag. It's a nice big star bag. Fab in PU, but also you could do it in canvas, you could do it in tweed, cat saying. This is um, a PU, it's like um, a synthetic leather. It's really, really nice. So it's a lovely roomy taupe. It is sort of wipe, wipe clean, yeah, absolutely. Great as a shopper bag, ideal, and it's really nice and strong. So you also have, if you're a cat fan, by the way, your templates to be able to do this as a cat. And same again, your tail goes all the way around. You know, Alison can't leave out one or the other. She's got a cat and a dog. She can't leave out the other one. So you do get templates to, both, to be able to do it with the cat or the dog. Um, there's the dog templates. No, even with his little flappy ear. Even with his little flappy ear. So cute. So, so cute. There you go. Woof. Woof, woof. You even get your templates for the, uh, the words. And then these are your cats. Oh, look, so you can see the cat tail. There's also a little mouse with the cat tail. So this, the tail extends into the handle. There's your cat. Love it, absolutely love it. That's your everyday tote bag. 
Do you know what date this was? Because we did a great demonstration with Alison and she showed about working with PU and also showed about working with different fabrics. 31st of October. Thank you, Kat. 31st of October, if you do want to watch that back. Roomy, beautiful tote bag. Okay. So next Tuesday, we have got um, Yvonne Mackinac, who... Macadamney. <laughs> Sorry, Yvonne. I'm thinking of the um, Mackinac Island, the Moda collection, I think. Baby brain. Um, so, let me go back. On Tuesday coming up, uh, Yvonne will be doing the most amazing sew along. Now, she's already filmed parts of it. You'll get set a link of how to set your sewing machine up and how to set everything, how to cut everything. She sends you literally everything. Um, right, where's the bundle? Is this it? Uh, right, so we've got three different colourways. Three different colourways. Is the one that you want to start with? Let's go with the batiks. They're all three different styles, but it is a beginner's patchwork table runner. So you are going to learn all of the basic patchwork um, techniques. And Yvonne was saying that she wants everybody to learn the right way. It, it, there's no point starting a new hobby and getting into bad habits. So the brilliant thing is she's a really, really good teacher and, um, and we'll go through everything really thoroughly with you. So in here, you have everything that you need and I mean everything that you need. I will open this one. I don't know whether, can I open the others or I won't open the others just in case it's the same. I don't want to get everything all messed up because it comes to you so beautifully presented. Yeah, look at this. So you have your thread. Now you have a cotton thread uh, and you get a silk finished thread for one of them's for piecing and one of them's for quilting. She'll tell you which are which. You also get, encouraging us to change our needles more, sewing machine needles included in the kit. You also then have all of your instructions. But don't worry, we've got the Sew Along Show. We have got the Sew Along Show on Tuesday with John and Yvonne. You will get an email link with this as well, where you can, um, of course, watch the video tutorials that she's made to be able to start off setting up your sewing machine and also how to finish it off because we're obviously not going to be able to make the whole table runner in full detail on the show so you do also get the uh, the links. Uh, now I can't guarantee that you'll get this for Tuesday, you might do but don't worry because you can always watch it back on YouTube so you can literally do the whole sew along from the convenience of your own home at your own time. You get a label, you get all of your batiks, um, I know when we first launched this with Yvonne, we had a problem with our website, didn't we? It was a nightmare. Um, but there are still loads of you who have got this in your basket. Be aware, if you have not yet checked out, the Sew Along is on Tuesday. So as soon as you get this home, you'll be able to start sewing along with it. And what a first project, lovely batiks. If you want to hear more about it and you want to meet Yvonne, because she's going to be the one who's teaching you, she's amazing. Uh, she went through every single kit really, really thoroughly. She told you exactly what was going on um, back when she was last here on the 19th of December at 9 o'clock. If you want to watch that hour back, the 9th, sorry, not 19th, 9th of December. Um, if you do want to watch that show back, she's also put some beautiful quality wadding in there. Everything that you need from Village Fabrics for £45.99. So that's your Batiks colourway. There are two other colourways. The batiks were very popular. In fact, actually, I'd probably go as far as saying I think the batiks were the most popular. They were really, really popular indeed. I love that she's even put different labels, lovely labels that correspond with each of the kits. Um, sorry. They're saying, stop rolling it, stop rolling it. There you go. Um, these are your really pretty country cottage ones. In here, again, you've got everything you need. It's called vintage. So you've got your label. You, can you see it's more of a vintage label? Um, you've got all of your fabrics that you need. You get your threads. 
you've got a piecing thread and you've got a quilting thread. You've got your universal Schmetz sewing machine needles. Everything that you need to back and bind the, uh, the, the lovely uh, table runner for just 15 99 Are you going to be here, Emma? You'll learn so much. Yvonne is so lovely. She is a fountain of knowledge and she will teach you correctly. You won't get into bad habits. Um, you know, you can trawl through YouTube demonstration after YouTube demonstration. So many people do things different ways. Yvonne's been teaching for years and years and years. And there is, uh, what I love about learning new things is when somebody explains to you why not to do things or why it's best to do it like that. It's not, not don't do it that way. She'll explain why her, her ways are, are fantastic. So definitely watch the show. It's with John Scott as well. So you'll have a lovely, lovely day. And um, I know him and Yvonne get on really, really well. So definitely watch that show. And you'll get your link. Remember, you will get your email link with two other videos. One, setting up your sewing machine and cutting your pieces and getting all prepared for the sew along. And then another video, which will be for backing and binding, because we probably won't have chance to, to cover all that as in detail as we want to. Because it is designed as a special beginner's kit, especially with John Scott here, with, with John and Yvonne, they're just going to be yakking, aren't they? So we want to make sure that everything is covered. Um, now this one we were saying is uh, your sort of contemporary, modern design, great for gents, a lot of people were saying, more solid colours. Again, you don't need to necessarily do it as a table runner. It could be nice as a, a coffee table sort of to put on a uh, a coffee table or on a, a dresser or a, a sort of a, a dressing table unit. You can use it for lots of different things. It's a 12 by 36 inch finished size. 45 pounds and 99 pence. And this one again, different threads, needles, even a hand sewing needle in there. Um, you have all of your fabrics. 45 99 don't forget, Tuesday is the day that Yvonne is here doing the sew along. If you don't get your kit in time, don't worry, you'll be able to catch up on YouTube and sew along with Yvonne. Exactly the same, exactly the same. It's definitely worth watching back the 9th of December if you've not met Yvonne yet, because she's not here all the time. That was the last time she was here, the 9th of um, December. And whenever she is here, we have such a good time. I mean, she's really, really, really lovely and a great teacher. Talking of brilliant teacher, other kits that we have, that's Tuesday, remember that, jot down that, that in your diary. Now, um, Village Fabrics, apparently, do you know, I've not been there, it's a shop that's in Wallingford in Oxon. Um, those of you that have, have been there before, message in, let me know, because there's so many people who have said it's amazing. In fact, I think it was Wendy Orlando who said to me, the best quilting shop I've ever been in. It's incredible. Right, so these are your kimono placemats that have been designed by Yvonne at Village Fabrics. This is the red colourway. We don't have the blue anymore, but we've got the red, which is the one that you can see on the front of the pattern here. We've got the pattern on its own as well. I must say, it was such a good show, wasn't it? Such a good show. It, it's projects like this that, I mean, really stand out to me. We don't, it's something that you don't see very often, isn't it? So you've got here the most beautiful kimono, whether you have it as a wall hanging or she's designed it as lovely placemats, which we, she designed for a, a nephew's wedding. But it's all of these beautiful Japanese fabrics. They're stunning. Plus you get your, um, I don't think it is an insole bright, it's, it is a heat resistant wadding though. It's a heat resistant wadding that's included. Um, this was also on that same day, wasn't it? The 9th of December. This was on the 9th of December. If you do want to watch it back, you absolutely can. I've got a feeling it was for two. Yeah, yeah, it says here you go, makes two, makes two. And it will show you how to do all of your lovely binding. Um, everything that you need is included. It was a brilliant show. Watch it back again. Oh, there you go. I was thinking, who was it who said to me it was an amazing show? It's Alison here. Alison's still with us. She said, um, oh, thank you, Alison. She's staying with us. Um, she said, it was me, Vix. Amazing shop. Worth, worth a special trip. When everything all opens and we can go and, and, and travel, village, fa village Fabrics in Wallington, definitely worth a trip out. We've also got the pattern on its own. So if you've got any of your lovely Japanese fabrics, 
Maybe you've taken a special trip to Japan. I would love to go to Japan. That's definitely on my bucket list. If anything, you know, 2020 has made me think, why have I not done more traveling? Why have I not been to more places? It, it makes you realize, doesn't it, how important that freedom is. So I think this, well, next year, probably not this year, next year, um, yeah, I, I can't wait to be doing some more traveling. So we've got our placemats. Oh, Kat's supposed to be going to Australia this year. Oh, eight pounds and 50 pence. Let's have a look at the instructions because they're always written so clearly from lovely Yvonne. Um, so, here we go. You have got all of your written instructions. Your OB, I was wondering, you know the little sort of sash, the belt that you wear around a kimono? It's called an OB. So you've, you've got all of your fabric that you need to do, your OB, all of your binding, all of your Japanese fabrics for the front of your kimono as well. Uh, and they are really lovely sizes. So you have not only your instructions there, you also will have your full kimono template. This is the OB. Very proud that I know that now. I'm going to remember it. Eight pounds and 50 pence. Thank you for your lovely message, Sue. Thank you for your message on Facebook. Tracy, we're having a look for you. We're having a look. We haven't, we haven't forgotten about you. We can see your message. We're having a look. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We've also got from Village Fabrics. I've not seen the Sandra bags. This is the first time that I've seen them. So, did you say this cat fabric? And have you not seen it, cat? Oh, let's do that first. This is so cool. <gasps> this is your Sandra bag from Village Fabrics. And it comes with all of your fabrics. Your cat fabric. Look at that. Oh my word, get it just for that fabric. That is so cool. And your complimentary fabrics as well. £25.99. pence. Do you have an iPad, Emma? <laughs> I, won't, um, I won't knock it off the desk like John. I won't knock it off the desk. Um, yeah, John's got a huge one, hasn't he? So if he washes his arms. Oh, that's lovely. It looks like a con canvas. I think it's a slightly heavier weight. It's absolutely gorgeous. You've also got your grey. Oh, I love them both. £25.99. And your strap for just 25 99 And they're all kitted so beautifully, all together. Has this been demonstrated on air, do you know, Kat? This was demonstrated on the 24th of November. This was demonstrated the 24th of November. We also have it in a really, really pretty pink floral. Oh, there's nothing else like that. There's nothing else like the cats. I don't think we've got anything else in stock like that. I would definitely get that. Oh no, she hit a new high note then, our cat. This again is beautiful fabric. £25.99. John has told you he can hear you singing at home when he's watching. Can anybody hear a cat singing in the gallery? £25.99. Those florals are amazing, aren't they? Oh, they're so lovely. And again, it's a heavier weight fabric. It's like a, I don't know if it is a canvas or not. I don't want to open these because it's one of the ones that um, is going to be sent out. But it's like a canvas. And then you've got your two cottons for your lining and your, your little spot there for, I'll show you, for this part here, your strap and your little bow. It's a lovely tote bag, isn't it? This is Sandra's bag. I wonder who Sandra is. £25.99. Watch the show back. This was on the 20 something in november this one's open so i can open this one 28th of november um if you want to watch it back oh october in fact 28th of october if you want to watch it back on youtube that's a great thing about um the youtube playlist channels as well is you can watch back any of the demonstrations so once you've got the kits yeah once you've got the kits home you can then watch back and sew along uh, with the with the guest designers oh look at that that is really nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's really unique fabric. See, this is what I love about all of Yvonne's beautiful source fabric. 
something very, very different indeed. So you've got all of the fabrics that you need for your linings. Gosh, they're gorgeous quality as well. Very soft indeed. £25.99. pence. All of your fabrics, plus you're getting your full instructions, your template, your template as well, everything that you need. Plus, remember, you can watch the demonstration back from October, um, October 28th. Watch back on YouTube. Just £25.99. Um, I think... Is that everything from Village? No, we've got some more from Village Fabrics. The Random Hearts, which I saw on the Facebook fan page the other day. The, the Random Hearts, did you see it? Oh, it's lovely to see everybody's makes all coming together. Cat put together a lovely show for us. This is really nice. Your Random Hearts is so beautiful. And it's got a bit of everything. It's got a bit of, of plique in there. It's got some piecing. It's got really gorgeous fabrics. They all complement each, so, each other so beautifully. Um, once again, they kit all of these, especially for you. They're packaged beautifully. They'd be a great gift for somebody. The finish size is 38 inches by 46 inches. So it's a good size quilt. It's like a log cabin, isn't it? It's like a log cabin. And then you've got your applique hearts, um, which are completely random. I mean, you can put them together, which however you wish. There you go. That's what's called random hearts. 49.99 for a quilt pattern and all of the fabrics is fantastic. Hi, Hilary. Hilary's messaged in. In fact, Hilary sent in a photograph. Uh, this is one of Yvonne's kits. Beautiful fabric, great instructions, and I love to listen to her too. Hilary, isn't her voice? I really want her to read like the dictionary to me or something. <laughs> she could just read me stories. Her, she's literally like her, or, do you know when you listen to a good audio book? She's so good. No, but she could and I'd find it interesting if she read the dictionary to me. It's fine. <laughs> she's just got the most lovely soothing voice and she's very very clear with her patterns very clear with her instructions we've got one more from uh, village fabrics which is the strawberry heart i'm not seeing this one either isn't this lovely cat you're still so giddy how are you still so chirpy dearie me she's in a very good mood just $24.99. How pretty is this? Oh, Valentine's just around the corner. That's so pretty. Oh, I love that you've got your little um, apples, straws, strawberries as well. $24.99. 14 by 42 inches. Um, it is an adventurous beginner project, but, oh my word, have a go. Honestly, if I were to say any beginner projects where I'd, uh, you know, normally are a bit more adventurous, because it's Avon's and it's Village Fabrics, I would say go for it. If you're a beginner and you've not done it before, especially with the techniques that you're going to learn on Tuesday, it's definitely worth watching the show about the 24th of November. Watching the show on Tuesday as well to get any more quilting tips from her. And I'm sure that you'll be able to have a go. We're talking about uh, this week. Starting new hobbies and new crafts and getting involved. And this would be absolutely perfect. Do you know if you are doing, yeah, you get the whole kit for $24.99. Instead of committing to, to doing a massive queen or king size quilt, it's brilliant to be able to have a smaller table runner or something to be able to practice your binding and your quilting on your machine. Just £24.99. pence. That's so lovely, isn't it? That is so lovely, and I love all of the different fabrics. Right, so that's everything from Avon. That's everything from Avon. Wendy Orlando, are you still watching? Are you still watching? Because Wendy demonstrated this. A beautiful, beautiful block, um, which is all Moda fabrics. It's a Moda pattern, it's from a Moda kit. So even though it comes from us, it's been kitted by Moda. So this isn't us putting them together. This is amazing. Oh, 
look at those fabrics. So, inside you have, this is one that's already, um, we have got one that's open, which I'll show you in a minute, but you get your pattern, um, which is beautiful as well. I mean, look at these colours. How pretty is this? You could embellish, you could do some hand, um, hand sewing, hand embroidery, couldn't you, over the top of it? Uh, you've also got all of your apricot ash fabric. Look at that. Love it, love it, love it. So let me show you what it looks like when it's open. We'll have a look at, through some of these fabrics. Is this the friend? What, what's this? It's not. This is apricot and ash. Babe, apricot and ash. The friendly neighbour. Oh, yes. Friendly neighbour. Love it. Oh, well, I absolutely love it. This would be lovely for somebody who's moving home. <gasps> Hopefully. Oh, I just remembered I'm not moving home yet. It will. It will happen. We'll find something. I know. I know. It is what it is. I'm not going to dwell on it on the telly. I know. I've been through the emotional roller coaster the last few days as um, our, what our house sale has fallen through. But it's fine. It's absolutely fine. We'll find somewhere else. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. <laughs> Can you tell I'm fine? <laughs> right, this is great look. So, has Wendy cut these up? Yeah, look, so these are all what she had left over when she was obviously doing the demo. So you would carry on making all your blocks um, using all of your pieces. I love these fabrics, they are amazing. So it makes an 82 by, eight, an 82 square quilt. Um, that's what each block looks like. So even if you're thinking, right, I just want that as a cushion front or I want that as a wall hanging and I'm going to embroider it with a number of somebody's house and uh, you could do some lovely hand embroidery on the top of it. Now you could make 16 different blocks, there's 16 blocks here, all with different pattern combinations as well. You can see here, this one, it changes for each house. So you've got all of the different prints as well. Uh, we are very, very limited on this kit. In fact, we have got a price comparison. If you have a look elsewhere and have a look, this is Moda, remember? So it's brilliant price point. Um, I can't see the price. Oh yeah, there it is at the top right. 174 pounds. Oh my word, we're way lower than that. That's a big difference, isn't it? We're at 139.99. 139 pounds and 99 pence and it comes beautifully packaged uh, maybe your friend's got you into quilting i mean that is a really really special gift isn't it yes <laughs> 139.99 99. all of your instructions your panel unit changes throughout here for just 139.99 um so we've got I've got the uh, the quilt of a star quilt as well, Victoria Carrington. Heart of a star quilt, sorry. Let's do Julie Kelly's linen bread bag. I think starting the new year, one of my absolute New Year's resolutions is to try and do as much as I can for um, the environment. Uh, I, I know that we were learning so much about it when Steve Bennett came in and was talking about his U Bamboo range. I have converted everybody into you bamboo bedding over Christmas. I did buy quite a few sets. Have you, you haven't got it, have you? Cat, do it. It's the softest, most amazing bedding. It's gorgeous. If you've got any over Christmas, let me know because it is amazing. But I'm thinking more about sustainability and eco-friendly. And this is exactly what Julie is all about. Julie Kelly is from Oxford Craft Studio. Um, it comes in a box like this. Hang on. It's all, it's all, it's all, um, shall I open it carefully? Yeah. It is all sealed. I'll open it just very carefully and we can reseal it because there's not very many of these. Um, this, Julie Kelly was, by the way, one of our Search for Star winners. She was one of our great British Make Off winners. So here we go. She has put together all of it, recycled tissue paper, recycled tissue paper, and inside here, you have everything that you need to make the most gorgeous eco bag. Have we got um, the bag, the bread bag? 
I almost want to. I want to show you what it makes. Um, on your instructions, you can see a picture of it. But cat's having a look. So to make your stenciled linen bread bag, it's meant to as well. Not only does it look great, but it also keeps your bread fresher for longer. Putting it in linen, uh, it's got a bit of information about why it works. Um, why it works better. Um, in France, apparently, lots of the French patisseries and bakeries and everything, they all keep all of their pastries and, and, and breads in bags like it. So not only the benefits of using a linen bread, uh, bread bag is it's breathable, it keeps the bread in the dark, it can be hung on the hook as well, you've got the, uh, the, the little toggle, you can put, chuck it in the wash, um, it keeps the bread from drying out and it naturally absorbs any moisture. So it gives you the care instructions of how to wash it all of your kit ingredients and what you will need. Quick word, French seams, um, but flat seams will work too, she suggested. But we did do a full demonstration on it. You do have photographs and text to be able to go through. And inside, not only do you get everything that you need to make your linen bag, here we go. So you have your, len your linen, which is again, recycled. I love that, you might have a slightly different colour. Um, it's recycled, plus you're getting your thread. You guessed it, it's recycled. Um, it is 100% recycled polyester thread. You're also getting your cord. You're getting a nice big safety pin to be able to pull your cord through, because sometimes, you know, it's, it's difficult. If you haven't got a bodkin, to be able to pull your cord through the channel at the top of the drawstring bag, I've got safety pins in my drawer, but they're all little ones. So it's really handy that she's put you a big one in there. You also have some nice little cards. Um, uh, look at all of the, um, no, look, you get all the nice little um, postcards, little messages from her. A bit more about Oxford Craft Studio. We also have our stencil. So here we go. She's also done the fancy writing for you with your stencil whole pot of paint and a dabber. How good's this? What a great gift for somebody. Is any, if anybody's made it, I'd love to hear from you because I think these kits are so well thought out and really, really beautiful. She's even put you a little bit of linen to practice your stenciling on before you do it on the real thing. I mean, how good is that? Not saying, oh, use a bit of your scraps, which she could have well done. She's put a bit of linen there as well that you can um, practice your stenciling on. I absolutely love it and I love everything that she's about so I really really hope that we um we get to have her back in very soon um the 20th of November if you want to watch Julie Kelly's show she was one of the winners of our Great British Make Off um and she, that was that was the the prize was to come on and, and introduce the kit was to meet me mainly <laughs> mainly to meet us oh she was gutted when it wasn't Debbie Shaw when she walked in she was gutted. I was like, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Um, right, so. Oh, I miss Victoria Carrington so much. Um, I've seen the I've seen her on the, the, the Facebook page. I've got her as a friend on uh, Facebook and she's been saying she's coming back. She's been planning her shows for ages. The 16th, I think she's in, and it's not with us. Who is she on with? Oh, John, of course. John hugs her. But I mean, must say, she is literally one of the nicest people you could ever meet. She is just gorgeous. And she's, again, another fantastic teacher. Um, she's put together beautiful, beautiful... Uh, she, has to, she has put together some really beautiful instructions. This is a 40-inch square quilt. And it's adorable. Look at all the blocks. So you've got your reverse applique hearts. Um, She's saying it could be a lovely gift for a baby or used as a lap quilt. She said it, not me. Um, nine pounds and 99 pence. And in here, I'm opening it up. I'm going for it. Just so then you can, now it's open. We have to keep this as our studio sample cat, hint, 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 if you want to make me a quilt. The reason that I wanted to show you is because Victoria Carrington also has put in this kit uh, in the instructions, a bonus pack, a binding demo. Normally, instructions kind of brush over this. They might say, um, you know, 
then put your binding on. It might give you a couple of photographs. Uh, might show you how to do a mitered corner. The great thing about this is she literally gives you step-by-step -step instructions, even with a glossary, so it tells you what the uh, abbreviations are. Everything that you need to know about joining the ends, about how to do a mitered corner, how to overlap it. It's so detailed. It's just brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. So if you want that perfect finished binding with a lovely mitered corner, it's great that you've got that. Just £9.99. Okay, so that's from Victoria Carrington. Now, just very quickly, um, before we go over and do some of the Jane Green off kits, we've got like 10 minutes, less than that. Uh, have a look at this. This was today's project with, uh, with Alison Marion. Hundreds of you have already got this today. Have a look on the website. If you do want some fabric to go with it, we put three meters of white, which is enough for your background and backing to make 12 quilt as you go blocks, half a meter of three different colors, and then we use two fat quarters for the center, but you get plenty left over. Um, she said you've got loads. If you do want to, to do the instructions on their own, add some fabric, um, add some fabric from your stash maybe, or, or have a look on the website. It is a quilt as you go project, so you'll need some of your wadding as well. And Alison recommends either a cotton or a polyester, your preference, um, but to definitely, well, you won't need, if you're going to do this size, you won't need more than a cot size, uh, a crib size quilt. Uh, wadding. Just £9.99 for your pattern. It's got everything that you need there on the back. And the finished quilt that is behind me, I mean it's amazing isn't it? It was really interesting learning all about rag quilting as well and how to get that really lovely um, frayed edges. It looks so lovely. She did a great demo on the echo quilting. We, um, we did spend a whole hour on that. If you want to watch it back, it is on today's YouTube show. We do have that bundle still available on the website. Have a look what is available now. Jane Greenough. Are we ready for some Jane Greenough? I must say, um, I never get the chance to do Jane Greenough shows anymore because John's got hogs. Um, so these are all things I've never seen before and I must say, I love, absolutely love Jane Greenoff. She, of course, was uh, the founder of the Cross Stitch Guild. She's absolutely amazing at what she does. These kits are from the Cross Stitch Guild. I, I think I'm on Ada. Um, I am D. Yeah, this is Ada. So this is the Oriental Stalk, um, £21.99. If you do want to do some slow sewing, if you want to do something that's really mindful, um, this is fantastic. The great thing about Jane Greenoff is, I mean, she thinks of everything again. When they put together these kits from the Cross Stitch Guild, you get everything that you need. So you get, the pack includes charts in colour and in black and white, fabrics of choice, um, wrapped needle, you also get pre-sorted threads and instructions all there. So all of your colours are all pre-sorted. Um, you've also got your chart, you've got your Ada for £21.99. Whenever we have Jane Green off here, it's manic. It's always absolutely manic. We sell out of everything. Um, and it's, it, we've, I've really missed her over the last couple of months. I've not seen her for ages. What feels like absolutely ages. But she's fantastic. When is she back in? Do you know? We never normally get to do her kits outside of her shows. This is why I was really shocked to see them. Uh, so definitely make the most of them whilst we've got them here. £21.99. We also have it in linen. Let me show you the difference. So can you see, it might be, it might be difficult to see on screen, but the, the way I can tell the difference is that on Ada, you can kind of see the squares bigger. You can see the squares where it is a tighter weave on your linen. So, I mean, a lot of people say it's easier to start off being on Ada, but Jane Greenoff always says that she learnt on linen. So it's up to you, it's personal preference. The design of this stalk is absolutely beautiful. 
isn't it? I love the colours. It would be amazing um, framed in a hallway or as a gift for somebody. It's just incredible. Exquisite stylized bird is a joy to stitch, it says. Our version was made into a wall hanging but could be simply framed if preferred. The design is worked in counted cross stitch and is suitable for any skill level. So even if you are, even if you're new to cross stitch, quite often, I don't know about you, but when I, I've had a couple of cross stitch kits in the past, which were beginners, but they were quite babyish. They look quite babyish. Whereas when you're buying from the Cross Stitch Guild, I mean, this is designed for all skill levels and yet it looks so complex and so grown up and so beautiful. The design is stunning. Um, suitable for any skill level. It is a design that's worked or available on a linen or Ada. This one in particular is linen. Pack includes the charts in colour, black and white. Um, choice of fabric of choice, your needle and your pre-sorted threads and instructions. Everything is all included in there for $21.99. We also have the autumn shades tile and the winter shades tile. Let's go autumn first. Finish size is four inch square. Uh, it'd be beautiful to frame again. You could just take elements of it. Remember, once you've got the pattern, you've got the chart, you'd be able to use it for loads. Um, if you want to watch Jane talk more about it, and trust me, she's so fascinating. She is a fountain of knowledge when it comes to all things counted stitching. She was the founder of the Cross Stitch Guild. I mean, she has been stitching for, for years and years and years and years and years. Um, it's only recently that she sort of had stood down, passed over the reins, but she's still very heavily involved uh, with the Cross Stitch Guild. And whenever she comes on here, we always have a lot of messages come in for her. She's got a huge following. Um, so it's definitely worth making the most of the Jane Greenoff kits. Um, Learn, learn more about her. Sure, she's ever so high tech now. She's got her own website. She's very proud of it. It's definitely worth having a look. She's got a guy called Ethan who does all of the drawings for her and she's got some brilliant books. I mean, she's just amazing. Um, very, very proud of all of the linen, uh, all of the kits that are put together. It's beautiful quality, lovely quality skeins. She's uh, actually been to all of the factories that the linen's made in. So she's very hands on. Very hands-on indeed. I've always wanted to go and have a night with Jane. Like, I bet she's such a laugh. She's so fun. Um, I would love to have a night out with her. Maybe at like an ABBA show or something like that. I just love it. Singing along. She's just, yeah. It'd be so much fun, wouldn't it? She's hilarious. She is hilarious. Um, right, this is the Winter Shades tile. Sorry, I'm just sharing with you how much I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good price as well, isn't it? £11.99 to give it a go. Try it out, Jane Greenoff's uh, techniques. And as I said, this is something that, again, is once again going to be illustrated with a, a chart, with your charts, obviously, and, and illustrated instructions. So if you've never done it before, I'd, I'd definitely have a go. And it doesn't look childish or babyish. It doesn't look like a beginner project. It looks amazing. But it's something that I think when we think of cross stitch, you just think of big wall samplers that are going to take you hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. In fact, Emma, Mark, Mark Smith, he is amazing at cross stitch. He is absolutely amazing. He's a seed beader as well. But you could add little beads, do bead embroidery with it as well. I know that often, actually, Jane will put different beads or, or different charms and things. Where's the hard danger? Is that hard danger? Maybe. Yeah. Um, you've got all of your instructions. I don't know whether it is or whether it's a different stitch. You thought that was hard danger? No, that's not hard danger. It looks like it from a distance, but it's not when you see it close. Um, you've got all of your pre-stranded cottons, all of your threads ready to go. You also have your linen. Is this one on linen? This one's on linen. Yeah, all the tiles are on linen. Just £11.99. I must say, Kat has been a bit of a 
she's been there with cracking the whip today hasn't she and i must say we've also got through everything she doubted me today she keeps saying i think we've got so much to get through today you're gonna to have to be quick and not be chit chatting um so yeah we have got through everything yay have a look on the website of the note the uh, norma rose bundle which we launched at eight o'clock this morning way back when um if you missed that there's some beautiful fabrics on there that have just been launched the rosemary bag right all the kits are sold out but we do have the pattern and the bozal on its own as well oh i say that there's less than 10 of those so grab that whilst you can tomorrow's show i'm back with you bright and early tomorrow eight o'clock and it looks a little bit like this right tools for the job we were talking about making sure that you've got you know without going too much into the different gadgets and gizmos we've got the right tools tools for the job at eight o'clock at nine o'clock we've got Jules me youth oh I've not seen her again for ages that'd be lovely to have Jules back with us and she has got a rainbow basket sewing pattern um we've also got fabulous fabrics solstice I've honestly I can't explain to you how beautiful this collection is please 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 do tune in for that show. It's going to be amazing. Um, hello, sorry. And then we've also got George Mayu of, at, uh, for, with the lion pouch. Honestly, it's so cute. It's from the Half Yard Kids book. It's, um, is it one that's a Debbie Shaw book? Oh, it's amazing. And then at 12 o'clock, um, my, my guest is Rebecca Reed. Uh, it's woolly chic, but because um, she can't get here, she lives way up north um so rebecca reed is going to come in and do some lovely demos so i'm going to be joining rebecca reed tomorrow at 12 o'clock for yarn lane thank you so much for your company today check out your baskets and i'll see you bright and early again tomorrow morning at eight o'clock see you then